This is where our new home's gonna be. Are you ready? One, two, two three. And good morning, everyone. Guys, welcome in to an epic day. You guys, we told you we were gonna be putting out one of the biggest, most insane videos we've uh -huh. ever done on the channel. You can tell by the title and thumbnail, we got something big going on. And I mean, big, you guys, bigger than anything I think I've ever seen, I've been a part of. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Maddie's back. Oh my gosh. Surprise. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. Hit that like button right now for Maddie being back in the house, back in Utah. Maddie, tell us all about your trip. It was so much fun. We. <laughs> We went on so many adventures though. Yeah, like, we went on a little road trip down to California. We went to Northern California, then we went down to San Francisco, and, like the Bay Area, and we went to Monterey and Big Sur. So we we're all over. So is Big Sur where there's that cool bridge that you took a picture? Is that mm -hmm. that is like one of the most iconic, most beautiful? Like it is yeah, it so was amazing. If you didn't follow the adventure though, it's at Maddie underscore Bingham. You guys can follow all of her adventures because guys, the adventure's not over for this one. She's back in Utah now. Just got back from California. Just drove back all the way from California. Got in late last night. Yeah. Maddie, what are you doing today? today Today, I am driving back to California. <laughs> <laughs> That's right though, like she's leaving, going back to California, back to San Diego, back home to her home in California. So, packing some stuff up here out of the house, leaving some things, taking what you might need. Yeah. Heading back for the summer. Yep. We gotta go pack up her room though. So let's go load up your car, get as much stuff stuffed in there as we can, leave yep. whatever you need, and then we'll send you on your way. Oh, it's too fast, home too fast. I know, I don't know where this year went. Maddie is all packed up. We've got it like pretty much <laughs> floor to ceiling in there. Sit on the trunk to get it to close. <laughs> we got the trunk closed. We got the back seat packed. I think you're ready to rock though. Yep. Let's go. Can I just so hold sad. you and not let you leave? Will you stay? You could try. <laughs> I don't think you could hold her. Go, 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 go. Oh! Say goodbye to Maddie. Wave goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. She's leaving. It's not the last Bye. we're going to see her though because no. we're going to see her this summer. Got a couple of things coming up that she's going to be a part of, yet yeah. to be explained, determined, beaches. talked about. Maybe we'll be in some exotic beaches somewhere in some exotic locale. You never know. <laughs> 12 seconds later. Okay, you guys, I promise I'm not going to make a habit of crying on every single video lately, but Maddie just left and I don't know. I gave her a hug and I wasn't even like feeling all the emotions and then it just like hit me like a brick wall. She has lived here for the last year. It was like a dream come true for us to have her here because up until she was 18, she'd never lived here in Utah with our family. Having her here has been like a dream. We got to see her every Sunday. So many memories were made and now she's off to California again. So many good things. She has some exciting things in her future. My heart is like exploding and breaking and everything all in one time. I just love her so much. We're so proud of the amazing girl that she is. She is truly the best. She's such a good big sister for our kids and she's such a good example for them. So anyways, my heart's gonna break. I'm gonna go ahead and just eat my feelings right now. She's off. So obviously you can tell by the title thumbnail of this video, we have something huge huge to tell you about. Guys, Not just huge, gigantically enormous. When you share like we do every single day, if you've got something like really big that you can't talk about yet, it's incredibly hard. In fact, it might be kind of funny to go back and watch some of the vlogs and be like, I feel like they're holding something back. Because it is so hard not to talk about it, you guys. We've made little comments here and there about maybe we, when we We move. love dropping little Easter eggs, little breadcrumbs along the way. So it could be kind of fun to go back and see if you can find any of those. But you guys, we wanted to wait until the moment was right, until the time was right to share, like Mindy said, the biggest news we've ever shared on this channel. Rather than to just tell you about it, we want to show you. But to do that, guys, we're gonna have to leave this house and take you to <laughs> this is the future home of the this is how we bingham family We want to show you every square inch of this place. We want to tell you all about it, how everything came to be. We are standing in front of our future home, you guys. You guys, we are so excited. Oh man, all of a sudden they're gonna cry. Um, it's been emotional more than you guys would ever guess. This has been guess. the most emotional process, not only to figure out in our heads, but we have kids that we are picking up and moving. Thinking of them and thinking of where we want our family to be for the rest of forever. We have chosen the most perfect spot. Guys, it doesn't get more gorgeous, much more <laughs> picturesque than this. It could be a more, more of a paradise and a dream come true. Like Mindy said, we have included the kids in every step of the process. Yes, we wanted we to keep them in their same school. That was very, very important to <laughs> that us. That was at the top of my list. 
We wanted to keep them near their friends. We wanted to make sure they could continue the relationship that they have with some of their friends. We wanted to make sure it's a place they wanted to be, some place that they wanted to grow up, that they wanted to call home. And so guys, throughout this process, we would go to these different places. We would go to different lots, to different homes. We would walk through them. We would show the kids pictures. We'd take them with us. And nothing really truly felt like home until we landed on this spot right here. We have made it a matter of prayer. We have fasted. We have brought the kids in on the entire process. And it was kind of sweet. We've had a couple of amazing moments with the kids along the way too. We got some big news to reveal to the kids. Mom, what do you want to tell them? You guys, we have some big news. Are you guys ready for a big, big, big news delivery? Oh yes. You guys, we got the lot. It's ours. Under contract, it's ours. <laughs> what? <laughs> yep. We're teasing you about the packing video. Oh, buddy. I love you so much. I did not expect that from Sweet Rag Guy. Are you okay, bud? Is it a happy cry? I love you. Yeah, we, oh my gosh. Wow, if that's not a confirmation of all confirmations, good night. Mm. It's your reality, bro. <laughs> We're going to be living the actual dream, you freaking stud. I did not see that coming, right, guy? I was like, <laughs> so stinking cute, you guys. Hazy, why is Rag guy so sad about dirt? He's cares not about dirt. sad, he's so okay. excited. Really quick story to tell you, though. I just want to have this for documentation when we eventually do share the good news. But we were driving home today from going to see the lot, and on the way back, we got the phone call that we're going to be under contract, and we started freaking out. Mom got emotional, I started screaming, and Hazy goes, what's the big deal? Why are you guys freaking out about dirt? <laughs> I know. I know. We just love dirt so much. We love this dirt. It's our dirt. It's our dream dirt. You guys can see just a little glimpse there of how much this meant to our kids, to our family. Very unexpected reaction from Rye Guy there. And we ultimately pulled the trigger, went under contract on this lot, you guys. I, I mean, incredible. Now, we wanted to wait for the right time to share this big news with you. We wanted to wait till the time was right. Well, guys, we have officially closed on this. We own this dirt. We bought this dirt. This dirt's never looked so beautiful. <laughs> this dirt is all ours. We felt like now was the time to bring you guys in on it because this is going to be a pretty long process process with a lot of fun stops along the <laughs> I'm way. So excited. Guys, we are designing our very own custom home and we want you to be a part of the process. We are just barely putting together plans, building out floor plans, deciding what the outside is going to look like, the inside. So much that's coming. <laughs> we just couldn't hold it back any longer. We had to get you guys in on it. We had to make you a part of it from the beginning. But guys, like we said, this couldn't be a bigger deal to anyone more than it is to our own children. And so we want them to show you a little more about this lot and more importantly, the first backyard they've ever had in their life. <laughs> We gotta go show them, okay? We've been up here like every day for like a month, sometimes two or three times a day. So one of our favorite things to do is to walk the lot, to go to the back corners. They've never had a backyard. We were in a town home that had like a little mini backyard. Then our current backyard, you can kind of reach out and share sugar with the neighbors. For the first time, these kids are gonna have an actual backyard to play in. Guys, let's show them the lot. Let's go do our little walk that we do when we come out here. This is the sidewalk. This will be like the entry at some point. This natural drop right here is going to be a natural walkout basement. Guys, we have some really great and exciting plans for this house. The perfect natural drop off for a walkout basement. So you'll come down, you'll walk right out the back into the backyard. I don't know where we'd be right now. Maybe at the front door or something. We like to walk out here and the kids will head to the different stakes that are the back corners of the lot. There's one out here and one out here. Rag and Hayes are going to this one. Crew and Breck's going to that one. And we'll try and give you some perspective as we come to the back here. These are gigantic rocks. Whoa, that's a rock. We're going to be having so much fun, so many epic videos, so much incredible content, so many memories are going to be made right here on this property on what is now dirt that will soon become our dream home. You guys can see Crew and Brex wave down there. You got Crew and Brex down there in one corner and then you got Hazy and Raga here. I'm going to come down right here with you guys. And now I'm back here with Hazy and Raga on their corner. Mom's somewhere in the middle, I guess. You can see the silverback up there. That's on the sidewalk. Guys, this whole thing, all ours as of today, the future site, the future home of oh this is how we Bingham baby, the Bingham family moving in. I say we gather in the middle. You guys come in from your corner out there. This is that back end of the yard. And what I'm most stoked about, you guys, are these views. This panoramic view of mountainscape all the way around. I mean, it's like not 360, but it's a solid, I don't know math. What is that? Hey, Daniel, how many degrees is this? Like 180? <laughs> Settled on between 270 and 180. Very important that we get the degrees right here. But a lot of mountain coverage. That's my favorite shot right through there. That'll be kind of out the back side-ish yard over there. Backyard faces straight up that way, which will be on fire in the fall, you guys. All those trees that look dead now will just be bright orange and colorful. But could we do, bro? How you feel? 
feel on standing here in the home of your future backyard? I'm really excited because we're gonna actually have a backyard. Maybe we'll get a pool and like a water slide. So <laughs> oh, okay. in the summer, okay. we can just go to the our backyard. The pool comes to us, bro. Yeah. Guys, we will see. We wanna make sure you guys are part of this. The plans all the way along. There's going to be so many awesome things in store for this house. We cannot wait. The groundbreaking does not happen for a few more months because we still gotta build out the house plans. We gotta figure out what we want it to look like, where it's gonna go. That's not gonna stop us from doing our own groundbreaking right now. The official groundbreaking is going down right now. Now you guys, Maddie, as you know, you saw her here earlier. She wasn't able to be a part of this, but we came up here earlier, took some pictures. She brought the shovel out, embarrassed herself thoroughly in front of all the construction workers. They all had on white hats. We threw on our white hats. She got a shovel out and they're all staring at her like, what is she doing? Took a few pictures so that she could be a part of it in that way. So Maddie, we miss you. We love you. This is as much for you as anybody. We wish you were here. We know you're here with us in spirit. Mom, do you want to take the first dig into our new house? This is going to be like the basement probably right here. I think Let's you're about to dig it. our basement. Are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Hey mom, first dig of dirt. This is the first scoop of dirt. This, this is like is ceremonial. The first one. This is a big deal, you guys. This is the center yeah, of our property. Yeah, yeah. This is where our new home's gonna be. Are you ready? One, two, two three. three. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it feel cool? Everybody get one. I, mean, I, feel really I cool. want one, I want one. Ooh, mine was pretty good. That was pretty good. Hey, That's the pool. Okay, there you go. Mango. Okay, everyone take a turn. We'll go oldest to youngest. Right, guy? Woo! Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job. Woo! Your own room. Can I turn this way or this way? We are all each out here standing on a corner and I gotta tell you, it has been so fun to watch the kids go out and play in the dirt. Every time we've come out here, we have gone home with dirty, dusty shoes, dirty, dusty clothes. Normally you guys know me, that would be really hard for me, but I am just embracing it. They love to play in the dirt. The memories of this future home are already being made here in these awesome dirt piles. We come out here all the time, we've checked on it a ton and we've got to see clear over here. You guys can probably see on that street that's being created over there. The other day they were doing the curbing. We're gonna see the asphalt come in, come up here almost every single day just to do a little check-in to see all of the new things that are happening. There's one house being built right here across the street from us. That's been fun to see that happen. So we're just taking it all in every single time we come up here. We got B over in this corner over here. This is the other end of our lot. We have Crew and Rye Guy over there in the corner of the lot. And then we have Hazy and Brex over here in the other back corner. We came up here and saw that they've got some new backhoes, new something going on here. Lots being done up here and it's so exciting to see every step of it come along. She is getting some awesome footage of the land. And you guys, we have some really cool ideas. I'm telling him he needs to come up, put the drone at a certain height every single time he comes and watch the building process happen. That's half the fun. Just like we love documenting our vacations, we cannot wait to document the heck out of this process, bring you guys along for the entire journey. None of this is possible without each and every one of you guys. We've had just the most emotional month leading up to finally being able to tell you guys, just thinking every day about how grateful we are to each and every one of you, how insane this is that we're able to do this never in our lives have we even had a backyard we've never had an extra two bucks to our name it's <laughs> just true. been a life of having just enough to get by we've never been able to do anything like this and we owe all of that to each and every one of you guys who come and show up and tune in every day and join in our lives share in our lives we can't wait to share in this with you guys as well 
this. Well, the sun is setting right in my eyes at the moment. <laughs> but as the sun sets, we're gonna go ahead and load up the kids, get out of here. We've honestly been coming here at least once a day, every day since we went under contract on it. Like we said, we wanted to wait until the right moment to share it with you guys. We've officially closed on it. This is our dirt right there. <laughs> this is the future site of our dream home, you guys. It's gonna be our forever home. It's gonna be where we raise our family, maybe where they bring their grandkids over to play and they grow up and get married. I mean, guys, everything gonna be happening right here. You guys are gonna be along for the entire ride, the entire journey. You are as big a part of this as anybody. And we just cannot be more grateful. Can't thank you guys enough. There is a lot more to come, obviously, in this process of building our dream home. We have picked the most amazing, most <laughs> phenomenal, most incredible builder you will ever hear of in your entire life. One of the most like world-renowned builders that there is, first of all, but second of all, and I would say even more than that, just an incredible guy. Just somebody he that we are going to have so much so fun with. Fun. We have such a good time just being around each other, laughing all the time, bantering back and you're forth. You're not supposed to have this much fun building a house. At the end, you're supposed to have like a strained relationship. It's supposed to be stressful, but it's been nothing but fun so far. In fact, we've had a little bit of fun with him. We have officially retained our custom home builder. We're going to be talking about him a ton. He is one of the greatest guy. He's the greatest team. We maybe even mentioned something already at this point in the vlog. I'm gonna say, wait, is this the point where we're gonna talk about where he's as big of a Justin Bieber fan as we are? <laughs> Guys, I don't even know if he wants that out there on blast, but he loves the Biebs. Huge Justin Bieber fan. In fact, we're working on getting Justin Bieber to come to our house to kind of <laughs> kick off that first day there, that first pool party, happen. probably gonna happen. But he's been a lot of fun to kind of mess with. It is very much not your typical home building situation where you would yeah. normally just have these very staunchy, stiff meetings and you're just, let me just take a look at the square footage. So hard. No, it's jokes all day long. Our, our text bubble that we have, Justin Bieber's album, is the cover of the text bubble that we have going as a group thread as we kind of make plans and make design changes and things like that. But anyway, so today we are dropping off a check, a very sizable check, the $10,000 retainer check at his office. He said, just go ahead and drop that off, pick it up when he goes back through the office later today. We thought it'd be kind of fun to mess with him a little bit. <laughs> because this is our humor. This is what we have decided to put in the envelope for him. I owe you. Those are IOUs. <laughs> Guys, that's as good as money. Might want to hang on to that one. This is the kind of fun we're having building this house, you guys. It's not supposed to be this much fun. I'm not kidding. He laughed hysterically. We wake up in the morning, send each other our favorite Justin Bieber song for the day, jam out to that for the day. Justin Bieber's gonna be the soundtrack for the building of this home. It's just been a blast so far. We know there's a lot, lot more stress to come, a lot of choices a to be of made. A lot of decisions to be made, but you guys, we plan on bringing you along for every single everything. appointment. Design everything that meetings, has to be done. Plan we have no drawing. idea what we're doing, so we're gonna need all the help we can it's get. It's gonna be a riot, guys. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be a journey. It's gonna be an adventure because it always is in the a family. Back home now, kids have gone into bed, kind of settled and calmed down a little bit. There's some yes. unanswered questions I feel like that you guys might have. We were caught up in the moment there, didn't really get to get through everything we wanted to say. It's like, I was talking to Daniel about it. I was like, I've envisioned that video and how it would go and that big announcement like hundreds of times. I know. And then you get there and in the moment and you're like, it's just not coming out like I want. I'm not Dear saying what I want. Like... It was just like so much pressure to make that big epic reveal that I'm like, it just can't live up to that hype. One of the biggest things is like, when are we gonna start? When are we gonna start digging? Now, technically, we broke ground tonight. We started <laughs> the dig tonight, I gotta say. I mean, is that official? It might be official. But the official groundbreaking, we're still building the house plan. So that's like what, a few months out, yes, I think? Yes, we're working with a designer who is building some incredible house plans. We're making some adjustments right now. We're hoping three-ish months will actually dig. We think about three months, probably gonna be getting that first scoop of dirt out with an excavator, not with a golden shovel. Maybe we'll paint the Maybe excavator gold. we should gold. just ask them, yeah. We should see if they want to do that. So the next probably main question on everyone's mind is when are we moving? When is the actual move? Estimating about a year. We're thinking next yeah. spring mm -hmm. is when we would have the home complete. We'll sell the home that we're in now. It seems super weird to think about. And then we'll be moving in a year. So it's not like around the corner we still have another epic year here in this home to make more memories as we continue to build that home for the next set yes. of memories in our lives the truth is we love our house we fun for the kids to have a place to go run around and stretch enjoy. out and have their friends over it's gonna be perfect dream home i mean guys it is a literal dream come true in every sense and what's crazy you guys is that literally up until like the last couple of years we've always been paycheck to paycheck we had exactly as much yeah. as we needed per paycheck i would even dare say we i would dare say that much. many times we did not have <laughs> yeah. enough per paycheck but we never had anything extra we didn't have like a nickel to our name up until literally like probably the last couple of years. So you look back, you flash back to when we made that crazy leap of faith, that jump from I the full-time day job was a stressful to choice. take a gamble on this YouTube life. We said, even if this fails spectacularly <laughs> and blows up in our face and it only lasts a year, it will be the greatest year of our lives. And to see where it's led, it's absolutely mind-blowing. It is mind-blowing and we're so grateful and we every day thank all of you because we know that you guys are a huge blessing in our lives. Thank you for tuning in and being here every single day. It's actually not an exaggeration, guys. We bring it up every 
day, literally every single day to each other through text, through conversation, and it is a part of our actual prayers that we say every day as a family that we are grateful for each of you. We're grateful for this entire worldwide. This is how we become family. We're grateful for the journey that we've been able to go on and where it's leading, and we just couldn't be more humbled and more grateful, especially in this moment as we make this big announcement and share this good news with you guys. Just feel so good about this place. This place could not feel more like home. We've been there, like we've said, so many times. Every time we stand there, we just look around and we're like, this is home. This there is home. has been one occasion where Brandon was FaceTiming his parents who kind of mm -hmm. let them in on everything the big that's announcement. been happening. Yep. I stood on the opposite end of the lot. I was standing there with Maddie. It was kind of a tender moment and I just let all the emotion out. You guys know I'm really good at that lately. <laughs> There's been a lot of emotions going on. It was like on. nearly half marathon was, level of tears. I don't know that that's ever happened. <laughs> just overcome with that emotion. And you know what? Funny story is when we bought this house, I walked in, all the feelings came and I just knew it's where we were supposed to be. And so we were kind of waiting for that, that moment. Same feeling. And so we had looked at other lots, found a great one in a different city. Real estate's hard right now. If you're in Utah, it might be the same everywhere, but if you're in Utah, you know the game. Like if there is anything available, house, lot, anything, you've got to act in like 12 minutes or it's gone with multiple offers outbidding each other. Like you have to be so fast in this market right now. And so as we went around looking at places, we would look at homes and we would feel a lot of pressure. If we like it at all, we need to get in on it. Or we would see lots and we would know if we don't jump up right now, it's going to be gone. Yeah. We went through a pretty stressful few months looking at places. We found one that we thought was the one. It was awesome. Guys, we thought so much so. We actually videoed from that lot saying, here's our new lot. This is the lot. You come down. This fence goes all the way down. I'm assuming that is uh, the lot line. It goes down quite a bit, but I think it's doable. Mom and I were just out here 20 minutes ago, standing on this little piece of land right here and considering putting in an offer on it to buy it, to purchase the lot. Took pictures of this is going to be the first picture Got we ever Got some drone show. footage, everything. We thought it was that sure. Through a series of really strange circumstances that I can't explain other than to say it was completely meant to be. We lost that lot. It was mm -hmm. kind of like ripped out from under us in a very like defeating way. And we almost just thought maybe we shouldn't be looking right now. But as we look back on it, we're standing at this new place. We look back at the old place. We just think, oh my gosh, like we exactly were, we're guided to be. to be exactly where we are. One of the things that has been so awesome for us is just involving the kids every step of the way through every part of it. From asking them if they wanted to move, if they felt like it was the right time for them to move, if they were okay moving. And then going from there, starting to look at houses, share those houses with them, look at lots, share those neighborhoods with them. And I'd drive the kids yes. by there. Mom talked about this FaceTime call that we had with my parents. Well, that was on a Sunday. We spent that Sunday in fasting and prayer, just kind of like trying to really, really decide, is this where we want to move our family? Is this where we want to raise our family and to create those next memories in life? And we all stood there in our Sunday clothes. We had on our white shirts and we ties. Have some cool pictures. As we wait for our offer to be accepted on this incredible piece of land up here, we just feel at such peace and we are so excited about this journey that is gonna begin for our family. Moving our family to a different spot, a different location, it's gonna be really awesome. Hey boys, what do you think of it? Love it. <laughs> and it was just this unforgettable moment. Actually, I'm just gonna share this. Sorry, this is getting kind of long. But we'd been up there a number of times and every time the cloud cover had been kind of dense around the mountains and it felt yeah. almost like claustrophobic, like things were on top of you. And it didn't bother me. But, but it was something I noticed. Then when we went back there on that Sunday when we were trying to just really pay close attention to our feelings every and how we felt feeling. about it, the sun had come through, <laughs> the clouds separated. Blue skies it, and it just the felt The bluest skies, open wide open. It felt like a heaven on earth. It felt it like really we were did. walking through a dream, you guys, and we were standing Standing there with all of the kids, all dressed up, or FaceTiming my parents to tell them, and that's when Mindy lost it, got emotional. We just knew, we just knew this is where we're supposed to be, and I love that the kids were there for that moment. They've been a part of it every step of the way. Really, this is for them more than anything. This is where they're going to create childhood memories. This yes. is where they're going to make friends, where they're going to grow up, go to prom, and come back and hang out at the house after. I mean, like, this is more for them than it is for us. To have them be a part of it, to have them experience those moments where we had those confirmations, I think is going to make all Very of us cool. feel like it is our home. Guys, this is a dream come true. We are walking Walking through a dream right now. We're just so excited to share that with you. Look forward to a ton of videos helping us so design many, so many. all the things. Design, build, dig, walls are up, house tours. I mean, guys, oh my gosh. it's coming. Trying to sell this spinning. house. This next year is going to be insane. On top of that, we got a lot of fun vacations planned. So if you haven't subscribed, you're insane. Subscribe right now. Hit the alert bell. You don't want to miss crazy epic updates like this. You guys are all awesome. Thanks for sticking with us through today. Thanks for making this possible. This whole process. We love you guys so much and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye.
you may be familiar with this site behind us right here. But this time, you guys, we've never been here with a track hoe in the middle of it. I know, you guys. It's about to get real. It's going down. Look, he's climbing in it right now. Are we all, Are we at that point? Guys, we've gathered We're the kids. At that point. Mom went and picked them up from school. We've been out here talking for a little bit about the layout. It has a bit of like a slope down this way. So we're looking at how we're going to adjust for that, compensate for that, trying to make it look as best as possible while still like keeping awesome functionality. Flat driveway. So there's a couple of things to take into factor, but Matt is so awesome. He just walked us through every option, what they look like, pros and cons to everything. And that's before they take go. their first scoop because they want to make sure they've got this corner foundation piece. Oh my gosh, it's firing. Oh my gosh, guys, right behind us right now, it's going. Wait, is he digging right now? Is this the moment? I don't know if I'm ready for this. I bet Mindy cries. I bet mom cries. What do you think, dude? I need to go get some cameras on that thing. He's just turning, he's just turning, he's just turning. This guy knows what he's doing. He actually dug the foundation of our neighbor's home in our backyard, you guys. How crazy is that coincidence? But if you recall, when the neighbors behind us got that lot, built their home in the backyard, he was the guy in a much smaller excavator, though. This one is a beast. Watch out, guys. Watch. He's coming for us. Look at that thing. Just pulling bowlers with the greatest of ease, just tossing rocks to the side like they're featherweights. Jumped the gun a little bit on our excitement over the initial dig. He's actually just looking for the sewer right now so they know where they have to avoid. There's some stakes in the ground, but they're digging down to find out exactly where it's at. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna show you guys how rad these guys are. These guys showed up today with two boxes of daylight donuts with Sunny D drinks for the kids. So we are feasting on donuts as we dig our hole. I don't think these guys could know us any better. Donuts and a new house. Did it get any better than this dude? No. <laughs> Be here for the bulk of the day today. The kids are just fascinated with the size of boulders he's pulling up. And obviously for this thing, it's an absolute breeze. He just scoops up three or four of them, chucks them off to the side like it's nothing. Now we did talk about our house plans. Mindy briefly mentioned this, that there is a four foot slope as you head down this street. And it's so gradual, you don't notice it to stand here at the lot, but it does create some specific needs in the foundation and where they put the height of the foundation, where they put the back end of the foundation, how that will affect the driveway, the walk up to our house, a lot of other things like that. That's what we've been kind of hammering out this morning and going through this morning. Morning, but I think we've got everything dialed in so that it's going to be absolutely perfect. There's not going to be a ton of deep digging. You know, you think of a traditional dig, you would get this huge deep foundation that you could jump inside. Maybe you couldn't jump inside because you couldn't get back out. But this is going to be a fairly shallow dig. As you can see, most of it already dug out naturally because of our natural walkout basin situation. So just enough to pour a foundation. A random biker just came by, screamed out, Mikuin's the best, guys. They are the best. They are the absolute best in the business. And we are so stoked to be here with the full squad. They got their trucks here. They got their best guys out here. They are doing their thing. Pretty cool, you guys. A lot of action going on today because today is officially day one. The build begins today. So they've got guys right here setting up our temporary power pillar, I guess you could say. So that's where they're gonna draw power to do different things from the camera here so we can see this site at all times. There'll be a security camera run by solar power that is always on that we can check in anytime we want to watch the progress, see what's going down here. So it's more than just the digging going on today. A lot of these set up to get this thing started because today, like I said, is day one. We're getting ready to set up all the good shots here. I got all the GoPros. I got 360 camera. I got the drones. I got all the goodies. Mom, you got some goodies too, it looks like. Donuts. Donuts. <laughs> you guys, they brought donuts and orange juice for us. It doesn't get cooler than that. It's not any more bingham than that. Donuts while you dig. The donut dig. Digging donuts. It's donut donut holes. Dig Digging a hole with donut holes. I don't know. Something. <laughs> <laughs> We've got everything figured out with the sewer line, the gas line, everything. He's going to go ahead and fill this back in just a little bit because eventually we're going to have to fill all this up to sidewalk level. And then he's going to do the first ceremonial dig, start digging the actual foundation. We're going to all stand here and watch. And the kids have got to get back to school. So a lot of prep work goes into getting set up to do that first dig. I thought that was the first shovel scoop. We did that first scoop, but they're just checking stuff out right now. It's about to go down right now. And then later today, we are going to come back and see how much got done, how much progress was made. It is going to look kind of funny because it'll be like eight feet deep on that far end. And you'll come down here all the way down to two feet deep. So it'll get more shallow as you go. He's thinking maybe two days to complete this dig, which is very quick. I'm going to strap some GoPros on this thing, get the drone out, get ready for our first ceremonial dig, bro. It's about to dig the foundation to our home. Are you ready for this? Let's do this.
Okay, my right guy here. We just went and we just outfitted this excavator, Traco, one and all appropriate technology here. No, terminology, can't even say that right. With a GoPro on the actual boom. I call it the boom because it's like, here comes the boom. I don't think that's what it's actually called. Just above the shovel. We attached a GoPro. We've also got another one going on top of the honey bucket. Porta potty is rocking a time lapse of this dig right now. He's getting himself level before he takes the first ceremonial dig of dirt on our new home. Now, we thought we already witnessed that. Yeah. Turns out he was just kind of setting himself up, getting himself level, finding the sewer and gas line. All that's been done. But the first official scoop of dirt of our new dream home going down right now. Let's do it. The dig is well in hand. It is underway, as you can see, right behind us there. You guys, I'm a little surprised I didn't cry, actually. I thought you would. I took bets personally within myself this morning. It was me against I me. Know, and I know. And I bet that you would cry when you saw that shovel hit the dirt. Just realizing all that this means, you guys, this is the beginning of the dream. This, this is day one. This is huge, but I think at the beginning they were looking for the sewage. We got confused on when it actually started. And then he's like, oh, there's a water line. And then like, they started doing it. I'm like, wait, so is this it? Is that it? Oh, we meant, uh, well, there it is. There we didn't it. miss it. We were here. We witnessed we it. Here. We videoed it. At the same time, I don't think we fully took in the emotion, but Matt, our builder taking off right now. We are beginning to build our dream home right now. This We're is the first so step in that process, but I had this ultra cheesy thought, one of many to come, I am sure, as we got started today. Yes, this is going to be an incredible home in a gorgeous location with beautiful surroundings, but truly, you guys, and I mean this, any home that has all of us inside of it, that is our dream home. That is where the dream is. Right, guys, I know it's cheesy. I saw the eye roll. That is our dream home. Cringe. I saw that. But that is the truth, guys. It could be a box. It could be anything. It would be our dream home with this inside of it, you guys. That's yes. what makes the home the dream. That's what makes a house a home. I'm gonna get these kids back to school, get them off, get them settled. We're gonna come back a little bit later today. Yes, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna hang out for a yeah, while, watch awesome. the whole process, but then later tonight, let's come back, see how much progress has been made in day one. I'm so excited. There's been a cheese ball throughout this entire process, but I will throw out one additional dose of cheese before I try and wrap it up till tonight when we come back. <laughs> Today, the weather forecast called for thunderstorms all day, heavy cloud cover, and it is a gorgeous blue sky out here today. It is beaming hot from the sun. It couldn't be a more perfect day to get this underway, to get this started. And it's just another one of those moments that we've had many of those along the way, along this process. Things have just fallen into place so beautifully, so wonderfully. We can't help but feel like this is where we're meant to be. So this is another one of those things today. I think it is supposed to start raining later in the afternoon, around four o'clock this afternoon but starting off the day, bright, beautiful blue skies. Perfect start to all of this. We'll come back later, see what progress has been made. We're estimating about two days of a dig. That's it to get this all set up and ready to go, which is perfect because in two days, we are headed to California and we'll get started again when we get back. But for now, I'm gonna take a quick break. We'll grab some lunch. And I don't need to ask for extra cheese on my burger.
back out here for the second half of the day. The cloud cover has started to come in. It's probably going to rain pretty soon here, but seeing all the progress made on this already, the hole getting bigger and bigger, like we said, not super deep, but I showed up just as they are bringing a dump truck full of dirt from that other lot being built across the way. Like we said, we're gonna need more filling dirt than we're gonna need to be doing any digging. So we're keeping all of our own dirt right there, bringing in some from the lot, dumping it into our lot so that we can build up so much activity going down today on day one already, you guys. What I think is most remarkable about that dump of dirt right there, that is one entire dump truck full. Look how tiny that amount of dirt is versus what we've dug up already. So it really puts into perspective how much has been dug up already here today. Mom is back. She brought the kids, <laughs> but it's raining, so she left them in the car so they don't get too muddy. I do want to show them the final result, but guys, we are currently standing inside of the foundation of our home. This is the far corner. I don't know which corner. This is actually right underneath my closet. <laughs> I know you'd immediately be able to identify the location of your closet. The gym? Come down the stairs. I don't know. Kind of confused. This is gonna be the front of the house over here. Second floor or main floor would this would be our bedroom right over here. So we are just we're underneath in the that. Basement right so we now. could be in Maddie's room. Is Maddie's room, Maddie's room is in over this here. back corner? Yes. So this would be Maddie's room back in here. This would be the exercise room, the gym right here. Yeah, right there. That's what's going on, guys. This is where we are at right now. He's parked it for the day. It's right there. A lot of fun watching that come together. Telling Mindy that they actually brought in dump trucks of dirt from the other lot as I was here, which is really cool to see them just working together between those oh, yeah. two. This is as far as it got today. We'll show you from above what it looks like. We got to show the kids though because they haven't seen it's, it since they went back to school. Guys, you're seeing it for the first time. What do you think, bro? I, I think it's cool. Is it pretty I dope? I don't know how far it back it goes. This right here is just the one corner that's got to be dug really deep. Then as he goes this way, it doesn't have to be nearly as deep as it comes down here. And so when he's done over here, it's only going to be two feet deep. This is going to be like eight feet deep because of the slope as you go down. So this is like for sure the deepest dig. He spent most of his time doing this here. And then towards the end of the day, you can't see because it's bush, but it's super deep right behind this bush. And then he kind of just pushed dirt on and along over to that side over there. And then he's going to finish it tomorrow, he thinks. I'm so stoked. So here's where it stands today. The kids are loving it. They're trying to figure out, okay, well, what's this? Well, where would this be? Where is my room above? It's kind of fun to see it come together. Very beginning initial stages, guys. So much more to come. So many more developments as this dream home comes to life. So excited. They are going to put this on a pause while we're out of town. Get going whenever we get back. Next steps when we get home, they're going to put in like footings, Footing. foundation, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So that is coming up as soon as we get back. We're going to check in tomorrow before we head out of town this week to see if they've completed this. So we will definitely come back tomorrow. This was the official first day of it all. Can't thank you guys enough for being part of this, for being excited with us, for oh, us. You guys are so awesome. This thank is all so much. because of you. Thank you guys so much for your loyalty and dedication to our family. We love you guys so much. If you want to see more of this process, go down below, subscribe, like this video, and turn on the bell so you know when we upload. You guys can come along on this amazing journey with us. We love you. Thank you for hanging out with us. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Hello and good morning, everyone. It's a little better than opening up our vlog in the kitchen, But we're right? opening up our vlog at home. Our ah. new home. <laughs> Guys. Soon we'll be opening it up, right? Right about in there somewhere. This is a full house day today. Today we are going to be taking what will soon fill this hole. Right now it's just a hole of dirt. Right now you just got dirt, you got some forms in there, some boards, some planks. We are going to be filling this with cement, eventually walls, and then filling that home with some decor and design. And today we are going to look at basically the interior of our home, the entire thing laid out on tables across an entire Guys, floor of the library. 
library thing. Nicole, our designer, has reserved the Provo Library, the entire third floor, labeled with the Bingham home. Oh, we'll show you when we get there, you guys. It's hilarious. On a screen, it's like floor one, you can find this, floor two this, floor three, Bingham home. Bingham home. <laughs> so, so the entire thing laid out. Choosing everything today. She has got samples from the roofing company, from the tile company, from Exterior, the carpet. Exterior stone. Like uh, we're not just talking. You, can you might think when you hear interior design, you're thinking, oh, like so like bookshelves, beds, and stuff. Like it is everything, you guys. I'm talking about like the light fixtures on the garage, the garage door look itself, our front door, exterior stuff, interior stuff, all of those things, flooring, all of it being chosen today. It feels overwhelming. It feels insane. It feels very, very early when we just very... have a hole of dirt. But this is how it works, guys. This I is how it goes down. I don't feel super stressed about it. That's a good I sign like to me. I feel like I know what I want and the look I'm going for. I think it's just piecing together how to connect a couple of visions I have, and that's where Nicole that's comes what in. That's where Nicole's for. You've got a great eye. I've already been able to put together some great things in our current home. Oh, Seen the Pinterest and house board you put together for this house, and if Yay. it looks anything remotely like that, it's going to be a dream house come true. That all goes down today. The decision's being yes. made today. We thought it was appropriate to start the vlog here today. Full day of house stuff here at the lot, at the house, and we just found out, we just met with our builder right here on site. They're gonna be pouring some of these footings, hopefully tomorrow. Yes. And then some really fun stuff happens, he told us. They're gonna backfill with this rock that they shoot like out of a cannon. It's not a cannon, but they <laughs> literally shoot it out into the foundation. He talked to us about the suspended slab, how they put that in above the garage where we're gonna have the theater and stuff, build that off site, then they bring it in with trucks, they crane it on. He's like, there is so much Wild. fun visual stuff coming up. You guys are going to absolutely love <laughs> Capturing it. So much more to come, you guys, on the building of this home. But for right now, we're gonna go from this hole in the ground to the library and see what's going to eventually fill this hole to become our home. Walking into the library right now. We've been told third floor reserved, set aside for us, our home decisions, Bingham everything's home. laid out. The Bingham home. Walking in right now. You got your decision cap on, Mindy? Are you ready uh, to rock? Hopefully. Oh my gosh, it is decision day. Here we go. Woo, this is our house laid out in a room. Wow, I already know we got snacks in our house. Holy cow, this is gonna be so fun. In my house. Okay, do you want stucco? It's and when we get to the room, all this. Those will be wood sconces, the art play. Um, yes. Different ideas for each one of the kids' bedrooms. We just barely got here. Our team has put up the most incredible. Guys, this, this entire is room is full. Incredible. This is our house laid out in a room on tables. So much work, time, energy has gone into setting up this day. And we are so pumped. We are so excited. They took our floor plans. They inserted little pieces of furniture. Guys, check this where out. Every single Lights. lighting fixture is blue, is where we're going to have detail on the walls. Here's what I love. They did like, it's almost like playing house, like a little dollhouse. They actually put little pictures of the furniture inside the room. So this would be like the office downstairs. Here's Maddie's bedroom with the fun little couch thing right there. So they put that into the plans. Now so you can see how it's gonna feel in real life. Now what we're here to do today, and we're going to be here a while today, guys, is we're gonna go down and we're gonna start, I'm guessing, here on the exterior, choosing some stone. We'll take you guys through this entire process. We are gonna walk through the entire we home. See what Here's our floors wood will floors look like. right here, the pattern, everything. We go down, we're making choices on carpet, fixtures. We go around all the way around the kids' bathrooms, bedrooms, basement, office, everything. And then in the end, we'll have made all of our decisions on our house. We can start ordering some things and start to really know what this place is gonna look like. Yes, you guys, we're so excited. They put so much work and energy into this. They have a little snack section over there. They I even filled it. it with Dr. Pepper. With all of our favorite Thank snacks, you. how cool is that? <laughs> First set of decisions has been made, you guys. Pretty simple though. This is gonna be our roof right there, basic roof. This is the stone on the outside of our house. You guys are going to love this. This is gonna be incredible. These are some pictures that kind of were inspirations behind that stone. And then our garage we just settled on is going to be a gorgeous custom garage. You guys are gonna die when you see this. Mindy wants it to match our front door. So we're gonna have to go a little bit custom with that one right there. But then we've got this one for the garage in the back. Pretty simple, pretty basic. And these will be windows, I guess. This is the lining of the windows on the front. So exterior choice is already done, guys. We are working our way down and through the house here. We've made a lot of decisions, gone through a lot of rooms. We are now in the owner's suite. We're looking through mine and Mindy's bedroom. It's going to be probably the most amazing we've ever had since we've been married. If you guys know us, we haven't put any real attention to detail or energy into our own bedroom. We don't even have nightstands really. So this is gonna be a whole new world for us actually having a bedroom that we're excited about. That's where we're at now. We had to take a quick pause though, you guys. We're making a lot of progress here. We've been through a lot of the rooms. I wouldn't even say we're halfway through though. Been here for a couple hours. I think we do have lunch coming. We had to take a quick break because we wanted to see Rai Guy at his honor roll assembly. Now because of current state of things we aren't able to attend it in person but they did do it on a Zoom call. Right. 
High honor roll. High honor roll with merit. <laughs> right, guys. Right, guys. You little boss, dude. Watch that here live as they read his name on a high honor roll. Gosh, I thought I could do this. Uh, with merits. So basically, as high as you can get. So we had to take a quick little pause while we watched him do that, celebrate him. I broke down, as you can see. Thought I was over it. That was like 20 minutes ago. Still having issues with it. But so proud of him. So proud of the work that he put in to accomplish that. And really, those are the things that matter most in life. So we were happy to take a break from all of this to witness that as he had his name called. He walked across, picked up some kind of a certificate. But now back to making some serious house decisions. And then I think we're going to eat soon. I'm getting pretty hungry here. All of his choices are making me hungry. These pretzels are making me thirsty! Big moment, we have moved upstairs officially. We finished the entire main level. We are now moving upstairs. We're gonna do the upstairs, the kids' bedrooms, and then we will finish in the basement that has now my office as well as the exercise room, Maddie's room, theater, things like that. So moving upstairs, we finished the entire main level. Back to making some decisions. We love this one that has a little bit of blue to it. For the white squares. Just coming out of lunch, I'm in a little bit of a food coma here. Giant food coma, guys. I had a big old burger and it was so good. <laughs> I had a delicious buffalo chicken sandwich. We got to the second floor, but only got as far as Hayes' room before we took a break for lunch. We're about to get ready back into making some serious decisions. So we got to turn our thinking caps back on. Yes. Before that, we wanted to show you guys how this whole thing has worked, how the process goes. It's been so much fun walking around these tables and taking our house plans yes. with us. Show us how it's been okay, going. Okay, so you guys, they blew up our house plans, every single room, and then they went and cut and pasted like a little bed where that's gonna go so we can see things to scale. Whenever we go to different rooms, we just pull this little guy around, we flip flop it back and forth. This has upstairs and basement, the other side has the front of the house and the main level. We'll pull it around and be like, oh yeah, so the tile will go here and then the light fixture here. Oh, and this wallpaper we could just do, like for instance on Hazy's bedroom. Like let's just do wallpaper on three of the walls. We're gonna buy this nightstand to go with her bedroom so it's easy to reference. We've literally been doing this Dude, we go back and forth. We take this actual board with us around the room as we move. Depending on what level the house we're on, we flip it back and forth. We look at the decisions here, we go, okay, I like this, but how's that gonna look in the actual house? And so we come over here and we go, that's gonna go on this wall here. And like, oh, okay, now I can see where that will go, yes. that couch or whatever. And then as we go, come over here. We're bringing this card around the entire time with us. And as we make selections and we finalize something, we keep that will go. We handy, like carpet samples. And then we have our wall color, our door color, all of the different accents that we need. Right now we're in Hazy's room. So she goes through her little binder that everything has a tab. She shows us the lighting fixture. She shows us the bed. She shows us And this everything. way you can see how it all looks next to each other. So you can go, how will that look next to the carpet? Or how yes. will that look next to our floor? And then if we make a selection, we make a decision, they mark it, put it in the final binder, close it up, and we know that's a go. We're gonna go with that one. There's a few things I haven't been able to make a decision on. I think only two things, though. I feel like we're making pretty good, fast decisions. If I had to walk into a lighting store and be like, well, which light do I want? I wouldn't be able to do it, but they have already chosen the most, you guys, our lighting package in our house is probably gonna be the most magical part of As it. As I've been going through this process, I can't help but think over and over again, number one, how much energy, time, effort, all of that that went into this, putting together every last little detail of our home for us, which is amazing, and then two, I have no concept of how we would possibly do this without this team helping us out, walking us through it. It has been a breeze. It's been fun. We're enjoying it. We're already through the main level. The top level is going to fly. We'll take some fun time in the basement and then we'll be done. Basement's definitely more my space. Everything else upstairs, mostly <laughs> mom's space. Time to dive into the rest of the upstairs, which is going to be the rest of the kids' rooms before we head down to the basement. This will be tile all around here. coming into the last two rooms of the house. We just finished up one of the most difficult rooms that we've probably spent the most time Are you time calling me on. difficult? I mean, you said I it. will say you flew through kitchen, laundry, all of these things that were so high no. priority to you, and man, did we get held up in the theater. But I think <laughs> we are figuring out, guys, it's tan leather seats in the theater versus black. black. I don't know, I've always pictured it being black, but I'm trying to open my mind to something else. Anyways, on to two more rooms. These should be quick. Pool bath the and pool Brandon's bath office. and my office. I think I'm gonna be pretty easy going on this one, I hope. Plus it's got texture, so they're not gonna slip and fall. We are completely done. Just finished up going through every single room on every level of the house. We have finalized most of the details. There are a lot more decisions still yet to be made, a lot of things still to do. But Mindy's going around right now taking pictures of a collection of all of the samples so you can kind of get a snapshot of each room as far as like the colors, the way that they'll flow. A lot of today was about some of the furniture that's gonna go in some of the places, some of the themes in the kids' rooms. She's getting a picture of those so they can kind of remember what each room looked like. And we're gonna start ordering some of these things already, guys. Then in the meantime, our builder just sent us this video of what's going down at the house along 
along with a message that the concrete footing has been scheduled for tomorrow at 11. So tomorrow morning, guys, 11 a.m., we're gonna be getting some concrete in that hole, and the progress just continues. just wrapping things up here we were just up there on the third floor making all of these decisions and I think that we'll remember forever this place this moment this is when we got to see our house come to life <laughs> I could picture everything for the first time I could yes. picture myself walking through the house you guys I'm laughing because I <laughs> I just dropped my phone. I can't believe you told them. I was like, are you, I don't know. she just went to the bathroom before we left, dropped her phone in it the toilet, in had to fish pocket. it out. And then as she's telling me the story, she's like, yes, I had to reach into the toilet, get it out with my bare hand. I love you and so much. And she's like, look at Okay, but no, I think we actually made almost every single decision other than we're uncertain about what chairs we want in the family room. That's honestly it. We know which love seat couch, all that stuff. It's just literally like these two extra chairs. I think yeah. everything else, and there's a lot of stuff that I didn't realize was not part of today. So still a lot of cabinetry decisions to be made. We have to, to design made. cabinets. We have to go to a window appointment. The way that everything works right now and with how long it takes to get things, we will probably order the furniture for the home the next couple of weeks. In the next weeks. couple of weeks, you guys, and this is going to be like a lot of new furniture, new pieces, because it's going to have rooms that we didn't have before. Some of the kids' yeah. stuff they've had since we've been married, since mom was a teenager, just we're updating a ton of stuff. And a lot of those choices were made today so that the house will just all flow nicely. So that everything yeah. looks like it comes and goes together. I think we did a phenomenal job. I feel so good we about all the decisions we made. Decisions. How quick it all came together, how good we felt. We didn't really get hung up on almost anything. We were just like, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I love that. If we got hung up for a minute. The theater. Theater chairs were a bit of an issue, but guys, we ended up settling on black. I just want black theater chairs. I think that's what I've always pictured. That's what I've always wanted. So that's what I'm getting. So black theater chairs <laughs> made that decision. <laughs> kids have gotten home from school, been well taken care of. Stephanie helped us out Stephanie's today. So the best. Thank you. We got to get home, help the kids with their homework. Braxton has a project due tomorrow, and Brandon has an activity tonight with the youth in our neighborhood. So we got to get going. We got to get on. home. Let's it's go. like six o'clock right now. So that means it's stretch hour. Perfect. Let's go. <laughs> It is blazing bright out here, but I just arrived on site and there is so much activity going down. They've got the pump truck showing up right now, putting in it stabilizers, whatever they do. Hold that thing steady. There are two or three cement trucks down the street lining up to fill this thing up with cement. They're going to raise that thing high, fill in all of these footings, the frames that they put in there. It is going down right now. Showed up just in time. Flurry of activity going down. We're going to be here to witness the entire thing and share it with you guys. going down behind me right now and it is so dang cool to witness and watch they've got the pump truck pumping out some cement and if you couldn't see I tried to get it on drone there was a guy down there with a remote control on his belt just moving that arm mechanically like an RC car filling the footings perfectly with cement and then there's a guy who comes down kind of helps he's got to jimmy it a little bit in tight situations the remote control filling the cement from these trucks now when they run out they bring up another cement truck fill that back up and they're just gonna fill in just those footings so just the part that had framework around it so it's just like a maze of cement it's not the full foundation today my first time witnessing this firsthand and it is quite a sight to see. I'm hoping the kids can get up here while they still got all these fun trucks, all this big activity going on, because as a kid, man, this is like heaven. I'm waiting for the kids to get here. I just texted Raga. They are nearly here. I really want them to witness this. This is so stinking cool. They should be here any moment. They still got a bit left to do over here in this corner, so I think they're gonna catch it. They made it, they are here, we're they're getting here to witness that. this process. This is cool. This is insane. Rock guy ran out and he's like, dude, this, this is, is so, so cool. sick. He's like, this looks like it's a full blown construction site. And it is constructing our home, you guys, our house. So we're really gonna do it? I think at this point, once that dries, you're locked in, right? You say that with every single thing that happens. I guess we're really gonna do it? Yeah, we're doing it, guys, and it's going down. It's happening right now in front of our eyes. Yeah, this is really cool. I could sit and watch this kind of stuff all day long. These guys 
guys have got a fun day plan today. Brex Hazy gonna I go to corn bellies with the neighbors. Rock guy's gonna be doing some homework. Who's gonna practice the kickflip? They gotta get out of here. Mom's gonna take them back yes, right now I to go meet up with the Sarah. Kids back home. We were able to come and see it though. This is so awesome. I'm so glad you guys got the win. It is very, very cool watching the process go down, watching it complete. Now they're about halfway done with the footing, smoothing them out all the way across the top. Should finish this up today. Yeah. And I think foundation's next week. Yeah. I think it's that Whoa. soon, you guys. So, so much going down at the house, so much more to come. We hope you guys are enjoying the documentation of this process because we love watching it come together. So much fun. So everybody else had to take off, but Kirby Doo decided to stay with me because he's a boss and he loves this stuff and he's just also my favorite son. Yeah. I can say that because you're the only one here right now. But right now, they are just roughing it in. It's kind of fun to watch. They pour it in, it's all just like chunky rock. They fill in those frames and these guys come behind and smooth it all out. Nice and glossy smooth. So it's got that nice finish. And then they let this dry for like a week. And then next week, come and build up the walls, fill those in, and we've got a foundation for our home. Very cool watching this come together. I think we're gonna stick around. This should be one cement truck left and they're done. We gotta get home, get into the rest of our day, but it's been a really cool cool way to start the vlog and start this day. Oh yeah. Sun has just set and that's how it's going to sit for the next few days, at least until next week. Now you guys know we are taking off to Disneyland next week for Brexy's birthday, so hoping we don't miss the pouring of the foundation. We don't want to push anything back because right now it's so hard to schedule this kind of stuff. Even if we have to miss it, we want them to move forward with it. But for now, it's going to sit like this. They've got all those bars in there where they're going to put the walls. Can't wait to see this come together. It was so fun watching this be built and set up today. It was a gorgeous, beautiful, warm, sunny day. Perfect for pouring concrete. Couldn't have been better. Super stoked to see it finished off tonight. Just got here, an activity already underway. They've got a cement truck showing up right now. They've got the pump truck with the pump arm fully extended down inside those walls. It's going down right now, you guys. I showed up just in time. Just talked to the guy in charge of putting in these walls and tying off the rebar, doing our footings, that whole thing, our entire foundation. His crew, as you guys know, worked through the weekend to be ready for this. What I just found out from him is that if it didn't happen today, if they didn't work through the weekend, it would be next Friday. They really wanted to get it done today and we are so grateful for them working so hard to make this happen so it could be today so we can stay on schedule so that the next phase can begin and then we can start the framing earlier because of that. So huge shout out to them for their hard work working through the weekend to make this possible going down today right now in front of our very eyes. You guys, first truck just showed up. I think first of many. Always so grateful for the honey bucket right in every single shot that I'm trying to get of these cement trucks pulling up in the pump truck. But flurry of activity here today, cement trucks in and out. Mom's on her way right now, just got back from the eye doctor with Rex. Kids I hope are gonna be joining us. They do have some homework that they wanna do and get done so they can get playing with their friends. Going down today right now, mom gonna be joining us here in a minute. It does cause quite a bit of traffic congestion. Thankfully the neighborhood has about one house in it right now, but there are other trucks trying to get through to work on other sites. Whenever anybody's really doing a lot of work on their home, it kinda shuts everything down. Stoked for mom to see this. The big thing's gonna happen when these are done and dry, they'll pull the walls down. I believe that's tomorrow. They'll waterproof them and they fill in everything on the ground level. So everything that's dirt down below will be filled in, the foundation, gravel, whatever it is. For today, they're just filling in these forms to create the walls. There's a whole bunch of like construction activity, a lot of industrial awesome activity, which is fun to just watch, like being a kid. But as far as the way it's going to look, at the end of the day, it'll look kind of exactly like this because the cement will be inside those walls. But then tomorrow, I believe, they're gonna take down those walls. Tear down this wall. Gorbachev. Just for fun and for a different angle and for some perspective, I'm standing in the back corner of the lot. You can kind of make out over the edge there, the top of that hill, the tip tops of those walls. So that'll be the back of the garage. I guess actually the back of the merch room and yard storage, which is kind of cool. Standing out here really gives some perspective on how much room the kids are gonna have to play, have friends over to entertain.
Walking out here on the backside, just trying to get some perspective on the yard. But I can't help but notice these gigantic boulders, you guys. These were dug up from our foundation. These were underground, unearthed while digging the foundation of the home. They're leaving them here because we could do something with them. It would be pretty rad to take these and make something out of them in the backyard, or they like a climbing boulder structure of some kind. Maybe some kind of like a dope waterfall for the swimming pool. Part of a retaining wall. I don't know, but they are huge. And they're just here. They're just ours. I don't know. Could do something cool with those. Got any ideas what to do with ginormous boulders? Head on over to Instagram. Let us know what you think we should do with them. I think we keep them because they are cool. Mom has arrived. She is in here. the house. Not quite in the house, because if we were in the house, we'd be getting covered in cement right now. It is going very well. We've had a flurry of trucks coming through. They told us about 17, 18 cement trucks would be coming through here today. I lost track, I lost count, because I was talking to our builder, having a great conversation with him. We learned a little bit more about what the other houses around us are gonna be doing, how they're all gonna kind of mesh together yes. into one cohesive neighborhood unit. Yes. In the meantime, while that was going on, it is truck in and out, in and out. They're filling up those forms. Mom's here seeing it for the first time. I think my parents are gonna come so over and check cool. it out. We just love standing here and watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as we do. I definitely I over know. document and overshoot it because it's so fun, it's so cool. I hope that this isn't a little anticlimactic because it's so cool, it's such a big moment. Yeah, there's not really anything to see. I actually said that earlier, I'm like, well, when oh. we walk away, it'll look exactly like that. But inside of it is cement, and then they're gonna take the walls down. He kind of gave us a run out of what comes next. They're gonna take the walls down, waterproof them, backfill some. Oh my gosh, I just all of a sudden saw, you can see the sun setting on the lake from here. So that pretty. is gorgeous, I'll show you guys that in one second. Squirrel! But then he's like, then we're gonna get plumbing in here, electrical in here, it's gonna really start to move because he said we have a lot more control over when those people show up. The footings and foundation people, very backlog. So to get them in and finish this quickly. And huge. we also want to do that when we're not worrying about weather. This week actually is the perfect week to get this done. Beautiful it's week this week. Kind of hard to do Great that weather. in the cold and in the winter. Look at that gorgeous view right there. Oh, that's my truck. No. I... Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, but look at this. That is the lake. It's funny. We had our friends come up here, the Shumways from the Shumway Show on YouTube. And they were checking out the lot. We're going to be neighbors with them, which is kind of exciting and fun. And they text us and they were like, guys, your lot is such a dope place. It's got such a rad view. And we assumed they were talking about this that's our favorite view we love that they're like you have such a rad view of the lake and i'm like you can see the lake from where <laughs> we always look that way <laughs> i never noticed that but as i'm standing here talking that. there's a gorgeous view of the lake from which up here which is going to be cool because from brexton and ryler's room it will look out at that lake. and well all three of the boys you'll be able to see the lake brexton's is a great view of the pool he's gonna have the best view in my opinion brexton's gonna have the best view Came over here for a new perspective. Yeah, Mindy, get on my level. <laughs> 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 we came out here for a new perspective, but this is what we're kind of talking about. You can see that these forms are completely full. You can see cement to the top. The guys are going through, leveling They're them all. They're making them all smooth. Brandon's like, why are they like taking so much time on that? And I was like, this is the foundation. The framing is built upon this. And guys, we wanted to do something cheesy where we kind of like bury some things that would make up the foundation of our home. And when I say cheesy, guys, I mean next level cheesy. Like love, happiness, kindness. Those are the things that we want to be and to make up the foundation of yes, our home. It's do. much more than just cement. It's just the foundation for our family and for yeah. our home that we will live in that we'll raise our family in but we talked to our builder and he actually has a really fun part of the build that he likes to bury like a time capsule or something like that within the home he said that way if like decades or 100 years down the road somebody goes through into some renovations they may actually find They'll it find and it. find the things in there so if you have any ideas for things that would be a great time capsule piece we've got some great ideas of things that we want to include but go over to our instagram comment or dm us some thoughts that you have on what we could put in there in our time capsule that's something that we really are looking forward to doing but today the foundation being poured cement but beyond cement you know it's cheesy it's love guys it's the things that the bingham family stands for being inclusive, being kind, treating others as you want to be treated. That is the foundation of this home and overall the family unit. I think there is still an opportunity for us to maybe put something in the yeah. actual They're like, still gonna do floor that. of the basement, you know, so we might do that. Yeah, they've just got the walls. It's still dirt there. That's going to be filled in with a four They're inch layer of cement. They're going to backfill it a little bit with dirt rather than doing all concrete because that'd be really expensive. So they're going to do a little bit of dirt, a little bit of sand, pebbles, okay. and then they're going to do four inches of concrete. There you go. So there's a good chance foundation. that we could do something there and that is, Indy, you nailed it. The strong foundation is what I think is important. Important. Build the foundation of your home and your family and your life on strong, sturdy things. And that's what we've tried to do. Cheesy as it is, those things are a lot stronger than the strongest cement.
guys, it's bright. The sun is setting, actually sets right over there. But I had to show you, they've got the entire basement completely framed in. They're going to be sheeting the floors, which basically is just laying the plywood across the top, going on to that next level. This is completely done, guys. Not only that, the stairs down to the basement are uncovered and finished. I'm gonna take my first trip down the stairs. Hopefully it's not an actual trip down the stairs. <laughs> Just a little walk down the stairs. You guys are coming with me. Here we go down the stairs into the merch room through the garage. Just parked my truck, bringing down some fire new merch. It's the latest drop. Oh my gosh, Mindy, this place is a disaster. We gotta pick it up. <laughs> coming through here, through the garage, underneath the garage, I should say. You got another set of stairs up here that is still covered. This is like this little fluffy blanket just to keep it nice and warm. And then you come in here. Oh my gosh, Mindy, you're in the basement. Now hold on, what did I just pass? This is like a mechanical room? Yeah. Pool bath? Yep. So I know what that is. Okay, moving forward. Hi, welcome to my home. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Over here is okay. the kitchen. Full basement tour. Let's just do it. I don't care. This is too cool. Okay. Right here you'll have a fridge. Okay. And then you'll well, maybe not that level of detail. You don't have to tell me the light switches are. See? So kitchen, next. Dishwasher. Keep going. What's the next thing? What am I staring at right here? What's this main thing you're standing in? Game room. This is game room. Game room. Okay. This way. This is actually. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. No, this is the theater. Here we go. Oh, wait. Candy bar over here. As in like what? bar for candy. This is bigger than we thought. <laughs> We thought this was a hallway and you would have like a candy station over here like a concessions counter And then I don't even know what I don't think we even one's have a plans candy and one's a drink. But I don't feel like we even had plans for the side because it looks so small We have lots of cabinetry right there. We should double check the plans because they did need some more space for the mechanical room I wonder if that's supposed to be pulled this way Anyways, all I know is that there's a lot of room for candy in here before you get into the theater So we could put a full popcorn machine soda fountain, whatever you come in here into the theater. There you go there's See that? The there's yeah, a theater. That. Not a lot going on there all right. coming out this way now Minnie This is a giant door, correct? Big old door that will slide wide open go right out to the backyard look at that how spectacular is that out there okay yeah. going over this way we have this is the family room downstairs okay downstairs family room now we're gonna have fireplace tv couches the good stuff yes all of that and then right here ginormous is that one open window or is it split down the middle i think it's gonna be split into thirds Wait, but three there windows. will be very very small little borders or whatever okay regardless borders. really big gorgeous opening to the backyard the light's not adjusting there's those mountains finally can see them beautiful <laughs> that is so big it doesn't even look like there's a window there it looks like i'm just standing in the open that is awesome okay yeah, it's gonna be cool and then right here this is a little storage room underneath the stairs okay and then when you come around here the stairs will come down here okay so this is the actual entrance from upstairs so this is where you would come down okay they've actually been using the stairs that's the yeah <laughs> okay and then you come down here you walk down and then you have arrived at the gym. exercise room the gym right there yeah. those will be big old glass doors like the whole floor to ceilings glass right yeah oh my gosh i can't wait for that okay a uh, little tiny linen closet linen closet maddie's bed Bedroom. Maddie's bedroom. She's got some sticks going on in there holding stuff yeah. up, but gorgeous giant window. Nice, good sized room. Yeah. This is Brandon's office right here. I got a little turned around there. This is off the stairs. The cold storage. My office, much bigger than I thought. I actually, when I was standing here, I was like, I don't even know how you can fit a desk in here. Once they put the walls up, boom. I kind of mentioned this before that when we've come down here when there was no walls up, we're like, we where's know all the what stuff going to go? Like, yeah. I don't see how it's going to calculate. And then now that the walls are up, we're like, okay. Well, we can fit the stuff in here. This makes sense. This is actually going to be. The cold storage is gigantic. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to see because it's so dark, but it goes on forever, both directions. You can fit. Oh my gosh, there's somebody. Ah! What are they doing at our house? <laughs> <You're so dumb. laughs> Coming back out into my office. Now, office into cold storage may be a little bit of a weird vibe, but it was a way that we could get an office and a piano room. Yeah, so this that was be important. A door. Yeah. Okay, down in here, bathroom, right? Gym, remember? Yep. Laundry. Oh, laundry right here. This is actually specifically it's for be Maddie stacking. and washing towels at the pool. So you don't have to take loads of wet towels up and down the stairs. How cool is that? And then bathroom, which we have already showed you. This was the first thing that was framed out so yeah there it is, i'm guys. in the bathroom <laughs> Mindy, I have to go tinkle. I'm just gonna go into the pool bath. Just kidding, you know I'll always go in the pool. I you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool, guys, and I'm pretty excited about this because this is a bathroom that can be used for the basement, like game room family, if you want. But the bathroom mainly for that is that back one in that corner. This is specifically just for the pool, but it has a shower, toilet, changing area. If you guys saw the original, original plans, we had a full on like his and hers with like lockers yeah. and stuff. We ended up reducing the overall square footage of the house that cut back into this. And so now it just has like a nice sink area. But the cool to part is, is we change this sink up to be one that is floating yes. so that all the water that comes in from the pool and such will not affect the cabinet. But it's nice when people come over a lot of times you know you want to have a nice place to change and some people like you like to shower or shower the kids after they're done yeah. swimming and you want a place to do that and so you've got your own spot to do that here so I think that's a really nice yeah. cool addition to this.
can't get over how cool this is, you guys, having these floor trusses, I learned, and I think the joists are maybe something that holds them together. I don't know. But I can't get over how cool it is having this up above, because now we have a ceiling. And we've talked about this before, but you can physically see the 10-foot ceiling vibe, so it will not feel like a basement. We've talked about that. I, I told Mindy, I was like, you're going to want to go down there. It's not going to be like a basement. It won't be like a dungeon. She's like, I don't know. It's still a basement. But standing here, you can see. I mean, it is wide open, straight out the back. It is high, airy ceilings. I think you're going to actually hang out down here from time to time. I'll probably come down here to get away from people. Just kidding. Uh, that's where all the people are going to be. That's where the party's going to be. You can be in your closet. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> taken off and I head back home but I had to say as I was flying the drone I realized even the mountains are very happy about the progress on our house because there's a giant smiley face on the Brandon's mountain. Brandon's like does that look like a smiley face and I was like heck yes it does. <laughs> you tell us if you guys think it looks like a smiley face hit the like button because I think it, it does. does. Just got back from the temple. It was awesome. With crew, it was fantastic. Rai Guy was there as well. Incredible experience, incredible opportunity. To take him there. They are now busy doing other things. Hazy's at dance. Brexton's got an activity. Crew's got an activity. Rai Guy's chilling with us. So it's just us. They say that the home is like a temple yes, for your they family. Do, so speaking of that, we went from one temple to the next. The next temple that we went to is our very own, our very own yes. home right here, you guys. And we have a massive, major update to give you. I know, you guys. They've done so much. Should I just step back and show, kind of reveal on the outside? Oh my gosh. There's another floor to it. We have a second level. We have a main level. We have a porch. We've got walls all the way up in the great room. And inside, we have so much to show you. So, Mom, should we get started? Should Let's we walk them through? Started. Welcome okay. to the Bingham home. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even like do it justice to I do it in the camera. So I have always wondered what is it going to look like when we have that giant wall Because it's hard you guys when you're putting the thing together It's very hard to get an idea perspective of what it's all gonna feel like once the walls are up once you get put in place But to see this here now holy cow that's gonna be amazing and guys They put the cap to the window it goes out into the back the view that I talked about like on Christmas day When we're down here opening presents we're just hanging out vlogging I thought about this the other day so we're doing our vlog things that we do You know we're always showing us getting ready in the morning having dinner kids doing homework whatever when we move I mean it's gonna be like everything is new for the first time everything we do will be the first time in that kitchen the first time in that front room. It's gonna be like a whole new, almost like studio set for our family's life. Steel Whoa! Beam. Steel beam over there. But guys, look at the size of this. I can't really give you any good perspective of it. Kinda helps to show Mindy like relative to the window. <laughs> Mindy, are you joking me right now? That's a window. Now it'll be like divided because obviously there's not a piece yeah. of glass that big, but. There's gonna be a couple sets of them. Anyways, that's gonna be incredible. That is the great room view right out the back, you guys. Insane. Right guy, by the way, is working on a photography project right now. He's gotta do spot coloring. Two so he's grabbing some one. bright colors that pop and he's working on a framing for his photography class. So while we're here walking and vlogging the house, he's actually taking this opportunity to do homework in photography. A lot of you guys have asked how that's going. It's going very well. I think he loves it. Kind of, yeah. This could be our fridge. Wait, that to that? Yep. Well, some stuff I don't want to spoil, but at the same time, like it's so far out, maybe you guys will forget. But one of the things that's very cool is the refrigerator will just look like it's the rest of the cabinets. It'll look exactly like the rest of the cabinets There'll in the be kitchen. A door right there. It's like a secret oh. door. They'll walk up to like what looks like Oops. a cabinet. Oh, you pull open the refrigerator and freezer doors, entry to the pantry, which will give you like the full walking. We'll start at the front and walk through. But that right there will be a door that looks legitimately like cabinets. You will think it's cabinets, but it will push in and then you can go into the pantry. So pretty yeah, cool, pretty cool setup. So cool. Supposed to be a secret. Try and forget by the time we do the full house tour. tour but first you guys we have to tell you our porch was poured this is all going to be such amazing space to hang out in the front yard also underneath this is all of our cold storage isn't there gonna be like i don't know if the word is awning but stuff's gonna come out from there right like it's yeah, gonna be covered. Be, covered. It'll be covered i think and that's, that's kind of cool we even have like a chandelier hanging and there. i want to say that there are columns that are the same stone as exterior of our house There's columns here and here i believe one isn't there right one there. back there yeah one over there so a lot of dope columns coming in but it's really cool to see the I size know. of this porch now that it's poured and you can 
kind of see how much space there is to work with. Think about the fall decorating of the porch, putting out your pumpkins, your hay bales. Oh my gosh, porch, pretty rad. Now, moving on, where do we go next? What? Have you told the people yet that I got dressed? And then you're like, ooh, I have a black sweatshirt and green pants. I don't know what you're talking about. You're trying to infer that in some way I may have matched you on purpose so that we could be twinning? Yes. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, why are you leaving? You're usually my twin. Mindy, actually, I'm just gonna put this out there on record. Mindy does not like it when I go and wear stuff that matches it her. It looks a little cheesy for husband and wife. And I love it. I love it. I do it every time. Okay, so anyways, okay, back well, to twinning. I'll... Here we go. Porch, awesome. It's cement, whatever. And then walking in, gonna be big double doors. Are they glass, mom? They're glass and wood uh, or what? They're glid. They're glid. They're glid. glid. Wood and glass. The top will be like a frosted bubbly glass. That way we bottom. can pretend we're not home if we want to. It'll be double door. Just cool. We've never had that before. Open up the double doors and then you walk in and Mindy, shazam, bam, really quick. I know we're gonna turn to the right. But if you could only see the view Don't straight behind right you. Now. Okay, okay, we won't. We won't. This is going to be the piano room. There will be a piano right here. And guys, if you remember, the plan is to take our upright grand and turn that in for a baby grand. It'll be a nice, beautiful yeah. baby grand in the corner for the kids to practice on and Mindy. And so that's really cool. Yeah, it'll be beautiful. Really cool. And right here will be a sofa and some end tables. Is he making fun of me? He's making fun of me. I did see a change that we see. made that I don't think transferred through all of the plans. Oh, so shoot. We actually need to bring this door out. We're going to have double pocket doors. So when you pull them out, they just slide into themselves. Yeah. So they that go works? into the wall. And whenever you want to just not listen to the piano playing, you can just close them. Okay, they look really be... nice. A nice look. Mom's yeah. thinking like an arch of glass on the top. Yeah, really same nice. kind of wood that will probably be the front door. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. So guys, really quick, you've heard this probably a thousand times, but if you're new here, it's your first video you've ever watched. We're Originally, you were building a house. Yes, and this is it. Originally, this was going to be my office. And I've just never really loved the idea of prioritizing my office in the home. It's always just been like, if there is space, then tuck me in the corner and that's fine. I don't need to be like the big center focal piece of the home. We were going through the plans of the house and it just something just didn't feel right when we yeah. realized that it was was too much emphasis on the office here and no piano room i know changes to a piano room the office is now downstairs and we love it we love it so much more i think um, my office is bigger downstairs than it would have been up here huge yeah downstairs. <laughs> there was a point we started doing church at home in our current house we use that piano room as that and so it's nice that if we needed a space that just was kind of like the special room it's like a quieter more reverent this more a, this is that room yes this is perfect perfect okay now guys so excited as we walk through to the next one i just want you guys to right now hit that like button if you are are absolutely loving seeing walls up and being able to actually visualize what we've been talking about for months. We've Here been going I'm on these. At my closet, and it's bringing me. <laughs> but it's not as you walk in the entryway. No. She's looking through the wall. The but corner. guys, we've been talking about this for months, from like drawing up the plans, buying the lot, announcing it to you guys. It's so many happening. things. And it's happening is here. You can see walls. We can show you rooms. I want you to hit that like button right it's now. Awesome. This is amazing. Okay, walk okay. us in, mom. Blow right. our minds. Where are so we going next? In. Right here is where you're going to head upstairs. The staircase is not there because we have to do the second story. But they'll pop out maybe one or two stairs. Anyways, it's going to be gorgeous. Head straight up. Let's come here. Let's go into this main area because you can't, you just can't ignore or deny this, Mindy. Or that person driving by. You can't ignore that either. This is the great room. Oh, and it's great, Mindy. And it's got great views. It's got... <laughs> Great it is. It's so great. It is so great. Guys, every time we're vlogging in our front family room, this is where we're going to be. I mean, this is going to be so it's cool. It's going to be cool. We're going to have a fireplace, stone fireplace. The stone is the same stone as the exterior of our home. Yep. We're going to have some beautiful built-ins right there. We have bought the most beautiful furniture for this room. I can't even... It's amazing, guys. It's room. been so perfectly and professionally designed. That's what's cool that we've already bought all of our furniture. I know what pieces of furniture are going against what walls and in what rooms. It's so fun. I don't know if you guys know what's going on with the furniture. We actually won't see it until it's in our home. So that's going to be kind of amazing to see it for the first time set up in the home. We've seen it in drawings. We've seen pictures. We've purchased it for the actual final reveal of our home. It will already be set up and staged for us yes, so that when we walk in, a big reveal. they love we to won't. do that. Something that their builder and our designer love to do with their homes. We're just like, yeah, we would love to try sure, that out. Let's do it. Let's see what that's like. They will put all the stuff in, set it all up perfectly, they but don't I don't mess it up. They us to be at our house for the two weeks during the setup process. Before you move in the last two weeks, you can't even come by the house. I mean, maybe you could sneak a little drive by, but you can't look and side and then they will reveal the home to you walk in and we're going to obviously vlog that experience to the fullest I our reaction the big guns you yes call Daniel to see, help us. <laughs> seeing our own house for the first time as you guys see it for the first time will yeah. be a pretty spectacular moment so as she talks about the furniture and the setup i was just thinking we're not even going to see that until it's actually in here and the home is done incredible so we look forward to that now lots to cover here so let's keep going yeah okay so after the great room you come into where the dining table will be you guys know that my dad has built the dining table that's in our current home we are still taking that with us but we're going to put it in a different area of the home we have ordered the most beautiful wood dining table that's going right here with some new chairs. And after the dining table, this is the kitchen. This is probably approximately
approximately where the island will be, right here. This is where the sink will be over here. Oven, big, beautiful. What do you call those? The range, the hoods? Hood. Yeah. Big, beautiful. Very cool, right very, very cool. Fridge, freezer. Then this is a nice walk-in pantry with a Costco door. This will be like main storage pantry where all the food goes and stuff. That little door, they call it a Costco door, goes out into the garage. So I'll just pull in the garage. So mom pulls into that open garage, it. opens the van, just shoves stuff through the door, and it's in the pantry ready to be put away. I mean, love it. Awesome. I love it. And over here, you're like, why do you have a weird pocket in your kitchen? I've seen so many house plans, and they had like this little butler's pantry is what they call we it. We call it the Rondi. Rondi! Rondi, fetch my mixer. <laughs> so that's where all that kind of stuff can go, kind of be hidden. There will be an additional sink and garbage in here. The back wall is going to be these beautiful shelves, all the decorative things. So that it looks really nice as you look into it, but then you can kind of tuck messes off to the side. This big, huge window <laughs> and that huge window. This window out. is the view when mom washes dishes. I mean, we can all take a turn washing dishes, but I just mean like <laughs> when you're washing yeah. dishes, that's the view. Pretty spectacular, pretty I unbeatable. I dishes all day long. I love but this. But I could also lot. I love it. the couch and look out these big, beautiful windows. Oh, and we missed this really quick. This is going to be gigantic sliding, right? Sliding glass doors. Yeah. So they go out to a huge to patio. patio back there. So it'll be above ground. Very, very cool. I'm actually very excited about that. Fun place to hang out and kind of be above and still get that view. I think once you get down, the view might get blocked, but so up here, a little bold. still good, still good. Over here. Oh my gosh, what else is up here? This is the door that you'll come in from the garage. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is the garage door, and yeah. just poured these stairs in from the garage. So this is going to be my garage over yep, here. There we go. So I'll walk right in. Over here is going to be the six lockers. And oh, going, yes, dude, lockers. Lockers will go here, and then we're going to have like a quartz or a granite slab kids can sit on, and underneath will be little things that they can put their shoes and junk and all the crap in. Yep. Over here is going to be a drop station. We have a big set of cabinets that will have chargers, it will have all that kind of good stuff. Something we didn't really anticipate about the custom building process. A drop zone specifically is designed to charge the batteries and other things that we would need for the vlog. They walk through with you. What are your main functions in needing outlets? Where do you need them? What are things? And I was like, well, we kind of have a unique need in that every outlet in our kitchen has a battery charger for one of our cameras plugged into it. And so they're often used up. And they're like, we will just put all of those into this one section over here inside of this area. And that way you can keep your batteries out of the way, but they will all have a home and a place. So very cool that as you're going through and building a home like this, you can get that detail and that specific yeah. in your needs. They're like, hey, we have a lot of camera batteries that need to be charged. So let's build a station for that. Like yeah. how cool is that? Another thing that we're doing that's kind of fun and different right here, we're going to have one of those water fountains. So the kids can oh, a drinking fountain, up, water fill bottle. up their water bottles, kind of stuff. The water bottle filler. Yeah, they yeah. wanted that really bad. Kind of cool. This is a little powder bath. You walk in and the vanity's right ahead. This Welcome. is this side of the house. Over there is our bedroom and those things. So should we go on over to the bedroom? you go down to the basement. And I really like this curve. Actually, there's been a lot of progress on the basement. So maybe we'll do like a very quick update on the basement. Very, very quick. There's been some work on there because I don't know if we said this already, but when we were in Florida, it snowed the entire time. But they actually weren't able to work on much of this. I know that seems surprising because so much is done, but they did a lot of stuff in the basement. So framing up like the theater and some other areas that they needed yeah. to work on downstairs. So they did some additional work down there while we were in Florida and we came back. They hadn't done a ton up here. Like we've told you a couple times, it's been gorgeous weather, getting even better tomorrow. So they are cranking. Doing awesome. And as you can see, have gotten quite a bit more done. Very very short amount of time since we've been back from Florida. Okay, so, and okay. then now, basement stairs, cool. Moving into? This is the owner's suite. Oh, well, that would be you, ma'am. Yes, I'm the owner. Come right this way. Follow me. Come down this little hallway for us, but right here is like a linen closet of sorts. Okay, very cool. We have one little tiny linen closet upstairs in our house right now. The door is about this big, just does not hold much. One thing we love about the designer that did our floor plan, they literally used every square inch that they could and put a closet there, and then another one here. But it's not like weird, because we've no. seen here, literally like, like really weird. good high-end <laughs> homes that I'm like, why did they stick that random corner and put a door? They you can't use that. But job. these guys, JCD, like they maximize the use of everything and it's all practical. It's all usable. So it good. feels like a home. It doesn't feel like a museum. It's very, very cool the way they do things. So, so now, right guys, this is the hallway into our bedroom. Would you like to see how it works? Okay. Yeah, so it's nice and tucked back in a way. It's not really hallway, so it's a hallway. again, with the theme of having big giant windows everywhere. It's so awesome. We have a lot of windows in our bedroom. These are the best views, I think, of the lot. And so we really wanted to maximize this. Originally, didn't have these two. And as a camera with a setup, was the fireplace was over here shared on this back wall so and we flip-flopped it little tiny square windows up in those and corners I was just like number one i personally need light like coming in every morning when i wake up the first thing i do is what brandon wake up the house i say it's waking up the house but i open all the blinds i bring in all the light because it just makes me feel good and i go we behind her and shut them all yeah huge it always shuts them the wrong because it's hard because like, do you the... not know how to shut the blinds how is there only one way to shut blinds <laughs> there is okay. only one way <laughs> and then this window is gorgeous and beautiful okay ginormous window out the back but i interrupted you you're talking about these so these are two big windows on either side of a fireplace right fireplace 
place in the middle. We've ordered the cutest, most beautiful chase right here. Can't wait. Bed will go here. This is why, guys. Like, these are the views that you get this lot for. And we just did not want them to be obstructed or blocked by our own walls. Now, a neighbor. eventually, a neighbor will be there. And their house will be at this level, which will it's block okay. most of that. But still, who cares? It's gorgeous. Yeah, guys. it's gorgeous. The bathroom and the closet. The kitchen is also my favorite. Oh, my God. equal to that is this part. <laughs> Me so. and my guy got the basement. And the okay. backyard. Right the backyard. Okay. So, welcome to the bathroom. <laughs> so, right here, this whole section is going to be a giant vanity with two sinks, tons of cabinetry, cabinetry also going up. I think we're actually only doing storage in the middle. So we'll each have our own side. Mine is the right side because he is installing plugs into my drawers so I can have a hair station. So cool. Super so cool. I love that stuff. And then right here, well, this is where you go tinkle. It's going to be dope though because it's going to have like one of those like heated seat bidet, like robotic. I don't know. We've never used it before, I'm but they're like... like like you gotta have at least one in your bathroom. I have to do it everywhere, yeah, but you gotta have anywhere. one. But we're gonna do one in here just for fun. But what I love is that there's a door to this, so like, you guys, this <laughs> How do you tell you wanna get on this here, Randy? Yeah. This is maybe TMI, but I don't like to go to the bathroom in front of Brandon. I don't think anybody likes to go in front of people. But people have no problem with that, I do. Anyways, there's a door to the toilet, way <laughs> wow. TMI. Okay. Major TMI. Then you come to here, there's going to be, this is all glass, and then you will open a glass door. Kinda like a wet room. That you'll walk into the wet room. Right here will be the tub, and then right here will be the shower. But it's all this one open area that can just be like commonly wet or whatever, yeah. and then the glass will divide that from the bathroom. And dope giant window for lots of light. Yeah, hopefully it's tall enough. But high enough that it's not weird. Things. I've seen some that are like down here or go this way, and I'm like, who wants a window right there where you shower? So that one, great light, but high enough that it's not weird. Now you might think that we're walking into another bedroom, but we're not. It's just my closet. This, this closet, closet is freaking amazing. I love it. This is my closet, and it's going to be really awesome because we are going to have washer and dryer in our closet. And then there's just a small island that's not anything we need to talk about, but there's a little of that in there. And small a island. Window. Interesting. Okay. I was just saying, that's a very big window for the place that you change your clothes. I don't know if that's ever going to be open, but it's cool. I don't know what we do. It's about cool. That. Lots of light. And then, guys, I'm actually standing in my closet right now. So let me flip back out and show it to you. I have, for the first time ever, an actual walk in closet. I don't really know how many laundry baskets I can stack in the floor on here. But we're gonna see. <laughs> we have this running joke that Brandon only uses the, the floor, floor when it comes to a closet. Yeah. Maybe hangers. you could try getting some hangers and see how that looks yeah, out for you. Yeah, I think they will install like rods and hangers. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, we love seeing the progress, seeing this come together. Now, the next level, I think, is probably going into next week. I feel like there's yeah. a lot more to do here before you start building up the oh, ceiling I don't here. Oh, not a ton. Not a ton, but I just know if it's anything like the basement, you got to put an entire floor up there. So that's going to take a little while. And then you go again beyond that. And then I can't wait to see the kids' rooms, the layout with the laundry room upstairs, bathrooms, all the stuff that's going to go into the upstairs. It's just so fun as each thing comes together to walk through it, to see it. You can really start to picture yourself in it. You saw that we brought Ryler today. It's so fun to bring the kids and show them. You really do kind of have to pick and choose what kids come. Because right, there's a little more it is a yeah. construction zone. It is kind of it's a little dingy. Like they put these things up, which I think but is nice because they, put this up. This wasn't up they didn't use to. And these are the sliding doors out to the back. But for right now, it's just a giant cliff for kids to fall off. We've come and the kids, they're pretty good, but we've caught them running a little bit. It's just truthfully not a safe place. Yeah, we've already tripped a few times. I think Ryler is about no, to he's moving fall a ladder, over right so now. <laughs> Maybe we made the wrong choice in bringing Ryler. <laughs> Bring crew next time. All right, guys, photography assignments getting weird. So just for fun, I'm gonna give you a quick update on the basement as well, so we can kind of wrap everything into this. I'm standing in what will be my garage. So I'll pull in this way, Mindy will pull in that way, and this will be the back end of that butler's pantry. And then as I get out of my truck, there are stairs right down here to the merch room. We've shown you that before. Something that's new is having this big wall go up the side of the stairs. It makes it feel very, very deep down here. But one of the things they worked on while it was snowing is this will be the merch room. So anything that's going to be like a finished room, they've put up wood on the outside. I guess that's technically framing it. This will be the merch room, like to here, and this will be where we store and fulfill and ship all of the merch. Which, by the way, mom's working on some fire stuff, guys, so keep an eye on the website. We have cool stuff coming. Stuff that we've never done before, stuff that we've always wanted to do. The right guy coming down the stairs. I don't know if the right guy's seen it though. Has he been here since the basement was framed? Yeah, oh, yeah. oh yeah, sorry, you came with your buddy. One of the other things that they worked on while it was bad weather is the theater room is now fully framed out, which I think looks kind of cool. Actually being able to see, you can see the little door wall the ceiling. Let's see if I can get the light to adjust here. I can't really see the perspective from here very well, but see that opening right there is actually a closet for like multimedia stuff or whatever. Back in there, maybe you could do blank. Theater starting to come together so you can actually see ceiling and walls in there. So they worked on that. I think right guy's 
seeing my office for the first time and realizing that it actually was a pretty sweet deal moving it down here because this is pretty good size. Maddie's room, exercise room, all that stuff, pretty much still the same. I think it just added, it felt like they just added more wood overall. Like everything has been fully framed out. So if you want to go check out that full walking tour of the fully framed basement before they started building the second level on top of that, I'll put a link to that video for you guys because we walked through and showed you the entire thing. The basement is going to be pretty spectacular. It's yes. going to be the housing of all of the entertainment. The main living area is going to be where we live. It's going to be where most of life takes place. It's going to be the kitchen, great room, homework, I meals. I constantly pull the kids up from the basement. I hope so. I hope we get maximum use out of this. Next up is going to be the third level upstairs as the kids get their rooms built. And then the last piece is going to be landscaping. Still quite a few steps in the process. Still a lot more to come. A lot more amazing progress to be made, but we could not be more thrilled, more excited, more happy about how things are going. We are so pumped. Honestly, our builder and his whole team. Best of the best. Incredible. Absolute best of the best. Amazing people. Amazing at what they do. Just across the board. Cream of the crop. Top notch. Best in class. They're amazing. Also, a lot of people I saw when mom threw up a question bubble on our Instagram about the Star Cruiser or anything else. Most of them were house update and when is like the move in. And I think we've said this before, but it's predicted as like an early fall. Like it's October, I would say. I would say. I would bet it's I guess closer I'm to November. I to be in by Braxton's birthday. Secretly, I'm hoping it's in the summer so we can swim in the pool, but I don't think it's going to happen. We're doing a heat. A hot tub. <laughs> Two columns, and then we come out. So then these are your light columns. Sun deck in this space as well, so you can have your loungers. It's just kind of lawn sloping up. Just finished up our meeting with our landscape designer, Darren. Oh my gosh, so much goes into that that we did not even fathom, guys. We spent, I don't even know how much time, just oh on the front God. yard, and if I'm being honest, I thought the front yard was grass with a little walkway. <laughs> He's building these pathways, these things that come from the garage. He's got walls and plants Well, and there's trees a little bit of retaining we have to do because our house we are is a slope. on yep. a slope. Such I mean, a gradual slope, yes. you don't know how that is going to impact landscaping until you get the professionals Speaking in, so you just went slope. down the slope. And so you've got little bits of retainage as you go. When you've got a designer who knows how to work with that, it looks like it's like an intentional feature like one fun little step bush hides that you just drop the foot behind it so he went over all that the front yard I'm actually very excited about. I'm super excited you got like this little circular oh, thing like gold. right as you're walking to the front of the house and that's where it will so meet pretty. the one from the garage anyways talked about all that how we will access the backyard from both sides of the house very excited about how we'll access on that steep side you guys have probably seen from the very beginning it's a massive drop yeah. we've got these cool different levels we actually gonna turn into the little mini gardens on top of each Ooh. it's gonna be awesome you guys but then obviously the main reason we got together showstopper the reason for the move the thing that I I am the most excited about the backyard. You guys come with us. We're gonna tell you a little bit about what we talked about. Yeah. Okay, you guys, we played around with a couple of ideas on how to do the pool. One of the ideas that Darren threw out was to do it like kind of offset in the backyard. Like more a 45 of an angle. degree angle, yeah, like this way. And that Which, helps with the sloping and the grade. It looked really cool. I think the main thing that we've always pictured for our house is to do it parallel to the house. Just so, running right flush along the back. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do a nice little rectangle. Still gonna be right here. Actually, we pushed it out pretty far, like 30 something feet. We have feet. like 30 feet of patio. So a lot of like entertaining space right there. Then it will go in that opening right there. Then we're going to throw in a sport court in the back corner. I would say coolest part of the entire backyard. Going to be an epic water slide yeah. that comes down and dips into the back deep end of the pool. That will kind of work its way into the sport court. I think what he was just great at is just the flow of everything from this yeah. space to that space to this space and then down into like a big grassy area We're back there. We're going to have a huge grassy area. Crew loves to throw the football so we need to have something grassy that the kids can just run and play. We'll have a hot tub just off of the pool with like a little gazebo. He started off the whole meeting by asking us tell me how you're going to use this yard. How many kids do you have? What are their ages? What is the main thing you guys are gonna want to do back here and I thought let's just dive in dude like let's just go in and like talk about the pool and stuff like that I love that he asked that at the very beginning as everything <laughs> came full circle at the end I realized that he had hit on every single every single need point. every thought every want every like imagination I could have had I told him that something that our kids never get tired of is jumping into the pool not necessarily from the side of the pool but if you remember when we went to Turks and Caicos we had that dock went off into the yes. canal there we enjoyed that more than the pool a thousand percent we jumped off that dock more than we actually swam in the pool so if there's something that can provide that same level same type of entertainment at a 
the pool, I think they'll never get tired of it. Not only did he do the slide, guys, but we've got various level platforms for jumping into the pool with so water cool. things coming out of them. Now, he's gonna go run those plans back. We saw that he hand sketched them. We everything out to know, like, is this in the budget? He's gonna formalize them. Does a little hand sketch. He's old school. Has a giant clipboard. Sketches Loved it as it. you talk about it. But I loved it, because then it's like the imagination could just flow, and then you could go, nope, I don't like any of this. Erase. Maybe this is what we do. Let's Redo it. It was such a cool process. But now he'll go take those, turn them into very formal plans. It's gonna take about three weeks to get those pounded out, and then we send them off to get bids and see if we come in and budget on this insane backyard that we have so planned, you guys. It is honestly, if we can get near what he put on paper today, it'd be amazing. Be a it'd dream be come true dream in dream backyard every sure. way. <laughs> home now from our landscape design meeting. Now, that meeting was actually with a guy who was going to put together the design, the layout, make sure everything fits, takes care of the sloping, the grading, incorporates everything that we need, but he won't actually be handling the landscape. I mean, that is a different team, a different person. So once those get done, we'll send them off to bid. And so we've kind of aimed for the sun and moon with what we put together today. Maybe we end up landing in the star somewhere, which would be fantastic. We are able to get all of that put into the backyard. It will be absolutely insane. That ended up being a three hour meeting, you guys. I did not anticipate being there as long as we were, but there was so so much to go over, so many details to cover. So mom has taken the boys off to tumbling right now. We're gonna have her drop off and I'm gonna pick up so that she can come back, put the final touches on dinner, the dinner that you guys saw me start just a moment ago. That moment ago has now been four or five hours since then. The sweet pulled pork is just about done. We'll pick up the kids from tumbling and then we wanna get their reaction as we show them and tell them some of the things that we have in the backyard, some of the things that we've put there specifically for them based on some of the things that we know that they love. It'll be fun to get their reaction, show them all those things. And I also wanna tell you guys, and we'll tell the kids this, how big we are going on this pool. You guys know this is something that we wanted to be the feature piece of our home, of our backyard. One of the big reasons that we were moving is to get the bigger yard, and one of the main things we wanted was a big, awesome, dope, insane, epic pool. But guys, we went big. We went monster size. I'll tell you just how big we went. We explained everything to the kid. First time to put the finishing touches on the dinner for the kids to get their flip on it tumbling. Got the kids back home from tumbling. Just finished up the delicious dinner that I made. She didn't catch that, but I did hit the power button. Dinner was amazing. Mom is going over the front yard with the kids, and now we want to show them the backyard and some of the things that are specifically designed for their entertainment. The entire thing is, but there are a couple things that I'm very excited to tell them and to get their reaction from. So you guys, are you ready to see this dream backyard? Like quite literally, I would say there's my dream. It's right here. Exceeds my dream in every 100%. single way. We don't have a big backyard, so we just think of like, well, you can do this little square of this. We just have haven't thought outside the box. People do that for a living. When we met with him originally, I was like, yeah, so like pool this way, sport court there, and uh, what else? Like a, a, a little patio, a little sounds grass. good. He starts diving in, guys, we've got the diagram up here. Mom has put it on the screen so the kids can see. Just finished going over front yard, driveway, turning it into like a full-blown parking lot because we know the kids eventually are gonna have friends that drive cars and they're gonna need a place to park when they come over, party at the house. We're gonna have ample space for that. So much detail, so much fun going into the front yard. We're gonna skip that for now though. There's a lot more to come. Plenty of opportunities to share that with you. So we're gonna now move into the backyard for the kids. Look at this thing, oh my gosh. Whoa. The detail, you're not even done yet, keep going. Okay, that's the end of it there. So this is, oh mom, wow, so the edge of the house is now gone, and then this is the backyard. We'll walk you through what each thing is really quick. High level, some of the things that you guys are gonna be the most excited about. Before we jump into this, I did wanna tell you, Mom has instituted Donut Thursdays at the lot. We brought donuts on St. Patrick's Day because it was just kind of fun. They were green themed donuts. It happened to be on a Thursday, and Mom is now calling it Donut Thursday. So now we are on the hook for every Thursday they taking a box of donuts. Like they were very pumped. They're great guys doing an amazing job. On top of that, Mom is switching up the donut joint. So she's gone to multiple donut places. I think maybe next time we do daylight, we hit with like one of our favorites. Sure I need to be better about Thursday mornings going earlier in the day. By the afternoon, they're kind of picked over. Better selection. Our guys need the best. Only the best for our framers, you guys. I just had to say that because I thought it was so funny. Walked up the stairs, she goes, Donut Thursday, and they're like, is this gonna they're become like, a regular thing? It's really a thing, I was like, oh, what's a thing? <laughs> but guys, they're not just sitting around eating donuts. They're actually doing work they're over there. Hard. So why don't we show them some of the stuff we put together today? Is this all gonna be cement? Yes. Oh, wow. Pavers or cement or something. Yeah, this is going to be a huge seating and entertaining area with like, we're gonna do dining tables. I mean, it's crazy that you can fit dining table, dining and table chairs under here. So this is another big area. We can do additional barbecue. sun loungers. We can do more tables, chairs, built-in barbecue underneath. Obviously 
obviously the biggest highlight of our backyard is it's going to be the pool. The pool. We are planning a pretty good sized pool. Not a pretty good. It is a monster pool. It is ginormous. <laughs> we originally were thinking like a 20 by 30 is a dope backyard pool. The guys came in and they were fitting it for 20 by 40. Well, guess what? The guy designing it said to us, I've got a 20 by 50 and I think you guys could do that. And we were like, no way. There is a no way. 20 by 50. So he laid it out and then he told us that 20 by 50 is actually technically really a 20 by 46. So then they round up to 50. 20 by 46 is what we're doing, guys. Yes. 20 by 46. No and pool. it's going to be cool Wait. because we're going to have like a little Shamu deck or I'm just going to call it the Mindy Moo. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Do you guys know what a Shamu deck is? No, not, not a, clue. a clue. So yeah, let me explain that. So a Shamu deck is like a shallow depth deck. Yeah. It's probably going to be about six feet it's of the 46. Six feet. So you get a 40 foot length of pool. The Shamu deck is just like, you know, that shallow water yeah. that like little kids can play in, but you can lay out in, but still be in water. water to cool off out. and get some sun. Moms can stay. I know how the moms roll. That's what it is. So the first six feet is going to be the Shamu deck. And then we get into 40 feet of swimming pool. We're going to go down as deep as I think nine ish feet. And yeah. we're going to need the depth mom, because why? Because we have this amazing feature built in right here, the top of the pool where this level will be two feet above the pool. That's where the sun deck chairs will go. So you yeah, got like loungers there to like lay out or whatever, right? right? And then you go up a couple stairs to four feet above the pool. So now you're at a four foot jumping spot. Then you go up just a few more steps and you are six feet above the pool. And then you have you a can jump six foot into jumping. the deep end. So guys, you know how we love the dock <laughs> jumping into the canal more than we like the pool oh, in Turks yeah, and Caicos? I told the guy that when we first started, he said, what are your kids into? What are they like? How are we going to use this pool? And I said, I know it might seem weird to you, but they love just jumping into it off of an elevated surface. Not necessarily a diving board. Doesn't have to be like a rock thing. We had this dock and they just jumped off of it over and over and again. They loved it. He's like, I know exactly what to do. So he built these levels because a lot already slopes. But that's not where you stop. You go up, wind all over a little bit more and a that's few more stairs. You come up here. There's going to be like this fun swing hangout area up there. That's <laughs> also where you enter the slide. You come down into and drop this the deep slide end the is absolutely no joke. This is not a standard run of the mill pool yeah. slide you can pick up in a store. This is a massive fiberglass slide that will be high, steep, we'll have a banking turn, and we're gonna elevate it above the deep end of the pool so that there's a no dropout way. when it sends you into the water. But wait, there's more. Oh, oh guys, gosh. there's so much more. I mean, if that was it, I'd be beyond 100%. happy already. But this guy took it up a level. Took it up a level. We're going to have a hot tub connected right here on the side of the Shamu deck. It's Ooh. going to be absolutely amazing. So guys, we're talking when mom says connected. It's not an above ground hot tub. Oh. It's a flush in ground level with the pool. So you kind of like the one in California. Uh, California. Exactly. Except it's going to be like a big square. That one was kind of like I a half moon. That. So you'll be in the hot tub. You can immediately just like climb out and you're right into the pool. You know how we love doing we that love back and that. forth? Yeah. Like, I kind of feel like as I'm telling these stories and talking to these guys, this home is really being built off of vacation homes that, that we've, we've loved. Visited, yeah. And some of our favorite things we're incorporating into our own home. I love that, you guys. I do too. I think it's going to be really special. Super sick hot tub. Uh, goes right into the pool. Oh wait, we didn't mention this. I'm just gonna say it really quick. These little things, these little squiggly lines, those are waterfalls. Three waterfalls that shoot out of the things that you jump off of into the pool. Yes. So basically Yay, three waterfalls into the pool. This is going to be like a little pergola. You can have some chairs under. We're going to have some swings here on the end. Really pretty. And then behind it, we're going to put a bunch of trees. So it kind of builds the privacy yes. for our backyard to just keep it kind of private. It There's also so serves as a second possible location for a swimming pool cinema, you guys. We want to do outdoor dive-in movies. So either we could do a screen that drops down from here or our other thought is dropping one down from the yeah. deck and then you can watch movies from inside the pool. So either way, you've got an option. Right here, you could just sit in the hot tub and, and watch a movie. Watch I mean, dudes, come on. Okay, so now let's just show them. What is this circle thing? Oh, that's a great one, yeah. So this is actually going to be a fire pit. We're gonna have a little Whoa. stone built-in bench here. That's gonna be really pretty. And it's big. He said he likes to make them big so you can do big oversized chairs really separated. Yeah, so there's a lot of space. So it's gonna be a pretty thing. good size. All these little circles are trees, kind of giving us some privacy, but back here, you oh, guys. Basketball court. Basketball court, sports court up here. Maybe pickleball, because so dad and I are gonna get older. <laughs> I gotta tell you something about the sports court really quick, because he blew our minds with this option. It is a full court basketball court this way, and we're also going to put a basketball I hoop right there. I was like, Three basketball hoops no on the sport court. Way. This way, you can get a full three-point line, a nice like spot to practice your shots, yeah. three-pointers. Oh, yeah. And then if your buddies wanna go full court, you can start going end-to-end yeah. -end like that. Here's shit from Hazy. Oh, Hazel! 
Oh. And then this will be some nice grassy area. That's a running route, Scrooby Doo. Yes, yep. running routes, throwing football. Hazy just running and playing, catching butterflies. Scrubby. Cartwheels, back handsprings, back flips. Yes. That's where that goes down. Air track. So and awesome. one more thing that I wanted to tell you guys about that he threw in here. Guess what that is right there on that corner? What? That's the giant boulder with Bingham no family way. etched into it. Yes. Yeah. That's it's Bingham family so home. Sick. Huge boulder from inside the earth of our lot, you guys. It's gonna be amazing. We're so excited. He built it around us. He started off with a wish list you can see down here of all the things that we would want to have, and he literally incorporated absolutely every yeah. single thing, and then so much more. Oh, yeah. so much more. We have just gone over some of our favorite pieces and elements of this backyard. So many more details, other layers. We did talk to the kids about how there is some grading that's gonna take place. So that can be like cement steps, but we're trying to mostly use the boulders that already existed they in our lot. Out so many from our foundation where our house was built upon. We got real cheesy. I was like, I would like to as much as possible use, use the, boulders. the boulders from the earth where we dug our dream home. Yes. I, I just love that. I love keeping it all there. Very cool, but it's also a twofer. It saves us money. It saves yeah. money. But speaking of money, so I was just explaining this to the kids. So this is the design. This is this the plan. Is the wish list, this is the wish it. list. This is aiming for the sun, moon, and stars. We're gonna take this off, finalize it. it. Takes a few weeks to put together a final plan, and then they start getting the bids. And if it comes back outside of budget, wildly outside of budget, we gotta start trimming some stuff off of it. So that yeah. does not mean this is going to be our backyard. Just wanna make sure everybody's clear on that. But if it comes back in budget, boom, we start moving on it. We start executing, start building. If it comes back a little bit over, we decide if we wanna do that or not, and we can start taking little things out if we have to. But this is like the pool, right? This is the whole kitten caboodle. Did you say taking out the pool? <laughs> no, the pool is protected at all costs. Yes. But anyway. Hopefully you're loving this backyard idea oh, yeah. as much as we do. These yeah, kids are loving it. it. I loved your reactions at the different like ledges and jumping off, slide, the fun hot tub transition. Yeah. And I think one of the things that I love the most, we were just saying this off camera, is that this feels like a home that has been built and a yard that has been built based on our own personal traveling experiences. The yeah. kids are calling out things from every different trip we went on. Oh, that reminds me of the slide at this resort. That reminds me of this thing at that house. And so this is gonna be a collection sure. of some of our favorite travels, our favorite adventures. Pretty awesome, it's very meaningful, very near and dear to us. It's been built with love. Now we'll just see if we actually get to do all this. Yeah. This is my neighborhood. <laughs> this is my neighborhood. Yeah, boy. We have decided to come up and take a tour of the house. These kids have not seen their bedrooms yet. Mom and I came. We realized there's just so much done. The kids actually have rooms. We need they to need include to see it. everybody. So uh -huh. we brought them up here. We're gonna do a full walking tour of the upstairs that is now fully framed out. We've even got most of the roof on there, guys. Coming along. It's guys, coming along. The so porch quickly. is all done. Well, that's right. So the porch. Excited. All the ceilings above mine and mom's room. With it being nearly complete, we wanted to show the kids their rooms. Uh -huh. Take a tour of the upstairs. Where's my room? And <laughs> can you see my? Show Mona the special guest bedroom. <laughs> there it is. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's my bathroom. We actually all were just using that bathroom. Mona Joe's been wanting to see the updated tour of the upstairs. I can't wait to see it. We also have some other special guests who have not seen the house. They haven't been here since this was dirt. So this is going to be all brand new groundbreaking for them. We've got Jen and Shell in the house. We want to see where we're going to be living when it's done. <laughs> and partying and Every many a barbecue, night. I believe. Yes. We're going to build a little separate quarters for you guys out by the pool. Yes, perfect, we're going to be hanging perfect. for the as most part. Possible. That's yeah. the most fun place. My bed is a lawn. Chair. Plenty of sun hammock. out there. Hammock for Daniel. Let's go in. We're gonna show Mana the upstairs. The kids have not seen the rooms yet. We're gonna show them that. Then we're gonna give Dan and Shell the full tour. We just can't get enough of them, guys. We were just in Hawaii like two days ago together. Now we're here together. Just love these guys. We just love you. <laughs> I just came up here to get video of the kids come up and I just had this moment right now, literally just had it right now, Christmas morning, lining up at the top of these stairs. Here's the problem though, you guys can see down into here. You'll be able wow. to see everything itself. But yes. think of Christmas morning, coming down these stairs, that beautiful view. Okay, anyways, wait, slow down guys, you're coming up to see up the upstairs for the first time. Stairs. Okay, yeah. okay, coming on up to see. What? Guys, Holy. here's all the rooms framed out. Look at the loft, this is where it will be a huge This is like a homework right station right here. Frexy, you went straight to your room, wait. Everyone's going so. to the rooms, wait. How do you guys know? How do you guys know exactly where your room is? Right, guys, is this your room, bro? And then this is just a wall.
time to show the kids their rooms Woo! and give you all an upstairs walking tour of the upstairs of this house. Are so you guys ready to go through this room by room? Okay, so let's start. We just came up the stairs. Let me give everyone a scope, a layout of where we're at. So here is the great room down here. You come up the stairs. That is gonna be a little railing right there. And this is gonna be mom. Walk us through There's what we're gonna see first. This is gonna be like a desk here. So this is where the kids can do some homework. We like really having that open craft. air desk seating where the computer's out on the open. All those little yeah. safe parenting hacks they teach you. Trying to implement those by putting that right here in the open. Yeah. Love it. Great use of that space. Okay. So this is kind of like a teeny mini loft. So right as you come up the stairs, this wall right here is gonna have some family pictures with Guys, some lighting above it. Those stunning family pictures that Michelle has taken at different beaches around the world. Oh, right there. Good. Gonna be amazing. Okay, gorgeous. Top of the stairs. Uh, Love it. Should we go left I say right? we go right. If you like this video right now, I'll go right. So we go to the right immediately at the top of the stairs and what are we going to first, mom? This is Ryler's bedroom. Ryler, my gosh, bro. This, oh my gosh, look at this. I the ceilings this. are so cool it's in so here, nice. dude. Character to it. Angles so here, I love this. It just makes it feel more like homey and roomy. You know? There's just like. It feels like we shoved you in the attic. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it does right now because it's all open, but we've seen these rooms finished when they build them in the trusses and that's what really drew us it, to them. It's cool. There's so much personality. Yeah. It looks so different than just that. like your normal box room. It's very distinct. Little tip, if you're building, it's a cheaper way to add square footage because you're building into the trusses. You're not having to use extra square footage. And have the trusses on top that's like yeah. an empty attic you yeah. don't use. Absolutely. One of our guy's favorite things he's most excited for, he's been talking about it since before we even had house plans, is a bench with a window, bench window. I'm gonna change the lighting here and show everybody what you got looking out this window, bro. Kind of a cloudy day, it's about to rain and snow right now, but he has got a gorgeous lake view. So awesome. That is a view of the lake. The sun sets just over there. You've got crew right there with his bench. Is that a bench where he's at right there? That's his window bench looking right here at Rye guy's window bench. So these dudes can send messages back and forth, taunt each other, talk to each other, sneak out together right here. Perfect yes, place sir. for that. Love it, dude. Rye guy, he was just making this observation. Tell us what you thought you so, saw out your own window. Me of. Maui. This is the main island of Maui. And then out there is Lanai. Over there's Molokini. Molokini. It kind of looks like that. <laughs> I love it. I love that that's what you're seeing. Your room, absolutely amazing. Another big window there. Walk in closet right here. You can do some really cool stuff here with these walls as you walk yeah, into your room. Very, very cool. Coming out of Rye Guy's room, right over here to your left, Mindy. What do we have? This is Miss Hazel's room. So you guys come down this little hallway. Hazel, come show us your room. Come show us, show us, show us. You walk down the hallway. What do we have first right here, Hazy? We have my closet. A closet for Hazel. Okay, I love Love it. Now, Hazel, show us what else we have in this special room of yours. We also have my loft. The play loft. She has a loft in her room. This was kind of just like a bonus space, so it doesn't have super tall ceilings. Her bed will go right here. Her dresser will go right here. Again, gigantic this. window. Yeah, I ordered her the cutest little sofa. Originally, we've talked about this before, but now you can physically see it. This was going to be like a house facade, like the entry to a cottage or something, and then she'd go inside of a little door and it's a playhouse. But I feel like she's just getting right about to the age where that's no longer cute it's and fun for yeah, her. She, like if she was three, up. perfect. But even now into the future, I don't think so. So we're just trying to imagine what to do with this to block out a mess, but also make it a fun play space. I don't know. Now this will hold like Barbie house, her American Girl dolls. All princess those. dresses maybe, I don't know. Yeah, oh, I didn't dresses. even show this. Three fun windows up here. These so Hazel yeah, has a lot these. of fun windows. She has some cool views right here. Leaving Hazel's room down, down this way. way. Come with us. I love being able to see the rooms. Okay, and this is? Hazel's bathroom. Hazel's bathroom is so cool. Yes, yeah, so she has a beautiful vanity <laughs> right here. And then it drops down to a real makeup it's like an vanity. actual makeup counter. You know that hazy girl? You have like a drop down for makeup counter with a little mirror. Fun place to do your makeup. That's gonna be so cool. And then here's a tub and shower and a cabinet to hold linens and things. I love it. Okay, okay moving back this linens, way. Where are we headed? Where are we headed? Should we go? Let's head back out into the main open area on our way to. Let's go to Brexy's room next. Okay, Brexy Doodle's up next. Coming down this way. We'll come back here in a second. Right into Brex. Oh my gosh, Brexton. This is your room, bro. You have never had your own room. You've been sharing <laughs> really, with Kirby Doo. You now have this ginormous window to look out at the backyard. Gorgeous mountain views, bro. This is your room, buddy. Yeah. Are you excited for your own room or are you gonna be a little bit like missing Kirby, do you think? Uh little bit like in the middle. I'm so pumped for you every room and yours is probably I would say like the most. This looks like it has really tall ceilings, really tall yeah. walls to work with. You've got a lot of fun things you can do with so this room. So his room is the most square. I feel like this makes your room seem huge buddy and because you've got the way tall ceilings. Closet. He has his own closet. Brexton has a walk-in closet. Brexy doodle. We were commenting about this before we got here but we moved into the house we're in now when Ragai was seven years old. Yeah. And so he had the room that he's currently in. Walk-in closet all that nice when he was seven. I was like Brexy doodle bro. You never had that. Cruz never had that. Now you you get your own space, own closet, own room. I'm so excited for you, dude. I love it. Oh, your brother's walking down the hall. I can walking see him. Walking down the hall. Okay, should we head down okay. the hall? Let's Crew. go down the hall. Let's go where the 
always just went. Stop right here real quick though. Laundry room. Come on, give it to us, mom. Give it to us, mom. Laundry, Laundry room. room. Giant sliding barn door, right? Yes, okay. barn door right here. Yes. Washer oh, and dryer right here. And then we're just gonna have a ton of cabinetry we're all over here. here. Counters. And then over here are gonna be these really cool pull-out rolling laundry bins. Like that yeah. canvas material. Gather all the laundry, shove it so under there. So cool, so cool. Yeah, this is gonna be so cool. Then this way. Keep coming down this hallway, crew we do. Uh, oh. They made a change on us the other day. They gave us more space in our house. Crew's door was originally right here. We decided to push it back to the main entrance. Didn't lose any room space. That was yeah. just a little narrow yeah. neck into the room. We got a giant awesome closet yeah, out of it. This linen closet Super is gonna be amazing. Cool. Then, Not as amazing as Crew's room. The entrance All to right, Kirby's room. So, Bro, what do we got, dude? This is so cool. I imagine laying in bed. This is where my bed's gonna be. I love the imagination. I imagine here we go. Laying in bed and looking over there and just seeing like everything. All the houses. Oh, and dude, so and just so you know, the sun sets exactly right yeah, there yeah, every night, so dude. Cool. That's and gonna then, be amazing. Also, just looking through here at like the mountain. I just can't wait. Is this the bench window right here yeah. that you can see yeah. out to Rag Eyes room? Okay. I can look at Raga. We're gonna game some nights. Right I love it, dude. I love it. That Fun. is so cool. Hi, Raga. <laughs> I love my room. And dude. you have a walk-in closet as well. Yeah, here's my walk-in closet. Wait, you have a walk-in closet too? Oh my gosh, you know dude. What's funny. I just had this thought. I don't know if we can do it with the framing because these two closets share Put a what secret is yeah. door. A secret door to Brexit's closet. Mindy, you guys may I just bug each other, but that thought. would be the coolest thing ever. A secret little, like almost dude, like a crawling door down there that you could sneak into each other's rooms. I just had that thought. I was like, wait, that's the other closet. I we would need love to text it. Jake. We gotta see cool. if we can do that. Just a funny little buddy door. That would be so cool. And then you guys still kind of share, because could we do? As much as Brexton hasn't had his own room before, you, my stud, have not had your own room for much longer. You guys shared a room, all three of you, in one room in our last house. You've shared with Brexton this house, and now it's time to get your own room. I'm very stoked. What these kids don't know is we have worked with our designer to make each one of their rooms I, so custom, so distinct. They're not gonna find out until we Until they walk until into the house built. and they live in it. That is the first time they will see the things that we've done to and their they're walls. Going to Artwork. Each one of them has a perfectly tailored room to them, and you guys' minds are gonna be blown. We're gonna need Daniel that day to get multiple angles of that walkthrough as you guys see your rooms for the first time. It's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so coming back out. Just one more thing to show you up here, and it is the boys' bathroom. We made this extra cool. It is easily located just out from Riley. Rye guy, because Rye guy, poor Rye guy, he's got a bathroom right there that he could use. We're not gonna let him pee on Hazy's toilet seat, so he's gotta come to this one. No, so this is the boys' bathroom. This whole thing is going to be countertop seeing. It's gonna be beautiful, stained grade wood. That'll be plenty of room for the boys to get ready. Then over here we have two doors. This has toilet and a urinal. urinal. Guys, a urinal. urinal. A urinal. If you have a problem with your kids not lifting the seat at home, get the urinal, get urinal. solves the problem. And then in this room, they have a shower. We decided not to do a tub. These guys don't take baths. I've never taken a bath in my life. So why not just make it a ruby so cool just standing a shower, glass shower? Which will be nice because they'll both have doors so they can have privacy and all three of them can be doing different things at different you times. You could have somebody brushing teeth here, going to the bathroom and showering, but they each have their own room with it separated. Yeah, I think it would be really So I great. think that will be an okay way to get these three dudes sharing one bathroom. Couple other things though. They have finished out awning over the porch out mm -hmm. front. If you call it that, is that yes. the right word? I don't know. It's like a ceiling type thing. All of the framing above our room over on that side, that's all in. You're starting to see the personality shapes of the rooms yeah, they're of the starting house. To put the roof on. They've got most of it done on this side, but they're working on this other end. This is a fully framed upstairs tour. All of this happened while we were in Hawaii, you guys. Yeah. All of this. I love it. We had no I rooms. It was it. just a big open upstairs. They did this all while we were gone. That's but what about the theater? Oh, oh, dude, they actually did more in the theater. Let's go show them that really quick. Yeah. Let's go show them. Okay guys, it's super dark in this room, but the kids are gonna use the flashlights to kind of show what happened. They have framed out the levels to the theater here. So this is the top tier, top level up here. Be a row of chairs this way. You go down a level, you've got the second row of chairs there, and then we'll do like bean bags and stuff in the front with the screen being right there. And they leave this open actually because we have rows of powered recliners. So they run all the electrical underneath here. And once they have it all ready and set to power the That's chairs, and they finish off the levels. But dude, you can really start to see this theater take shape with the different levels. Projector's gonna be up here. I'm so jacked that. about this. You guys. It's gonna be so cool. That concludes our tour today. Oh, 
I of love the framed it. house. We absolutely love it. Now, I did think it would be kind of fun. We had talked about and teased showing you guys the 3D image, the rendering of the finished home. Now, this is not what it's going to necessarily look like. We've gone with some different exterior materials. Yeah. Landscape choices are different than what we have chosen. But because we do the have now the shape and stuff of the house will be the, the same. house pretty much fully framed. We can kind of line it up and match it up. So I said we come out here under the curb. You guys, come with me right here onto the sidewalk. Now, let's take a picture right here showing the house behind us. And then I'm going to slide in. But it could look like when it's done. So cool. How incredible is that? We cannot wait. As we were walking through this, Sean, Dan and Shell, my mom, these guys, their rooms, we just kept saying, I just can't wait till this is our home. It's, it's gonna be sooner fast. than we think. Guys, once this gets framed, the way that the home building process works, framers, when they're here, they're the only ones who can be here. So nothing else can be getting done. But as soon as they're done, you can start bringing in everybody. Bring so in we'll the electrical plumbing, guy, cabinets, HVAC, plumbing. HVAC, electrician. They can all come in on the same day if they want. They yeah. can all work yeah. together and stuff just starts to fly. So we are still looking at a fall move-in date. We are in spring, summer's gonna fly. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Pretty Pretty soon this is going to be home it's you gonna guys. be so cool so excited thanks for hanging out with us on this house tour each level of the house super fun it's just fun to see it all it's come to fun life. to see it come to life and the rooms take shape and mm -hmm. i've loved seeing the kids be able to actually picture when crew was like i'm gonna lay here and i'm gonna look out that way it really starts to come to life i love yeah. it it's gonna be awesome thanks for hanging out with us today and we'll see you guys all tomorrow good night everybody bye we have broke away, came over here to the house. It is a big day going down. You guys know one of our favorite features in this entire home is a huge window in the great room. Massive view out to the back, those oh gorgeous gosh, mountains. So when we did the window layout, we wanted to go as big as physically possible. I said, just go as big as you can. They delivered. They, they definitely delivered. made some pretty <laughs> awesome windows. Originally it was two or three, but they had kind of like thicker columns in the middle. And I'm like, why we walk want, up that view with yeah. anything at all? We wanted to create the illusion that it is literally just one window. So there's a few little dividers. Oh, hi, right guy. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to give it yeah, the you do have idea to have that it is. You have to have support. Something to them. support it. My buddies who actually know about this stuff told me what it's called. But basically, there's three large panels that will line up. And then a row across the top of another oh. three that are kind of smaller. Yeah. So all of that is being put in today. Right, guys, with us, by the way. He really wanted to see this. He hasn't been here since, like, the deck, deck was put up. So he's got a lot to see. Right but anyways, we're told they're doing it right now. So we rushed up here. I just saw them pull the forklift around to the back. So let's head I'm to the back so see what's going on. All right, guys, they're getting set up right behind me here. It's actually pretty amazing to see all of the equipment, people, machinery, everything that goes into setting three windows into place. Like they have got ladders, a bunch of other things that I don't even want to guess at the name of. They're getting everything in place, getting it all set up, and they're going to raise up the main big center window, I think, first, set that in, and then go from there. But every time we look out these windows, every time we take in this view, I'm going to very much appreciate all that went into getting this window set up. So I believe this is how it's gonna go, dude. This is the big center piece right there. So that's the main big window and it will go up and down. And then these two will go as columns on either side of it. And then they stack these three across the top and structurally that's how they can do a window that big. I like it. It's still maximize view and minimize the amount of space in between. I like that. We literally said go as big as you possibly can. <laughs> and the guys who are putting in the windows legit said we've never done a window this big. So Does that we'll make you worries at all? A little bit nervous, but also these guys have been amazing. So I'm yeah, sure they know true. what they're doing. Bright guy has gotten a tour today of a lot of things he hasn't seen and one of the things that he says he loves the most is just the amount of activity going on. It's yeah. so fun. It's been there's like so a flurry of activity much. every time we yeah. come. Thankfully no actual flurries today. But he's just noticing all these things and it's fun to see it through his eyes for the first time because we've come up so much we're kind of used to certain things but he's noticing oh they've got the glass. They're Guys they've got the glass that's about to go down. I might have to take a pause on this. He's noticing like can lights not only above the deck but underneath as well. All the wiring we just saw that they put in like this industrial commercial grade sprinkler system yeah. for the house like it's a fire system if anything happens. Whatever, yeah like yeah. they have in like schools and like Walmart. Yeah. Like just pop down and start shooting water we to put out a fire. Our house to Walmart. Yeah, and this is Walmart. basically Walmart. This is. <laughs> okay, are they doing it now? Go okay, I gotta go upstairs. Oh. Come on, dude, that is so cool. Four dudes with a bunch of like suction cup things on. <laughs>
had to take off before they get the top layer oh, in, but so they did get the entire main section. Then they're going to put like a cap, no cap, on, <laughs> that was my joke. on the center pieces, the little lines between. But I'm very pleased because one of my worries was once they put that in and you've got the little dividers, what if it doesn't feel as big and grand and amazing? It looks uh, better than I could have ever imagined. Uh, May uh, they've also put in windows downstairs, the sliding glass doors, as well as the pool bath, which we didn't even realize is a fogged glass. We're like, what door is this for? Yeah, and that so gonna be pretty. We'll have to come back. I, I, I do want to come back tonight, tonight when it gets all done and they've put the cap on. <laughs> I won't do it again. Anyways, but you guys, while and we see were it all, here, that was though, amazing. Too, we did the electrical walkthrough with basically the company that's going to make our house way smarter than oh, our Oh my than gosh, us, than yes, us? you guys, <laughs> way smarter than us. We're gonna have like Sono sound systems. Did all the wiring for the different TVs, the theater package, things like that. Security, uh, all those kind security of things. Security cameras. It's all gonna be one device. Since we had Riley with us in this meeting, you guys, we ended up having them put two iPads in the walls to control it all. So there will be iPad keypads built into the walls on it's the main expensive. and lower level. It's actually only the add-on cost of an iPad and then everything else is just kind of wired yeah. and framed around yeah, so it's, it's, it's a low so cost awesome. add-on the whole entire home can be controlled by those iPads in the wall so that happened because Rag was here on site I'm so glad You're welcome. Came. we have to take off before they finish that because we've got to get the boys to tumbling yeah they're doing their new tumbling class today this is the first time in the advanced class and they're a little nervous so they've asked me to stay Crisly with nervous. them so I'm gonna go with them hang out with them we'll go watch them send it and we'll probably come back here see how things Full finished off day. for the day good day yeah. I mean, I see you in it, and I'm just like, yep, that's still wide open. <laughs> we came back, and oh my gosh, it, it looks... looks Amazing. Insane, absolutely amazing, mind blowing. So one of the I concerns as windows started to go in is obviously from wide open to having something there, it closes off a little. So as much as we've loved this huge opening, I was like, I know at some point it's not going to be wide open. There's going to be lines in it because there has to be, that's structurally how they put these windows up. So as it went up, I was like, okay, I don't think, nope, that doesn't seem like it's very obstructive. It doesn't seem like it's getting in the way. We just showed up, it's entirely done, top, bottom. Guys, it looks beyond didn't amazing. sacrifice a stitch of view. We get no. the entire thing. This it's is amazing. It's like, I have no words. It's amazing. It's absolutely <laughs> incredible. And every single other window is in in the home. Yeah, so you guys, done. you can actually tell it's a little warmer in here now. There's it's no there's breezes no breeze. flowing through. Yeah. Yep. So it's going to be a little bit warmer. Awesome. And the front door is coming soon. Garage doors are going to be getting in here. A lot of things going down in the next little bit, you guys. We had to come back. We had to finish off by showing you the finished product with the windows in. And I hope you guys are as excited as we are about this. Smash that like button, you guys. It's amazing. Thanks for hanging with us. And we love you. Come back tomorrow. See y'all later. Good night, everybody. Bye. Whoa. Okay, all right. Heck yeah. Not green. Oh, they put the wiring over too. That's where oh, they that do net. Stuff oh, the up. mesh stuff. Yeah. Whoa. The garage. Oh, the front door is out. Does that mean the front door is coming? Oh, wait. Whoa. It's not blocked. First thing you notice, obviously, there's still some green, but this is based on the material that's going to go on in the yes, house, right? We've got the scaffolding start to set up. They're going to be doing all the stone here, but you can tell where they're not doing stone because they haven't put the little chicken wire stuff around. So I was gonna say, we'll get up a little closer. You can see there's actually like, I'm calling it chicken wire. I know it's not, but it goes up to where the stone ends. So like on the columns, the stone only goes partially all the way up. These parts right here, all the way up. And then where it's still got the green exterior, that's gonna be totally different, right? It's going to be stucco and then hardy board. Obviously, whatever's covered and wrapped in black and chicken wire is gonna be stone. That is just the initial impressions as we first come up here. We're all anxious to do hey, those, go inside and see how it looks different on the inside. I can't wait to go see. That's all of the mud that they're going to fill in all the seams. Oh my gosh. What do you think, guys? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it looks like a house. <laughs> I haven't even actually seen it because I'm just trying to look at you guys. Now I'm seeing it for the first time. Guys, look at that. You can see the actual can lights in the ceiling. Holy Dude. cow. Dude. Uh, this is kind of like a house now. It's got actual walls. I can't it up under your top bunk. <laughs> top bunk, Rosie. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the actual fireplace is it. Oh, that's, that's the glass that's stone. Oh, that's inside. I didn't even know we had that cool stone on the inside. And you guys, what's so cool about this, this whole thing is going to be the exterior stone. We're doing it inside on the oh, fireplace. Oh, that's right. And then there's gonna be a really cool piece of like marble or quartz right here. Guys, that will look so, so does the stone go all the way up? All the way up. Guys, that's gonna look so good. So Oh my gosh, the fireplace new. Obviously, all of these walls being drywalled in, and it's literally ceiling, wall, everything. I mean, you guys don't even know how cool it looks behind you now, because that used to be open, Hazy Girl, into your room right there. That was just frames, and we could see in your room. I did not realize that. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. now that's why it kind of like shows you just how yeah. tall that wall my, is when it's closed off. Again. It's basically done, but like there's like a window open in my room. Oh, maybe just to let air out a little bit, you know? Just you know, it was in my loft What's and everything. <laughs> Are you going our room? Kind of want to go. We like yeah. So we'll do our room and then let's go ahead to garage, kitchen, pantry, all that good stuff. Okay. I know where mom's going. I know where mom's going. She doesn't really care about the room. She doesn't care about the fireplace. She doesn't care about the bathroom. Hey, fireplace. She doesn't care about. Oh, that's cool. She wants to know about the closet. And there she is, hanging out. Oh look, they've even started the island. There's the island. <laughs> what are these things? This is all the mud. So kids, what they do is you see this tape right here. They tape all the seams and they mud over it and they sand it. will make it really flat and then they're gonna make these beautiful walls. So guys, what mom didn't tell you. Aside from her closet having an island, a washer and dryer, chandelier, it's also a mudroom. <laughs> thank you, girl. Thank you. Thank you. Closet right here. Yeah, that's my closet. That's the biggest, dopest closet I've ever had in my life. That's true. So I am very thrilled about my little side you closet know what? over there. Don't hate on my closet, okay? I don't. I love it. How many this lights? This closet do you have? has the washer and dryer that will wash your clothes. So uh, you, you know what? I'm gonna start calling this the laundry room. It actually is a good size laundry is, room. Yeah, <laughs> One shower. So this whole thing is the shower. Shower on that side, and then what they call a freestanding tub over here. So it's not like built in. It's kind of sitting. You can get in inside of it. So that is. And then got the sink right here. Two sinks for me and mom. And then bathroom that has the cool automatic like seat warmer and. Our fireplace is in though. Yes, look at this. Mom, did you see our fireplace? Yeah. Oh, well, I've been paying attention. Okay, here we go. This is cool though. A little punch out part of our ceiling that we really I know, I know. like. You can see that now. Pretty cool. Pretty That's cool, right? Conditioning. Oh, wow. There you go. Some ventilation there. <laughs> <laughs> that reminded me of the Halloween costume. So Wait, what the heck is this? I don't think I knew that was a closet. This is just a closet, a random closet. Sorry, over here going into the piano room. Now guys, no, no, no. this was a decision that we made. It's kind of different. These are called pocket doors. And yeah, this is going to be a pocket door. We actually decided to add this later because this is going to be the piano room and we have experienced myself and the kids practicing and it's I was gonna say it was right after the piano recital when mom forgot the number. <laughs> Thought I want to be able to block that sound out. I'm yeah. joking. That's so, not why. We're going to be putting the pocket doors. Doors will slide into the wall. We'll close them, but they're going to be the most beautiful stained grade wood with windows in them. It's so pretty. So pumped for those, and I'm excited to see what the pocket door looks like. Yeah, they have like, they're like a little arched glass inside. Yeah, so but this is just cool, the structure behind it, like yeah, the way yeah. that they yeah. use this. I that really was like the pocket wood. door idea, because there's been several different areas that you can do different doors. You can do barn door, pocket door, or just like a regular door. We are using all of I was them say, I feel like a combination of Yeah, all we're doing a barn door yeah. upstairs, pocket door so, here. So, piano room in here, looking framed, looking fresh, looking fly, kind of like crew, and those shoes. <laughs> What do you mean? My shoes Not are bad, better. Jibbit, boy. I lost my Superman. So. Oh, do you even jib it? Yeah, jib it. Is this the Butler's pantry? Yes, it is. Yeah. That's Rondi's pantry. Rondi! <laughs> 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 this is too fun. Oh. Careful out there, guys. They took the railing down. Very careful out there. They're going out on the deck, which I don't think has any updates. I better go check. I don't know. I don't want to miss anything. Hang on. Come with me. Come with me. Here's a perfect example. You can see chicken wire on the black wrap. The stone is only going to go up to. That's higher than it's going. Mindy, you're very close to the edge. You'd be buckling like a chicken. <laughs> oh, look at that. And then when they're done, they just chuck stuff over the edge. Who knew the big takeaway is that we have chicken wire and we're raising chickens. We have space for a chicken coop out here too. <laughs> this looks so cool though. Now this is black, but well, this will be white stone. House anywhere there's the wire will be stone. Actually, nope, that's not right. This is stucco. This is stucco. Good I think they night, put it Mindy. Both. They put Don't listen both. to me. Just come back when the house is done, guys. You Thanks for stopping by. I think this is Brandon's first time at our house because he has no. Well, like, guys, look. Did you know that they have a closet and a fireplace? Look, yes. there's a fireplace. Yeah, that was delivered months. Guys, when do they do this deck? This is awesome. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, let's go. So this is walking through mud room, bathroom. Room. The lockers, yes, okay. drop zones, cool hangouts, and then the garage. Guys, the garage is looking good. Oh, sheesh. Costco door right there. Love it. I call the secret entrance. Ooh. Ah. Drywall. The garage. No railing. They've definitely taken a bunch of the railings down since we were last year. Oh, look, all the outlets for the scooters and stuff over there, guys. Yes. That's kind of cool. One thing that's cool about the garage that we found out. Oh, our stone is here. Squirrel. Wait, where? Whoa. Right there. That's it? That's probably not all of it. Sorry, got sidetracked. One of the coolest parts about our garage is they built into the budget like garage cabinetry, yes. shelving and all that. Yes, and we didn't that. know that. We're like, well, I guess I'll have to get that later, but it's But funny. I did see in the email yesterday, she's still barking like a chicken. They're going to come do the garage floors, I believe next week. Holy cow. And another garage, and then the food storage area room. All that's going down. They're going to do that wow. soon. Wow, wow. So let's go see, since mom just saw it. Should we go check out the stone, and then we'll go. Yeah, but I feel like you're not supposed to walk underneath the scaffolding. No, that's ladders, you're good. Oh. <laughs> come on, do it, do it. Do it. Do it. You can go out and around this way. Oh wait, the whole thing's covered. Nah, There's never mind. No other way. 
You're stuck. Okay, well, we'll see ya. Maybe if I hold my breath. Yeah, if you hold your breath, I think it doesn't count. Holy cow, I didn't even see it. It was hidden by the porta potty. Our stone, our exterior stone is here. Dude, yeah. basically all they do is muddy that stuff up and slap this on. Like, it is go time, you guys. It is so yeah. Look at that. Great. I love it. I love it. It is real stone. They have one that's like a prefabricated. Looks very prefabricated. So, so this is. If it had looked close, I'd be like, yeah, I do that one. But you could definitely tell one was, you know, fake stone and one was real stone. I and this is the real deal. This love is the good stuff. This. Love I love it. it. We had the dream house in mind and we're looking at different options. It was like, we knew exactly colors, textures, everything we wanted. Wanted. And to see it here now on our property about to go up. That's pretty it's incredible. It's gonna be so awesome. Yeah, there's certain things that I just had a vision for and just knew that I wanted. But it was also that it's kind so of thing, sad. like, I don't know, I'm having a little cheesy moment where like we saw it and it was one of those like, yeah, someday, wouldn't that be cool? And it's like that day is happening. Like this is can't believe it. I just cannot believe really that here we are standing either. by this, the home, it's gonna go up on there, and all of those things that have been like dreams in our head for someday if a day is now. It's incredible. It's, it's incredible. We and we're so thankful to each of you guys for being a part of that, for being the biggest part of we're that, so for joining us. In the journey, joining us for the process, watching it all unfold. Ran into somebody when we were getting ice cream. They'd been watching for seven or eight years. The person that they were with had just started watching like a couple years ago. I'm However long you. you've been here, we're grateful for you guys. We hope you feel a part of this. That's why we love sharing our excitement with you guys because I believe when we meet you guys out in the wild, you guys feel that excitement. You feel part of it as well. Hopefully, you're loving this and getting just as excited as we are. It is really fun we're to see this come to life. Excited. <laughs> as excited as a chicken? <laughs> That is the main level as far as what's been transformed and updated. Tons. We still have upstairs and downstairs to go. So where do we want to go next? Upstairs or downstairs? downstairs. Bedrooms upstairs. upstairs. Finish with basement. More than the theater? Yeah. I like finishing with the basement though, because the basement yeah. I know is completely I done. Well, not done, but the drywall's completely done. Completely cool. Upstairs we're not entirely sure about. So let's go check out bedrooms and we'll do basement after that. Yeah. We can just walk through the opening. So they were confused. Okay, yeah, I know. So I think, Brex, you go left, and then, oh, straight through there, my guy. The view of the pool. Which, by the way, they've done all the permitting, engineering, and I think they're gonna start digging that pool in like a week. So, right there, bro, that's gonna be your spectacular view. Is it going much? Of the TIHWB Aqua Park. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now hold on. I'm a little confused. Getting oriented here. So we have bathrooms. Coming this way. Hazy girl, where's your room? Have we seen your room yet? Okay, wait. Oh, see, I started going that way. That's not it. That's how you go down. Okay, what's this one? Uh, oh, Hazel's bathroom. Got it. Guys, it's all drywall. Oh, <gasps> Hazel. Bingham, look at your room. Oh my goodness. It's a room fit for a princess. And then on stage, dance performance, go. What's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, 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 hey. I love that that's like the law. Like we're not even in your actual room. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Out of Hazy's room. I love all your windows, Hazy. I love them, love, love them. Marching, marching on to. And then straight ahead is your bathroom, right? And then to the right is Rag Guy's room. Let's go see Rag Guy's room. Oh, Rag Guy. Moana. What do you think, dude, for real? Uh, this is just a closet right here. Whatever we want. They kind of added it after. Then the laundry room's in there. Kind of dark, but... And is there like a barn door? And I think this is. Mom, barn door on the laundry room. Yep, it says See? barn right there. Another... Well, that's where the chickens go, but... Mom, you look like you're about to fall off the edge. Just making sure the kids don't go Thank you. There. Smart. You'll be the railing at all times. But that's how I get but to I my top But I do love box. this. Straight down off there. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna love this. Main level, check. Exterior, pretty much check. Garages, check. Deck outside, check. Checkity, check, check. Uh, upstairs, bedrooms, check. Check, check. All we got left Thanks. is everything, baby. Let's go check out the basement. The fireplace is skinnier than I thought. Wait, is the linear fireplace in? Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to see that so bad. Is it pretty linear? Do huh? <laughs> <laughs> you care if you don't fall off the edges? Do you want to do a jump? You can. <laughs> 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 Ooh, is it behind it? I feel like it's, yeah. it's actually there. Look at how tall these ceilings are for a basement, you guys. Like this is not a basement vibe at all. All the natural light coming in, huge tall ceilings. Theater, I got. I see your face, theater. Oh my gosh, are we going straight there? I feel like we need some buildup. All right, we're going straight there. All right, we're going. Might need some lighting in here. <laughs> how did it get so much bigger as they put walls in? I don't even know how that's possible. Now you can actually walk on it. Be careful though, okay? Don't fall in. This is going to be rows and rows of recliners to invite your friends over for a little luxury recliner action at the TIHWB Cinema. First movie we're watching, so Maverick. Oh, yeah. I agree. Well, 100%. Will it be out? It should be by then, yeah. It should be okay. Then I just realized I'm... that excludes you guys, maybe we won't. Sorry. <laughs> so we'll watch Frozen instead. It's fine. Oh, wow. oh yeah. yeah. Let it go. <laughs> 
This theater is insane. Theater, next level insane, you guys. It's gonna be dark. It's a theater. But check this out. This is the iPad on the wall, courtesy of Rye Guy. Welcome. He was here when we did the walkthrough. He's like, have you ever seen iPads on the wall that control everything? They're like, yeah, we can do that. We're like, oh, you can? We learned not to bring Ryler to house appointments. It's not that expensive. It's just the cost of the iPad in the wall. Yeah. I don't think it added any real No, and they we, the reason we initially didn't really want to do the iPad in the wall is because, you know, Apple products are continually oh, it'll be old changing. so fast, yeah. They make it with like a generic thing that can be switched out to accommodate all so of So when you sizes. get like, you know, you wait a few years until it's been a few generations, then throw in a new iPad. It's still looks like it's brand new. I love it. I think it's gonna be cool. And we have that here and on the main level, right? Yeah. And then this is just like a bunch this of cables, right? Room. Hey, no, room. this is my room. Oh, it's Harry Potter's room. Did you guys yeah, just say that? Yeah, I love That's very funny, very funny. I love it. Oh, actually, just like right under the stairs. Where to next? Gaming room, looks amazing. Tall ceilings, gorgeous drywall. Kitchen right in there, you can actually start to see it. Merch room is gonna be, you can have walls. Why is it weak? Pool bath, how's that looking? You guys haven't seen the pool bath door yet. Pool bath door's pretty cool, it's like all fog. Mechanical room coming together nicely with some walls and wires, that's for sure. Holy cow. Then you come down here, this is the outside garage. And guys, whoa, this is just a door. It's a creepy in there. <laughs> kind of nice. I didn't realize it'd be like a nice finish on this. Outside garage, stuff all still looks the same. And this is the merch room. This is the merch room, but you guys kind of big. <laughs> yeah, so. I feel like we should have done that side a little bit bigger. I do think we could have pushed this wall back, but. Definitely have a lot of space in here for merch. I just don't think you can go wrong having a great giant room like this, because this is going to be fully finished. Like air conditioned, which you can see, I think that's. Yeah, these are built in heaters and fans. LVP nice down here. Floor, yeah. So we'll have the feeling of a finished room, and it has access right into the garage. I think you can go wrong doing that. Maybe we only need like half of it for merch, the other half is something else. Because there are no windows, we have added a so ton of lighting up here. So many lights. It's gonna be great, we have multiple computers, desks, and shelving that we'll have to And all the, yep, we got all the plugs back there. Computers to print out shipping labels, so the merch guys going down, this is the future home. TIHWB swag shop, the merch store, merch market if you will. Okay, anyways, let's go see the rest merch of the <laughs> My office. I kind of think it's funny that we felt like we stuck me in a storage I closet. My closet. I was being so selfless by giving up my office for the piano room, and I ended up getting a way cooler office. They're going to be a thin LED light. That would be dope. It's like if you could color change them. TV right there. You know what these are? Individual lights to highlight the play buttons, YouTube play buttons. So this will be like, they're called the award wall. I was like, well, it's nice. So 10,000, 1 million, and then 10 million, right? Yep, the 10,000 right there. I love Try that. Try to do the joke of the 10 million. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Ragai loves this. All these outlets down there for powering all of our camera gear, laptops, everything we need. Tons of lights in here. Everything hanging is light. We don't have the cans in here, I don't think, because mom said it's gonna be a thinner LED light, which is kind of cool. Outlets on the walls over there. Pretty rad office. That's gonna be a pretty cool show all of the awards. This is the cold storage, just right off of the office here. It's gonna be too dark to show anything. We always like to dare anyone to go down there, because it goes, it goes a long ways down there. And there's a little hook off to the right. We always like to just pretend somebody's living down there. <laughs> behind the wall, and then we make people think that it wraps all People think that it like goes, like, they're like, wait, how far down does that go? And then you're around the corner, we're just standing right there. Like, it's, right here. it's about one body's thickness. And then right here, they're going to actually have to put a door to block off all of this stuff. This stuff, yep. The flooring's gonna be done in here, shelving yeah. built in, Flooring's it's all really Flooring's gonna be done really down cool. here, they're going to be doing custom shelving however we want it. Yeah, awesome. Who's that little guy? It's a lever, some kind. Pull it, just kidding, don't. I know, Minnie, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Stairs is one of my favorite looking rooms. This is going to be the gym right here. It looks more wide open now that we'll exercise. Okay. okay yeah, here we go. So Get it. Get it. Here Where's the glass? Like, show me where it goes from where to where. Glass goes from here to there. Okay, I could honestly, with the framing done, I can't see where the room ends and begins, but the glass is from here, floor to ceiling. Holy epic. That is going to be all glass. Here's my worry though. We had a home gym in our house in Florida. How many times did we use it? <laughs> Zero. Yeah. And it had a great view. They too. didn't have a treadmill. I think if it had a treadmill, it I wasn't used our it more. stuff. I, I will be honest. Okay. I'm worried about home gyms. My guy did actually hit the elliptical a couple of times. That was kind of cool to see him in there working out. The idea of a home gym is great because it's at home, it's convenient. Convenient, but I do think when you have to like go somewhere to work out, you're there, you're, you're dedicated like to working out. Membership. But if I'm in there and something fun happens out here, or the kids are like, hey, come to the pool, I'm like, oh, I gotta change that thing on the video. So many distractions right in this area. But I think it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> we can get the whole family into working out. I'll have our exact stuff that we want. Oh wow, we got hair squats. Hey, go. <laughs> 
sides. <laughs> I will be honest. Cow. I've never done a squat like this. <laughs> well, you're doing them wrong then, because look at Brexton's glutes. <laughs> that guy knows how to squat. <laughs> Brexton's okay. got the glutes. Coming down to the bottom of the stairs, first thing you see, all glass. That is so much bigger than I realized, guys. Walking into the exercise room, and I think we're gonna do treadmill. I found the perfect weight thing over here, but we've got to measure. I keep saying that, but I gotta measure. I don't know what cause it's for. Towels or something. Yeah, no, we'll just put towels in there, like the yoga mats, all those kinds of things. Kumbaya mats. Cool, fun, like gym flooring, I think we're doing here. So really treadmill see right here, and then I also wanna do like dumbbell racks. Yep. I probably won't use your big, huge rack and stuff. We've talked okay, about I putting a TV down here, haven't quite decided if- I'm not so sure. I don't, I don't feel like- really watch TV. Plus your treadmill will have a big TV. Okay, and then- uh, oh, this way. So down this little hallway leads to Maddie's bathroom, but before you get there, there is going to be a closet that has washer and dryer. Each level of the house will have a washer and dryer, which is really nice. And everyone has this function, you know, upstairs is all the kids stuff, main level, mine and your stuff. stuff, and, and then, then this is Maddie's, Maddie's but, but also the pool, pool towels. towels. Anything that happens at the pool can just keep the wetness and you know, down here. This house is definitely a house for us in the future. Maddie could eventually come live here, have her husband here, maybe have a kid here. Weird to think about, Mindy. Slow down. Stuff. I know. <laughs> but when we have made plans for this house, we've often brought up grandkids. Thinking in the future, yeah. Nice. I'm like stoked out of my mind for the kids to bring their kids here. All the fun that they'll have. I mean, yeah, this is a future proof house right here. Yes, it is. This is Maddie's little bathroom, full bathtub, toilet, really dark. There will be a vanity, awesome. the sink. It's here. amazing. If only you guys could see it. You have to come back. Yeah, Stay tuned. Have to come back. And then Maddie's room, one of the coolest rooms in my opinion. She has the best windows. Hugest of window all the of the like of the entire house, except for the main level. Just like a perfect design. Like it's just massive, like a square or a rectangle, a little combination of both. Look at how tall these ceilings are for being in a basement. She has a bedroom in a basement, and it looks like this. This is incredible. And it's so clean. Let me tell you, the bedroom set and the stuff we have picked for this bedroom, it is so pretty, I cannot even- It's amazing. She's gonna be so pumped, guys. She comes home to this house. April. When she comes home from serving in the Dominican Republic, she'll be coming home to this as her bedroom. Is it weird that we may have already lived here for six months when that happens? That's very weird. We will have broke that pool in big time. We will have watched multiple movies in that theater. Sorry, Maddie. Can't wait. I would love to wait, but we can't wait. Well, that concludes the updated tour this is of the a big home. From last time. Yeah. All of this happened while we were on the cruise and in Florida. So that was like what ten-ish days we were gone. The house has completely transformed. There is so much more to come so quickly because we have garage doors coming, front door coming. We've got stone going on the outside. We've got garage floors, cold storage floors. Those are going to be getting put in. What else yes, is coming uh, up? they're of course going to start taping and mudding. Start making some real walls. They'll bring in cabinetry. I was going to say I think we have cabinetry stuff. on the calendar. Honestly, you guys, it's crazy. This it's much funny. happened while we were out of town for a week. A Imagine what's coming over the next months in summer as they really knock out the rest of this house. This is incredible. This is awesome. This is the biggest update we've seen so far, but also we kind of took a break. We were gone for a while, yeah. It's also, I think, the most visually significant because you think framing an entire house, that's a huge deal. It took a while, but it had that same look all the way through. Yeah. Now everything just looks different. It all feels new, bright. It's white. It's wide open. You can see how big the ceilings are, how spaced out the walls are. It's going to be a blast, you guys. I want to know, what is your guys' favorite space in our house? Yes. Because we just asked the kids and their responses were cute. We got some good and ones. And hilarious. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Uh, it's on our Instagram, so you got to go check that out. At This Is How We Bing Them. While you're over there, let us know. What do you guys yeah. think is the coolest part? What are you most excited to see come to life and come together? That's it for this home. Time to go back to our home. And like we've said many well, times, air conditioning. it's great to be home. Phenomenal. There's no place like home. And I thought about this too while we are out vacationing and I was loving the vacation house. I was thinking about how excited I am to have this house be our home base. I just love having home base. I yeah. love- It doesn't really matter where it's at. Wherever we go, we whatever we do, it. no matter how much fun we're having, no matter how great and exotic and wonderful it is, how great the places we're staying, how beautiful the beaches are, it's always nice to come home and just have home. And you can go do those things and come back home. So we're very excited to have this be the new home base. So excited. Let's head back to our current home base, which by the way, we have to get ready to sell eventually. I forgot that's coming too. Did we mention it's birthday season? Oh, buckle up. We're uh, going to the- Hazy's birthday is this week. Followed by Cruz, by Moms, by Rag Eyes. And by then we're back in school and summer's over. Holy cow, we're going to time's birthday. up. Do it. Woo! And when it's Brexit's birthday, we might be moving we in. We might be living here. <laughs> Thank you.
can't really see me, but that's not the point. We're trying to see the backyard here. Not a lot of anything going on there, but there has been some permitting and paperwork done behind the scenes, getting some of the grades laid out, getting ready, I believe, to start digging for the pool very soon. I have a lot more landscaping decisions to be made, but the one thing that we wanted to get started right away is that swimming pool. So that should be coming up very shortly. Fun to watch that progress simultaneous with the progress of the home. Who gets cleaned up to go play in the mud? We do, because we, we are about to go dig the deep end to our swimming pool. But we're also going to fill it with the rain at the same time, because we woke up this morning, it's been like 100 degrees and sunny every single day. This morning it's raining, but guess what? It's beautifully cloud covered nice day. It feels cool amazing too. out feels here. really good. Nothing's gonna stop us from having an amazing time. And I do believe, was just told, they are on site with the excavator, and I may or may not be getting inside of that thing. Now, I don't know, all the other houses in the area, beware, because I might be behind the wheel. I don't think I have a wheel. <laughs> the controls of an excavator. Digging pretty cool if you could do that. the swimming pool today. Whether I can get inside of it or not, whether I can take that first scoop or not, we're still headed up there. We're gonna go witness this moment. This is historic, you guys. We never thought in our lifetime this would be something that we were doing, something that we were a part of. And so to be able to go up there and witness this, to have it be reality, we've said this many times, it feels like we are walking through a dream. It honestly feels surreal. I remember early on in our marriage, we could not even pay for the groceries on our table. Somehow, here we are, we're so grateful we're able to do this. It's gonna be awesome. We're headed up there right now, we're told that they are on site. So we're jumping in the cars, we're gonna drive separate in case mom has to go do something. Yeah. We got some stuff going on this morning, something's going on this afternoon. But this, first thing out of the gates, pretty exciting. You ready for this, bro? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go dig our swimming pool. <laughs> We are here and it is picking up rain. It's raining even more than it was before. But I just said, we're gonna dig the pool and fill it at the same time. So it's perfect, we'll dig it right now, it'll fill up with rain and then we can swim in it later today. But we're gonna get over there right now. I think they're actually waiting on us. And they're ready to dig the swimming pool. It is raining, but that's okay. We brought GoPros, we got the whole bit. We're ready to go oh, in yeah. there. I'm gonna go ask him if he's gonna let me take the first scoop. Did you, that'd be pretty sick. That'd I be wonder, so cool. They say if it rains on your wedding day, it's good luck. Mom just told me that. So if it rains on the day you dig your pool, does that mean you're gonna have some of the best, most epic swimming in the history of backyard swimming? Probably. <laughs> Just got the okay, got the go ahead. I'm about to go get in the track hoe. I'm going to get the first scoop of dirt out of our swimming pool. Now you can probably hear it is pouring rain out here right now. <laughs> perfect so day. It is the perfect day to dig in the swimming pool, so let's get it. Right now he's showing Brandon how to use it. Oh my gosh, I'm just like worried. He's putting it in Brandon's hands. Here it goes. You ready for this? Are you ready for this? I want it to be as simple as possible. I don't want to wreck our pool. I don't think you can. Just there dirt. You actually more to did go. too, so now you just have a double too. scoop of ice cream. Second one's a pretty big one. Can I have a second donut? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I am giddy out of my mind about this. Walking out here, seeing the two of you standing on the deck, watching the pool be dug right now. I don't even know how to put it into words. I am literally like giddy, it silly, kind of laughing. It's more amazing than I could have ever imagined. Just feeling all the feels after. Obviously, the first scoop was kind of fun. That's more cool. ceremonial than anything. Job. Pretty interesting how he just operates that, like an extension of his own yeah. brain, mind, body. Very, very good with that. He's great. I was messing with it, and I was like, wait, what's up, what's down? And to dump it, you go to the side. As soon as I did that, dropped the dirt. Like I said, ceremonial. Didn't really do much work there. Turned it over to the professionals. Now I came up and like the work begins. I'm just like beside myself it's with excitement, so you guys. I can't believe this is actually happening right now, today, just off the back of our deck, and we are here to witness it. And dude, this is the beginning. I saw mom kind of explaining. So here's gonna be like the shallow end down here. That's where we're gonna put THWB. It's down here to the deep end. You're gonna be jumping off of that, standing your back foot. And I was like, dude, we're gonna look back at this footage. You standing here with mom on, on the deck. Foot. And we're gonna be looking out on our backyard at the swimming pool. You're gonna be jumping off of it. And we're gonna be doing, I can't believe we were there when that happened. It's 
I think what they're doing right now is just doing some of the grading around the outside. I think he was actually, sorry about that noise. You thought fingernails on a chalkboard was bad. I think that he actually waited for us to get here to even begin because he wanted to make sure we took that actual first scrape of dirt. Okay, because we are pretty fascinated with this whole process, maybe some of you like to know how it works. This guy's standing down there with like a, some kind of a level with a little laser thing that's underneath that makes a level with the house. He's got a grading leveling system inside of his track hoe. They're just trying to make sure it's completely flat coming straight out of the house. So if there's ever a question, this guy will walk up there with the measuring, leveling, grading stick and it'll beep and he'll go, okay, you need to come down a little here, up a little there. He types it into a system in there. That's how they get that perfectly flat surface inside of a track hoe. I mean, the technology in those things, even though they look like big, rugged, dirty pieces of construction equipment is actually pretty next level town. It took me a minute to figure out what they're doing. Brandon might have already explained this, but they are grading. So they're making everything flat. Our lot, we didn't realize, we knew it was on a little bit of a slant, but we didn't realize how much of a slant it is until you measure. There's actually a four foot difference from the left side of our lot to the right side of our lot. They just have to make sure it's all flat before they start digging. That is quite the job. We have gone through and planned the landscaping. They really have to account for those four feet from one side of the lot to the other. It's something we didn't really realize. Here's something that's really cool that I was just explaining to the crew. He's digging up some rocks, pretty like decently sized rocks, but they've got to go like 10 feet deep or more because the deep end's 10 feet, After so maybe like 11 graded. feet. Those giant boulders sitting in our backyard that we use to build up the water slide and some of our retaining walls, those came from within the foundation of our home. So as he's digging, he might pull up some more gigantic boulders. It takes a little longer to dig here because you're in the mountains. So it would normally take like a day, it takes a couple days because you got to dig and redig sure and get those boulders, get those rocks out. But he's picking up some good ones right now. They're pretty small in comparison, but who knows, he may run into a massive boulder at some point that could be used to build I up the know. water slide. So how cool he's that be He's from inside the huge. pool to get another boulder to help build the water slide going into the pool. I just love reusing that stuff, reusing the well, earth that the home is built it's on. It's also much cheaper for us to build retaining walls with our own rocks rather than yeah, bringing we in. own them. We already bought the land. Yeah. <laughs> also going on today, we have more people showing up. They are going to be putting the sealant on the top of the garage floor. The, this is the last part, right? Like yes. the, the coatings of the garage, mechanical room, and cold storage. This is the last piece. Yeah, guys. and then they'll done, let it done. dry over the weekend, and then we can probably walk on it on Monday. It is coming along, and they look so they're good. They're so right behind Crew's head. They're there right now. Working. Yeah. There he is. Okay, there he is. On Let's take a little peek so I can show you guys this part. Oh, <laughs> look how pretty. It, it looks, looks so, so good. good. It is such an active scene here. We've got track hoe digging up a swimming pool behind me. I've got a drone doing a time lapse. I've got a GoPro doing time lapse. While I'm walking around vlogging, you come in here, you've got the giant, beautiful, great room being mudded, taped off, finishing off the walls here. Just outside there, you've got the rad coating people here doing the coating on the garage floor. Just outside in the garage, they're actually putting on the final step, the sealant going on there. So everywhere you walk, and it is early, guys. It is early in the morning, and they are active here. So many things going on in so many different places. Everybody working on getting this house put together and done. It is pretty rad. Vibe. Everywhere you go, something is being done on the home right now. <laughs> What he is doing is grading the entire surface, then they will repaint, restake, and then begin to dig the pool. So we're gonna take off. About as much fun as we can handle for this morning, guys. My energy is through the roof. Adrenaline is at an all-time high. Cannot believe we are digging the backyard pool right now, today. Can't believe I got to take that first scoop of dirt. I can't believe we might fill it with the rain. Thankfully, the rain has let up, and it's supposed to clear up later today. So I wanna come back later today, check out the ceiling on the garage floor coatings, as well as the progress on this swimming pool. I think we've told you all the specs on it, but they've gotta go down to a 10 feet deep, deep end. It's gonna be a pretty deep hole on the deep end side progressively moves its way up across 20 feet of swimming pool into the more shallow end and they'll have the shamu deck as we're calling it where I'll be laying out where the whales hang at this far end put the THWB across that fun to see what that looks like in dirt form then it is 50 feet long you guys that is a long swimming pool that they're digging for here so a lot of dirt is gonna be coming up out of the earth moved up to the side used in other areas used to build up the water slide on that end over there all kinds of things fun thing to be a part of thank you guys so much for this moment for making it possible for being part of it for hanging out with us through the whole process for loving and getting as excited about 
campus as we do. The full family affair here, you guys. The full, this is how we bring them family. This is our pool, our water park. It's going down today. Summer fun 2023 starts with this. Might be 2022 because we might heat the pool for the week between Christmas and New Year's. That'd be weird, but that'd be cool. Hit the like if you'd like to see that. Okay guys, we just got here to the house. Mindy's down there. I think I'm gonna go join her. They've got about half of it done. The deep end is done. I wanna go get in that deep end right now. Please. Mindy, you're doing your best and that's enough. <laughs> you know what, my best is enough. What if I see like something crawly? Like a shark? You are going to the deep end. Mindy, look at you. You are walking to the deep end of the pool right now. This is so sick. Wow, that's deep and you are very far away and I'm only like at the I'm just past the halfway point of the pool pool goes back to there I think I'm standing on the shallow deck Mindy that is so cool and now that the kids have learned how to dive I'm glad that we went extra deep right there. I don't know how to dive. Well, you're gonna have to learn This is where you guys recall clear back when they dug the foundation and put in the footings They had the pool guys come out Mindy and I were just like whoa the pool guys are already out I don't even know what kind of pool we're doing They were setting up in advance for the pumps that are needed for the pool If we wanted to do like a slide hot tub water features anything like that trying to do that in advance They've got all that stuff in there. But I guess they had to re uncover it so I don't really see where they're accessing it But this is also new here just dug out completely to get back into those pumps whatever's in there <laughs> oh my gosh, Mindy. I am in the backyard swimming pool, descending into the deep end right now. Mindy, what are you doing down here? Just swimming? Just hanging out. This is so cool. Let's see how long I can hold my breath. We are in the deep end of the pool, guys. The water slide will come right off of that edge right there. You will yeah, launch will. into the swimming pool. This is going to be one of the diving, call them diving platforms, platforms. but it's not a platform. It's just like an edge of a pool that's elevated, yeah. but a little waterfall coming out. Do we decide to do the waterfalls or not? I can't remember. I can't remember. I think there's going to be a waterfall coming out of it so the kids can jump off that kept back. One of the waterfalls, but got rid of the fire lanterns or something. I don't know. I don't know. No. All I know is that we are standing inside of our backyard swimming pool right now, guys. See. This is incredible. So this is, as you can see, a pretty steep incline as they go up to the shallow area. And after that, there's the Shamu deck that's going to be 18 inches deep it's water. Hanging out. They will have chairs in there to lay out. They'll have umbrellas built in. Yeah. They'll say THWB across that deck. And that'll be a really cool finish to the pool. So it'll be so I think awesome. we've said this earlier today. It's 50 feet long. So it's pretty dang long. 20 feet across, centered on the deck, which is awesome. Now that I'm standing in it, it looks awesome. Looking up at the house, it's pretty incredible. This is where they're at today. And so are they coming back? Traco's still here, but so tomorrow's Saturday. They said that they might come Monday. And then they were like, I don't no, we might be back tomorrow. Take your time. We're not about to swim in or anything like that, no. but it is very fun to see this progress and see this come along. And so. we just are still pinching ourselves, you guys. We are right now standing I know. in the deep end. I think this is really backyard happening. Pool. If not, this is a really big hole. <laughs> we so have I dug can't. ourselves a pretty big hole here, and I don't know how we're going to get out of it. Come back, see not only how the pool unfolds, but how the house comes together. Tomorrow we are celebrating Miss Hazel's guys, birthday it's with Hazy's all of her birthday. friends. Guys, birthday. I know it's going to be such a fun weekend celebrating her. She is turning the big seven. This is a next level party. Mom has taken it to a mythical, magical, it's mystical really level. Cute. It's going to be adorable. I love planning parties. We love you guys. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs>ended up taking the better part of the day. These meetings were much bigger and oh, longer than we thought. They were long. I don't think I realized how much we were taking care of today. Four major things have happened at the house today that we want to give you guys a full update on. We actually, actually brought the kids. This is probably the biggest progress we have seen. I would say this is the most to ever have happen in one day. So we have a lot to catch you up on. We were gone for quite a bit of those meetings, much longer than we anticipated being gone yes. for. And so we brought the kids back up here with us because we wanted to show them everything that's happened. So they're exploring, of a day. looking around, seeing all the new things. While they're doing that, we're going to bring up to speed. The first thing you can see is 
is right behind us here, you guys. The white stone, this gorgeous stone now, is being laid right now. We are so excited. And you guys probably remember we had like the biggest decision to make with the stone. It all involved the corners. We did not use the corner pieces. We decided to do white grout. We'll almost match the stone exactly. It'll be so pretty. Watching them today, as they have to figure out if it's a square or a rectangle, all the different pieces, whatever has to go next, they have to brush off each individual one, and then they make up a mud, throw it on back, put it on, and they like look at it. And then they level it. Then they nudge it this way, and then they nudge it that way. I was shocked how much effort it takes for one piece. Honestly, for each individual piece, there's not like, I mean, there's a system, I suppose, but it's not like a pattern that they just lay out and go, okay, this is a long one, this is a short one. They literally hold it up there, measure it, look at it, and I watched him go like this, like a piece of a puzzle. You set it up like that, and he goes, no, not that one. Then they would take a piece, and if it wasn't quite right, they would saw it, they cut it, and they go back, put it up there again, find the exact fit that they want, and then like Mindy said, set it on there, level it, mud it, and that is for a single square or rectangle, and they're doing that for the entire house, and so far today, it was just two dudes doing that and they were busting it. This is how much they got done today. They have another set of guys coming to help out in the coming days. But guys, the white stone, the exterior stone getting place. That is the huge update number one. Mindy, where do you want to go for number two? Ooh. Just over here? Usually to the bathroom, but we're going to show you. <laughs> there? Okay. okay, here we go. <laughs> as we were here today, not just progress on our home going on, but just a flurry, as I say, of activity going on in the neighborhood. We have homes that are being framed that have been sitting as foundations. We have foundations being poured nearby. We have roofs being put on. We have so many things, new foundations being dug. A lot of activity in the neighborhoods. It is the time to get things going, get things getting worked on. So it's fun to see all of that when we come up here. It's always fun when we show up to the house and there's just a string of like 10 cars all here oh, working on the it house. Was, what do the kids say? Bonkers. Bussin'. Bussin'. Bussin, bussin. Yeah. Guys, okay, speaking of bussin', now one of them's up. I wanted to show you the one that's up. The other no, one's down. I don't know if we could put it down. Probably not going to touch it. Update Are number you guys two. Ready for this? This is a big one, guys. This, this is a very is big so one. so big. We have garage doors. Mindy, look at that garage door. This is your dream garage door. This was your this specific is custom really garage door. What I wanted. I wanted this certain design. We matched this stain with the front door stain, so it'll all match. It's even going to match the interior floors. Oh it my gosh! Sad. It's got this pattern in it. It's got the glass across the top. So pretty. It's going to let. So much light in and this one you drive up this is what you see this one first. gorgeous obviously it's the same thing as this but this was down today it hadn't even installed this when we left so this is all brand new and then another third garage on the back side they'll be doing tomorrow yeah, so you guys garage still. doors in they're stunning garage doors openers everything's in there's just no power but he did say we can't open and close them manually if we need to they're all wood so that might be tough they said they're pretty heavy but also they do want to keep them protected because while they're doing guys it's still an active construction site as you can see scaffolding stone ladders tile mud hats. All these different things. We want to keep these gorgeous doors protected. So they're going to either have them up or they're going to panel off. Just put some wood panels out in front yeah. to protect them while they continue with the construction here on the home. Massive update. We pulled up today. In fact, I think mom said this earlier in the vlog. Our project manager texted us and said, hey, some really big, exciting stuff going on at the house today. You're going to want to come check it out. And I just knew it was the garage And she doors. said, I think it's going to be the garage doors. I was like, no way. We pulled up, rounded the corner. This one was down. Sure enough, garage doors in. It was like gorgeous, and stunning, in incredible. That is update number two. I think we move on. Number three is the one I'm most excited about. We'll finish number four because it's kind of the biggest, longest one. It was the biggest chunk of our day today. So let's go number three, head to the backyard. So what originally brought us out to the home today is that we had a meeting with the pool guys. Turns out the issue with the pumps and the piping coming out of the garage, they kind of saw before we ever showed up, but they wanted to confirm the number of waterfalls that we want on the side deck and the yeah. height of the different platforms and levels. And I've been wanting to confirm that because I've been saying six feet, four feet, two feet, set it in the plans, but I wasn't totally sure. I make sure we were all on the same page. I was getting very excited about the six foot jumping diving platform over here. And I was like, well, what if it's not? What if it's like four and I'm wrong? Well, confirmed today, new six, four, and two. And just to give you a little bit of a layout here, a little lay of the land, it will be two feet feet all along this entire edge until what they call the break. So basically when it breaks down and starts going into the deep end down here, that will raise up to a four foot platform. Four foot. And then it will raise about halfway through here to a six foot platform. Holy epic. Which is epic. taller than me <laughs> so at this point. As tall as me. Where you'll but be able to jump and dive into the deep end here. Because we have so much elevation change from one side of our lot to the other, it actually works in our favor because you're basically working your way up to the water slide, which will be even higher. So that was the big thing is we have to make sure we have enough pumps and pipes coming out of that garage before they bury it all 
up and seal it off to send water to everything. And so they needed to confirm, are we doing three waterfalls or five? Because there is the possibility, see if I can find the image of it. We would have a waterfall coming out of each jumping ledge. The so the six, the six foot would have a waterfall, four, and then three across the two foot. After talking about it a little bit with them, it might be really, really loud to have five waterfalls that. going. I never thought, he's like, you won't be talking around the pool because you will have so much running, gushing water. And the real reason you're doing the waterfalls is it's a fantastic look, that sheer or sheen, whatever they call it, just that like arc of it's water. It's just so pretty. Beautiful. It doesn't have very far to fall, so it will still be pretty. It stays together. It stays in one sheet. Whereas by the time you get up to six feet, it's going to taper into a V and then break off at the bottom. Not quite as pretty, just kind of loud as it hits. Plus you've got water coming off the water slide. He said it's just going to get really loud with that yeah. much flowing water. So we decided to go with the three across the two foot deck, kind of the hangout area. I think that's going to look gorgeous. And then we decided to forego the two other waterfalls on the yeah. jumping ledges, which I think is actually probably going to be better because it's more fun to just jump off and I'm sure the kids will swim back up to the edge while somebody yeah, jumps over their it. head. I think they're going to be perfect like that. I already have the pipes and pumps for the slide that was taken care of. So you can see a lot of work done. Look yes. at all this stuff. Look at all I these know. pipes that they've done. And today we actually got to see them. It's really fun. To and watch. it's pretty cool guys. I mean, it's kind of fun when you can see it exposed like this. They explained everything. I've already forgotten how it all works. It's getting all set. Now here's the big announcement though with the swimming pool. The big announcement, this blew my mind you guys, that they are going to be filling this with gunite is what it's called. The gunite cement, whatever it is. Yes. Next week. Wait, they are? Yeah. Did you know? Maybe you got that announcement live right now. I did now. not know that. Yeah. So I was like, so when is that going to be done? Like September? He's like, no, they're planning on doing it next week. I was like, what? Because I asked him when I could take a dip in it. Yeah. So <laughs> they're I going to be stuck around for the answer. filling it with that cement gunite next week. And then once that's done, we can really start working on the rest of the landscape yes, and the so sport that court. will sit for a minute and they'll work on the grading throughout the yard. And then we'll get started on the sports court. That has to be done a couple weeks in August because it has to sit for 30 full days before they can start painting yep. it. It's really like a specific timeline to get these things done and in sports order. Court. Pool, sports court, got to get done first. And then we'll start working on some of the other things that go around it. Let's go in and show them what we spent the majority of our day doing. But before we do that, let's go check in on the kids' rooms. Now they have some decisions to make about what they want to do in their benches. Oh, it. look at you. Handy Manny. Handy Manny. Handy Mindy. Handy Mindy. This you can see rebar ready to lay out. This is how they form the pool. They actually make the shape of the pool and then they spray it. I don't even know what gunite is except that it's cement. I've just heard the word gunite and I think it sounds super cool. But basically they're just gonna like put on these proton packs like Ghostbusters and just shoot gunite all over the place in there. And I cannot wait for that day. I think it'd be fun to set up a time lapse up here on the deck and watch it go from dirt to fully filled. Fully filled, is that a thing? With cement. So the other thing that we are checking out here at the house today is the bench situation in the kids' rooms. As you guys know, we've talked about it before. One of the things Riley was the most hype about is putting a bench in this window so you can chill, hang, play switch, whatever it is. Well, we thought small bench originally. We found out might be able to go as big as twin size mattress. Our minds were blown. Twin size mattress? You gotta be kidding me. Now, we're looking at the potential of a full-size mattress. Yes, we've measured it out and it will fit a full-size mattress. We are wanting to just show the kids, put it down on the ground, let them see exactly where that would go to, what kind of size they want. So we're measuring right now. Rag, I just measured. What are your thoughts, bro? Honestly, so, what are you thinking? Literally, it will be four inches from right here. In, right? Like it doesn't stick out past yeah. it, does it? Okay. Yeah. Honestly, I was gonna say, could I make it so that it goes to here? Yeah. So it's already that. So I Dude, that is a ginormous bench. But I do think from the beginning, you were always asking how big can it be? Like, yeah. can it, how deep can it be? Want it as big as possible. So yours feels more open. It's not as long. Cruise is longer. He wants the twin size. He doesn't want he to go that deep. He wants to go smaller. I think it would be cool for them to have that because if they wanted to sleep over with each other, they could. Then they have like an actual bed to sleep on. I mean, they would have the twin Either bed way with still. The twin. Like an extra full yeah. bed in your room is sick. Well, so how far does this go out? We have. So it goes to here. So that would be. Oh, I say do that, bro, because it's almost yeah. made. It's almost like this area yeah. is made to just chill on. Yeah. There's no sense in going shorter for you because there's not much you would do with this. We're talking today about possibly having the finished carpenter put something underneath so it could be usable yes, space Yes, usable under there, space. Have drawers that pull out. Yes, that's what you were saying, bro. That's what you want to do, yeah. I think for you, oh, I don't want to sway you at all, but I think you oh, go full fair, size. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. you do for sure.
This is probably what took the most time today is going through every single bathroom. I guess everywhere where there's tile, any place that there's tile, showers, baths, that includes mudroom, pool bath, and of course our bath, which we had to go through, and I don't remember most of this stuff. We went through every single tile selection, floor, wall, counters, backsplashes, and we ceilings. had to confirm ceilings. We're doing tile on the ceiling. And we, not <laughs> we had to confirm our selections, what goes where, because they just had all of these, and they're like, hey, is this for this bathroom? Does this go upstairs? Does this go in Hazy's yeah, bathroom? Yeah, you guys, we have the coolest tile picked out, and they went through and drew on every single wall. Yeah, you can actually what see it's gonna look like. the direction that the design will face, where you want to put the lines in it. This is going in our niche, which is going to be in the wall that holds like the shampoo and conditioner. So this is beautiful. I think this is also the floor in and our this shower. This is the actual floor of the shower. So yes. that was the thing. He's trying to remember what went where. So this one, for example, is Hazy's, right? This isn't yes. even ours. This looks kind of like flowers. And, and this. This is the boys, which actually matches this tile. Just so cut what into are the little small pieces. ones? This is the shower floor, if I'm correct. And then this is the bathroom floor. And this is part of the bathroom wall. And this is our favorite tile of them all. It's like the this white. This is our favorite. It looks like marbly. It's so cool. So hack. We found a porcelain tile that looks like marble because it's shiny, but it's not the price of marble. Yeah, when you see so, this in the shower, you'll be like, oh, marble showers. Wow, but it's not. It's so we tile. have this throughout, and we have it in Hazel's bathroom. We didn't want her to like slip and fall or anything, so we did the matte version. So it's not slippery. It's shiny in ours because it's like a really cool, almost like a spa. So we have all the different tiles laid out near every single room. First, before they lay out the tile, we went through and discussed all the different patterns. Piso means floor. I learned that today. Oh. They know what to do on the floor, and then they have to lay down this first. So they do like a coating of like this mud stuff. They put this on, they do another coating, and then they're ready for tile. They already started today. They're getting ready to go, and I think tomorrow they're gonna start laying tile. But I have to tell you guys, we were talking about the tile in the mud room, and they're like, and then we're gonna do this in the pantry. I thought it was gonna be wood all along. They said with that Costco door sliding food in, it's gonna scratch the floor. So I don't know if I missed that part. I was wasn't prepared for it, so I was like, hold on, I don't know that I'm ready to have tile in the pantry. I didn't think about it. Sometimes things take a minute for me to like think about and get on board with. We Apparently talked about tile's it. Apparently tile's a thing, but we just had never pictured that. I just that. hadn't like gone through that mentally, so it took me a minute to come around. We're going to do the most beautiful gray tile in there. We're getting started tomorrow. Here's what's crazy, you guys. We were here doing this planning meeting, and it was kind of like the first time we've met with them on site. All the tile's been delivered. We're going through measuring off stuff, and we're like, okay, cool. So you guys got it like, you know, sometime this week, and he's like, oh no, we're gonna stay here today and get going. So these things they lay down first and they kind of like put like a coating on top of that. I can show you the difference. It looks like this kind of looks like floppy sticks up in the air and then I'll show you one that's been coated. It's an actual hard floor. They attach the tile to that already since we left our meeting today. They have laid out so many more things and he's saying and they were kind of joking but like the tile they think will lay in probably like a week or 10 days. Like it just happens very quickly and we're talking like super awesome tile jobs you guys. So they're gonna make quick work of that. Not only is the tile being done in the next like week or so. Pools being cemented in the next week or so. Garage doors are in. The stone going up so quickly. I just feel like this is probably the busiest week with the most updates, the most things changed ever that we've had in the process of business. There was 15 cars here today. It, it was, was really fun. loaded with people. Everyone working, cranking. A lot to do on the outside. I see the scaffolding everywhere. I'm like, man, they've got a lot of stone to go. <laughs> they're laying each piece individually, sizing it up, but they're doing phenomenal work. It looks gorgeous. Really awesome. Every time we see them, we just thank them so much for making it so beautiful because it awesome. they really are doing some incredible work. They're doing it in a 100 degree hot sun. Just hats off and props to them for the hard work they're putting in to make this beautiful home, to make our dream home. Some of the things that we were doing today, making decisions on, obviously picked out the tile or the floor, what's gonna go on the wall, but then we're gonna be putting like accent strips of a different type of tile. And so I was like counting up how high do you want that? And then what do you want on the ceiling? And then I can't remember what it's called. I mean, it's called them the niche. But basically the place where you would put like all of your shampoo, conditioner, soaps, razors, things like that, where you want that to be cut out. How wide do you want it? How far across do you want it? Do you want it to go linear? Do you want it to go up and down? Putting a bench in the corner, all kinds of things going down today. Like we've said, most of the decisions have been made in advance. This is just just that confirmation. Hey, before I start laying tile, is this the tile? Is this the place? Is this the height? Is this the direction of the pattern that you want? This is those meetings that we had. I have to look up when. It feels like it was eternity ago. If you guys recall when we laid out all of our decisions on tables in a library, like locked off an entire floor of a library for us, laid everything out to walk us through the home room by room. Well, we're referring to those pictures today because those tiles that we chose clear back then are the ones that we're laying now. So because we put so much work on the front end in and making the selections, choosing which color combinations and styles and patterns we want to put together, 
together. This today is really just a reconfirmation of that, just going back through, making sure that everyone's on the same page before we start to go, but we don't have to come in, look at it and go, okay, hmm, what should we put here? Because that would really slow the process down. And the reason we're able to move forward so quickly is because we've been working with our designer, Nicole, who keeps us way ahead. I mean like months and months ahead of Nicole everything. Is the greatest. That was like maybe the sneakiest sneak up ever. You actually scared me. I was actually me. in the frame a long time ago. You just didn't see me. Wow, that's when you started talking. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she yeah. is the greatest because she did things like that. And I remember at the time we were both going, this feels very early. We're picking out furniture and colors for stuff. Like, I don't even know what Seems the rooms so are gonna look like. Now as we get to this phase, and things just run like clockwork. They run well, so also, smoothly. Kind of like surprise! That I chose that. Well, once they put these tiles out, we were like, I don't remember these, but, but quickly I took reminded. pictures of every single room, the tile, the hardware, the countertop, and everything. So I was like, this goes here, which they all knew. And now it's here, and it's just matched up, and it's being brought to life, and it's happening so quickly. Guys, we're so excited. This is an example of what it looks like after. So that green thing that I just showed you in our bathroom that just looks flimsy and kind of rolled up. Once they fill it with whatever this is, I'm calling it plaster, I don't know what it is, just some kind of a coating. It's now like a hard floor. This is what you attach the tile to. So you can kind of see right there, that's that green thing. Kind of wild, they've done it for, this is gonna be the mud room going into the bathroom here. We went through every single place where there's tile, guys. I mean, everywhere. Like there's a drinking fountain right here. We had to talk about the tile that goes behind that. We went into every single bathroom, Hazy's bathroom, the boys' bathroom, went downstairs to the swim bath, Maddie's bath, for shower in those places, there's different floor combinations. Then this is the thing that mom was talking about in the pantry, never pictured tile. It's always been wood in our mind or at least somehow brown, light colored. I don't know, for whatever reason, we never considered it being tile. And today they're Not like, okay. Like that. I never considered it being dark tile. Today they go, all right, so we're set to go with this tile in here and Mindy and I both looked at each other like, what? No. So we are going to leave the tile in this area, this size. Full size guys, that's because a big Because it's less grout lines where crumbs will get into. This same tile is going over here. Here, but it's gonna be done differently. It's gonna be cut five and a quarter inches. And we're going to do a really beautiful herringbone. Herringbone, and so they put it right there. They show which way the pattern, the direction it should go. I think it's gonna be incredible. We can't wait to show you guys the progress on that. But it's gonna be so all of that happened today, you guys. We came up here thinking we were gonna be coming up for like a 30 minute meeting, make a decision on the pool, and say hi to the tile guy. Ended up being probably four or five hours we were up here going yes. through all of that. have given you all the updates. It's all the major things. I was like, in my mind, I was like, there's so many I'm gonna things. forget, but it was the four big things. The exterior stone, the pool updates with the waterfalls. In fact, it's gonna be cemented in a week. All of the tile stuff and then the garage doors. Those are the big ones. So many big things. So many other things going on here. Those like, are the big major ones. There's been big things going on. Things that aren't as visual for us to see. Yes. For this one to show up to the house, I'm like, oh my gosh, we have garage doors. Oh my gosh, we have stone. Yeah, I imagine like putting electrical and HVAC through the entire house. That was probably a, big deal. a bigger deal, but it's just so many big visual chunks that are being taken care of. We're exhausted. Been long meetings. We worked up quite the appetite. So I'm we're gonna hungry. go home, get some dinner going, get the kids some dinner. I think they are just been wandering around. They brought a friend up, showing them all the fun stuff that they're excited. Fun to listen to them explain their favorite stuff to their friends, because usually when they come up with us, so we all talk about the same things together, but when they have a friend to hear the things that they think are cool and that they're excited about. Yeah, nobody for, mentioned so. the kitchen and the pantry. I didn't hear one thing about the pantry. I didn't hear one. A lot about the pool, a little about the theater. It's the update from here. Pretty big super, one. super excited about this. So much going on right now. Mom's actually talking to our project manager, getting the update on a few things that are happening so we can walk you through all that's going down. This house is so beautiful and bright. It's washing out the camera. They are putting in the grout in between the stone. As you can see, the entire front of the house, entirely stone. It's got, <laughs> the house is stone, you guys. There is stone on the entire exterior. I'll swing around to the other side. We've got the hardy board up on the outside. Now it's currently tan. That will be painted white. Everything's gonna be very nice, bright white. There's a white grout going in between the stone lines right now. And then they're putting on what's called the soffit fascia. I don't really know the exact word, but it's basically the roof line. Or we're having a bit of a hang up right now because we thought it was going to be white. We've always addressed it as white. We always talk about how it's gonna be like this big, thick, white, soft fascia. It's black. And so there's been some kind of a miscommunication somewhere. Clear back in January, where we may or may not have approved black as the color, but it makes the roof a little bit chunkier, a little bit thicker, a little bit more standout. In fact, here's a good example. This house just up the street has got black soft and fascia. So basically it's just an extension of the roof, but it really makes it kind of heavy on top. I personally like that look. It's a little more, I don't know, edgier, moderner. I don't know. Whereas with the white, it 
it really like lightens and softens up the home a little bit. Maybe a little more mindy, if you know what I mean. A little softer, a little brighter, a little airier. So we are currently figuring out what happened there, which color it's actually supposed to be. Stand by for an update on that because we're gonna be ripping all of this down and starting from scratch on that. A lot of other things going on, tile going on right now. We're working on the pool in the backyard. We're doing the stone, doing different exterior textures all around the home. So we're gonna walk through, give you the full update. Once we lock down, what's going on with that right there. Okay, you guys, so we've got a couple of conversations going on over here. Mindy's on the phone with our designer right now, and then our project manager, Jake, over there is on the phone with the people who do the soft fit and fascia. I think we found out what happened. There was a text back in January where Mindy did approve the black color, thinking that we were talking about the roof. Just a little misunderstanding there. So in our minds, it's been white this whole time. We did, in fact, order black. We are to blame 110%. Now we're trying to decide. Where's my sweatshirt that says my brain has too many tabs open? <laughs> that would be so perfect right now. Except that it's so hot, sweatshirt would be terrible. So what we're trying to decide is, is do we live with the mistake, or do we go through the expense of changing it to the lighter color that we want. Make that decision probably right now because they're currently putting Nicole's up. Nicole's gonna bring us a sample and we'll see it on the house today. Oh, today. Okay, that's the latest and greatest. Came down here where it's a little bit quieter to give you a full update on everything going on because there is so much. Cooler, yes. It's a lot cooler down here. People working on the hardy, soft fit and fascia. So we did stone. resolve. I think the last thing we said, you guys are aware that we have our designer coming with a sample piece of what the lighter version would look like. Mom's yeah. gonna stick around and check that out. I don't know how we're gonna do that with one car. I have to get the boys to tumbling. Lucky for you, I called in a lifeline. Stephanie's on her way here. Stephanie's on her way. So there you go. Saving once stay again. Home. She'll come pick me up when I break my leg. Come help Mindy when we got the wrong soft fit on our house. We've also got all of like, I don't even know you call it because it is just a finishing car. It's just like the baseboards. The baseboards. The frames around like the windows and the Looks doors. So, so many good. things are going in. They've got one of the benches started in my guy's room. Bench looks so cool. And then we just- A couple of drawers, about, right? Yeah, like we're a, gonna do like a 30 inch drawer. It's gonna be so crazy. It's like heavy duty gliders. That way if they put like big heavy stuff in there, can handle it. I was like, Rye guy loves collecting stuff. I don't know what he's gonna put in this thing. So better make it heavy duty. Both crew and Rye are gonna get that treatment. Like I said, all of the windows and doors upstairs have got framing on the Looks outside, which is amazing. So, so much tile has gone in. Entire mudroom is tiled with the herringbone. We got tile oh going gosh. in in the pantry. I'm like obsessed with the mudroom. Guys, and we just learned that they're going to be doing the LVP, which is mostly the entire basement. Most of the flooring. This weekend. On Saturday. And then, then hardwood on Sunday. So yeah. they're going to be working through the weekend getting all of the flooring done. So guys, there's so, so much. I'm so glad we came today because I'm not going to see it again until probably Sunday. So I cannot wait to see the progress on that. I mean, it's going to be it's a complete good. transformation. And the tile looks amazing, but you have to keep in mind also it's covered in like dust and dirt right now. So when they wipe that herringbone clean, oh my gosh, it's going to look it's amazing. So Here is the herringbone in the entryway, the mud room as you walk into the garage. Garage, gorgeous gray, full size tiles in the pantry. Again, it's very dirty. Once that's cleaned off, it's gonna be stunning. Hazy's bathroom floor, I think, is entirely tiled. It's just covered up right now. This is the matte version of what will be in mine and Mindy's bathroom as well. The bench going in for Rye Guy. This is going to be so sick, you guys. This is gonna have a full size bed on top, and then they'll have drawers that pull out. Absolutely amazing. Boys' tile looking so good in their bathroom. Goes all the way through, all of the flooring done. They're prepping the showers. I think the laundry room was done first, so that still looks amazing. But a lot of the finishing pieces going in. So trim around the doors. Closet doors going in. You've got the baseboard trim here. And then we decided to do a little garden boxes in our bathroom. Swimming pool coming along. They're tying it off. Got a little bit left until it's fully tied off. And they're going to be shot creating gunite, concreting that next week, which I'm grateful for. I actually asked them if we could do it the next week because of what's coming up this weekend. And I didn't want to miss it. Just did not want to miss it it's for anything because it's process. such a big day. It's such a big deal. I've always wanted to witness that. To have my own pool, that's pretty cool too. Pretty awesome. That's going to be happening early next week. And then they're going to start doing some backfill and building of retaining walls. They're going to start yes. building retaining walls on the different sides so we can lay out the sport court and get that picked out because that's got to go quick. So guys, this is all within the next few days that this is happening. It was a great day to come so up. So much is going on. And I'm on. glad we were and inspired I'm... to come up so that we could get working on the soft issue. Maybe we come up a little sooner. Maybe but if we come just... up, that's why you said we got to come up every day. Been a little bit busy lately. It's all going to be fine. Keep right? telling yourself that. Right? <laughs> I don't know if it helps to see from this angle back here because there's a lot more house, so there's a lot more white. To offset that black soffit fascia piece, we do have extremely thick soffit fascia. I keep saying both words because I don't know which one it is. And so when it was white, it would kind of just like die into the home and disappear a little bit. Our designer's telling us that we probably won't like white because stone isn't truly white, so it's going to be more of a cream color if we really want it to match. Back here, I think the black looks fantastic. A gorgeous contrast just showing where the roof starts back there. The front, shorter sections of home, shorter amounts of white to offset it, shorter amounts of stone, so that big thick black 
black piece really stands out. Mindy says it makes it very top heavy. She thinks it's just very, very heavy on top, very dark, heavy, She's looking for light and airy, kind of the opposite. But I don't know that we know for sure that that's what we want. I think we're gonna have Nicole come and somehow put a piece of it up. But I've gotta take off, get the kids to tumbling. Mindy's gonna stay here. Steph will bring her home. We'll get an update on how that whole thing went down before the end of this vlog. So make sure you stick around, make a decision on that. We have to make a decision today because they're putting up black right now. If we wanna change it, now's the time to rip that down, order the new stuff, get that put up. Quick regroup here. I got the boys off the tumbling. It's gonna be a minute before our designer gets there with the sample piece. So mom came home, trying to get a few things tackled here. We're kind of just discussing what a bummer, what a shame it is. Have we been visiting the house every day? And have we been up there on Monday? I do believe they could have taken the soffit fascia. Is it soffit or fascia? Can we Both. just, oh, so there you go. <laughs> soffit one's the fascia. We could have actually just, I think, exchanged it for the right color because it still would have been new in the packaging. Mm -hmm. But because it is now Thursday. Because they've installed 75% of the house. And it's almost totally done. It has to be ripped down and thrown away. So basically that's like a $10,000 oopsie. Just like a oopsie. <laughs> we messed up pretty big time, but those things happen and we were actually I was telling Mindy She was really upset kind of distraught maybe shed a tear or two And I was like it's okay because this happens in the home building process at some point We haven't had any of these we haven't had any mess ups This one's still it's on us, but like even those we haven't had it's just been I very know. smooth This is part of the building process. Yeah. We've got a story to tell now. It's okay uh, Stephanie actually just told me that when they did her house They actually painted it the wrong color I literally have never heard anyone tell the story of building a home without something like this And I told Mindy I'm actually just relieved that it's our fault because it could get awkward if like somebody ordered the wrong one And then it's like hey man Man. Totally my fault. But it's 100%. We approved that color. We said yes, go for it. Text messages in January, and it's a big fat me. So problem. totally our fault. So now the decision is we want to change that, pay the cost of ripping it down, the labor to rip it down, put it back up, buy the new materials, all those things. That decision yet to be made still within this vlog, so make sure you stick around. But I have got to get prepared, you guys, because I'm actually taking crew, and we are headed down with a 12 year old to Penguin, Utah, right outside of Bryce Canyon. We're going to be doing a little camp out there. Camp out, it's in a cabin. Some of the youth in the neighborhood. We're going to head down there. I do think I'll probably vlog some of it because Bryce Canyon's amazing. It's like historic, like people come from around the world to check it out. So I do think I'll vlog some of that, but there's no Wi-Fi and no cell phone service of any kind in the area where we're going to be. So in anticipation of that, so we didn't skip a beat or miss a vlog for you guys, we went ahead and shot an entire back to school shoe shopping extravaganza. And that is going to air while we are gone. We won't be able to upload anything from there. You'll notice that Rye Guy's in the vlog. He's not home yet. He'll be getting home actually probably when that vlog is airing. And then Izzy also still has her tooth. And you saw that that got ripped out. So just so there's no confusion there when you see that, that was previously recorded in anticipation of us being out of service and out of the ability to upload. We just never want to miss. We want to make sure you guys get that. Plus, that's a great vlog. It's an incredible it's vlog. It's really Kids got some one. amazing shoes, so you don't want to miss it. And then, when we get back, Riley will be back. I'm actually going to miss picking him up because mom's going to go while we're gone. I'll be back together that day, so then that will be the next vlog after that. So, anyways, didn't want to confuse anyone, so I got to get ready, packed up. I'm going to get ready to head back to the house here soon. And then, yes, we're awaiting confirmation that they are on site with the sample pieces, and then we will see if we want to do cream, white, or black. I am back on scene here. Had to pick up the kids from tumbling. <laughs> Mom's just climbing around this thing like it's a jungle gym. The project manager of the home actually climbed up here and showed mom some samples of the white versus the cream. She wants me to get that same look and feel. The only way to do that is to climb up there and traverse across the scaffolding to the front of the house where the stone is to show me the white versus cream. We'll show you guys. Mindy, be safe. Right now it's just a $10,000 oopsie. We don't want to turn it into something more severe. I <laughs> know, no, seriously. <laughs> They're come down. We'll talk about it. <laughs> a little bit cooler out here on the deck. We're just taking in the sights as the pool is, I think, almost entirely rebarred. Yeah, they did shaped. A good job. I don't know what you want to call that. But update on the soffit fascia situation. Yes. What happened? We brought out the sample, stood on the curb, showed us both of them the white and the cream. Climbed all over the house, put them in different locations. The white is just too bright. The cream actually matches the stone really well, blends in perfectly, which is kind of what I was picturing. Black is just so heavy. I feel like if I were to keep the black, anytime you came over to my house, I'd be like, this is our house. Just ignore the black. That's not what I originally wanted, but that's what we ended up you with. You had mentioned that if we had a smaller soffit fascia section wouldn't be nice. you'd maybe just be like you know what go with it it's like a small extension of the roof but it's thick I think that it's going to make a very major color difference it's awesome. gonna change the look and <laughs> feel of my home as I drove around the back on my way out everything looked a bit heavier a bit darker then I drove a few other neighborhoods that are being built right now some other places where our home builders are building other homes and just kind of took in what they have I saw one dark soffit fascia and it's I a very know. beautiful elegant kind it of a little more beautiful. modern home I do love it's it gorgeous. it's just not what I had pictured for our home I understand why you want it lighter because 
because every other house had white or a cream look and it was just very light. It just seemed yeah. very light. And that's kind of what we're going for. So I think in the end, definitely you like the cream out of cream and white and then you like lighter over the darker. So yes. you want to go. Yes. So are we making the change? Are we going to go ahead and put change, in the order? Guys. So tell us the details on that. You so just said. So we've got some on hand. So they're going to make the change. Send us over the invoice because it is a little bit of a price change. You'll be able to change it out super quick. He's like, it's not a big deal. Ball parked at around 10000 So it's about a $10,000 oopsie daisy. Okay. But I think that it's something that's going to be such a substantial no. look to the home. You want to get that exactly as you want it. And lesson learned, a couple of things. One, make sure as we're approving things, we're being very thorough in our reviewing of what's being asked of us. And then two, we used to be really, really good about coming up every single day. Now it's kind of like, oh, well, you know what? It's fun to see progress update from three days when we haven't come up. And had we come up. I said, we really need to be checking with the tile and everything going on right now. We need to be there every single day. And honestly, we've just been busy. Could have caught it, could have prevented it, but it's I okay. Know. You live, you learn. I feel like this week is full of life lessons. We learned the lesson mm. of online safety and security. Now we are learning some lessons. We're just passing on to you guys. You know, if we have to take on the weight of this lesson in life Unless happening. Unless you're hard headed like me and you have to learn it on your own. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Learn from us. I think we've made a great decision. Yeah. Excited to see I'm the really rest excited. of the progress. I said this earlier when we came to the house. Lots going down this weekend. I expect literally floors to be in the next time we come out to the house. Yes. So this is the final result of how it will stand. All that is black there. In fact, they had them stop. You can see there's some that's still not finished. It would have finished today easily. They were like 70, 80% of the way done. Yeah. They said, put a hold on it. So these guys make a decision final. So they stopped, left. Now they're gonna come back, rip all that down. So everything you see that's black, not obviously the roof, but those trim edge lines will be more of a cream color, which is pretty it much the same the as the stone. stone. I think white could be kind of fun. It's distinct, it pops out, but it almost it's looks a little so too weird. Thick. It's just so bright, it's too weird. Going with a cream that kind of like blends in there. That is gonna be going down very quickly. I think Mindy just said this, they've got it on hand. They can get it to us fast. They can get working on getting this down and get the new stuff up. Okay. We just got a text message as we were walking away. We got 10,900, so right around $11,000 mistake. But it's okay because lesson learned, like I said, in the end, I guess I feel better about the fact that it's our fault. Oh, you can only point 100%. the finger right here or there. It's here totally or there. Me. It's totally me. And a little bit you. <laughs> Mostly me. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, do you hear that? It's the sound of silence. <gasps> the sounds of children at school learning. Really sad. I actually cried about it the night before they went back to school, but it's also kind of beautiful. It's kind of calming. It's kind of just like you can- just have a little clarity. And it's nice because as you guys know, we are in the process of trying to sell our home, move into a new home, and so we do have to keep the house clean for any time someone might come over. It's a lot easier when no one's in the house. It's it stays so clean a little easier. bit better, so there's always a little tidy up after the kids take off for school, and then we kind of sit in the silence and the quiet, and then if someone wants to come see the house, they can, which is great. But speaking of the house, we've got a major, major update going on today. Mom's going to take a nap here in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm trying to hold it in. One of the biggest things that's happened in the entire process of building the home, something that Probably I'm the most the excited thing about. That Brandon is most excited. Yeah, I know, I know. It'd be like if you were to be getting your kitchen installed, or what would you be like most excited about in the house? I don't know, because I'm most excited about a lot of things. There's a lot it's of not things. Like one a lot thing. of things. So for me, it would be the swimming pool. Today. More than the theater? I don't know. Okay. Actually, that's kind Just of like. Just throw you around. I mean, because I'm going to have a few things too, because then when they eventually get to the water slide, that'll be a really big oh day. Oh my gosh, but you guys, but, Brandon is most excited for the swimming pool in the backyard. And the swimming pool process, I've seen it on TV, I've seen like the insane pools, I used to watch those shows we all the time, that was so cool. And the part that I thought was so cool is when they've got the whole thing like rebarred out and shaped out, and then they come and they shoot gunite into it, so they concrete the pool, and they call it shot creating the pool. It sounds so masculine. It just sounds so tough and cool. And I was just thinking, <laughs> so not me. I was just thinking, I cannot wait till that happens for us. I can't believe it's happening for us. My mind still hasn't wrapped itself around the fact that we are putting a pool in our backyard. Well, today's the day that they are going to be shot creating or shooting the gunite into our pool. So I want to go start the day up there. Want to go check it out? Yeah. I mean, mom's very excited. She's oh, so excited. Over? She can't even get oxygen. How am I tired? <laughs> oh, it's the second day of school, Mindy. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So we're gonna head up there, check it all out. I'm kind of excited to see the process. So it's supposed to take all day. So I just wanna go see like the beginning part. We'll go check on it later. But I'm gonna set up a time lapse on the deck and see if I can get the entire process, like the whole thing being filled in. Be oh, kind of cool. cool. But yeah, very big day, guys. Cool going into Super the house. Super big day. In fact, I was telling Stephanie about it. She's like, I think we might come by and see it. Oh, that'd be awesome. So. And I do think it <laughs> I'm sure be... we'll be bringing all the people by to see the pool. Yeah. I think it'd be really fun to show the kids after school as well. Kind of weird to say after school. That's just weird. After school. We're back to school, it's guys. Like a beautiful rain too. <laughs> Holy 
how you guys there is so much going on today. So much going on. We have the park down the street, around the corner. So many people here working on the house. Stuff that I didn't even know was happening. So for example, they are putting in the garage door in the back of the it's house. Beautiful. And it matches the garage doors, the main garage doors. Totally gorgeous, amazing. Walked in and the pool bath is completely tiled, including the niche, niche, whatever you call it. That was incredible. We've got hardwood floors on the main level, flooring in the basement. So we got more finished carpentry going on all over the home. And then of course they are filling the pool with concrete right now, you guys. They told us it's going to be eight trucks to fill this pool. Be interesting to see if they can get the entire thing done today. All the while that's going on, We've got stone wrapping around the side of the house and it is now moving to the back stuff. of the house. So much progress, so, so much happening, you guys. So much to bring up speed on. The latest and greatest breaking news though, they have offered me the opportunity, if I would like, to get inside the pool and spray some of that concrete, to shoot some concrete into my own swimming pool. I already took the first scoop of dirt in the excavator. I already dug the first scoop. Whoa, whoa. I watched these guys do it. Keep in mind, number one, they're all pretty buff young dudes. <laughs> number two, they're in way better shape than me and they do this all the time. Number three, I watched the weight of those hoses on their shoulders and then when they like pull the trigger or whatever they do, they start shooting stuff. The noticeable recoil, 2,000 pounds of pressure or something like that, 2,000 PSI they said, come through there to shoot that concrete. Can I it, add in number four? What, that I'm accident prone? That yeah, you're wearing flip flops. Oh, yeah. And they have on concrete boots. Work gear. Real work gear. Stick around. I think they're firing it up for me right now. Find out if it's gonna knock me on my butt. Pretty likely. <laughs> We have run into potential oversight, probably on our part once again. We came here today as they were filling the pool with concrete and we noticed an additional bench, kind of a shallow ledge. It's a place where kids can sit if they get tired. It's an easy way to get out of the pool. There's always going to be one on the side where the slide is because when you go off the slide, that's how you climb out and go back up to the slide. Also in the deep end, it's nice to have a place where the kids, if they get tired from treading water, they've got a quick access to just grab onto and sit and catch their breath. For the first time, I gotta go back and watch footage because I don't know how long it's been there. We noticed another one of those benches on the side where the six foot platform is. So it's the highest jumping point in the pool. I just feel like that is a recipe for potential disaster as people are wrestling up there, pushing each other off, trying tricks and flips. If there is a shallow ledge just below that, could be potentially dangerous. Then I started to think, well, what if I'm gonna miss that? What if that's the only way that they can get out from jumping off of the ledge? What if that's where they go when they get tired of jumping off the ledge? I will wish that I had that. Then we realized as we reviewed the plans, we still have the plans here in the house of what the backyard was supposed to look like. There is no exit right there. That's going to be kind of like a dirt landscaped hill up to the slide won't be a path or an exit. Obviously we could create one there, but with it being a six foot wall followed by like an immediate mountain up to the slide, there's no way to utilize that bench as an exit. So it really just becomes only a liability. It felt terrible doing it, but as they're filling concrete, and I'm grateful we came up here. This is a lesson learned from the last time we did this. We missed when they put up the soffit and fascia because we didn't come up every day. Thankfully we came up today, saw it, caught it, and said, hey, would you mind coming and ripping that out? So the guys are amazing. They're on another job just over the hill, dropped everything they were doing, came over here immediately because we caught it in enough time that they're not going to fill it with cement. We don't have to go in and jackhammer and rip all that stuff out. Oh, Thankfully, they're just not gonna fill it. So they're in there right now, undoing bench that they had made with rebar, which I can only imagine took a lot of time, effort, work, energy. You're bending bar, you're tying yeah. it off with wire. They're going in and undoing all that right now. I do you feel like it was the right call? I feel much better about having that gone. Catch it. Now. now, they're getting that ripped out and the next cement truck is on its way here and then they can just start going hard on it, filling the entire thing. So excited. Shoes. So, straight in the flip flops for some man boots. What does it feel like to wear man boots? I don't know, Mindy. It feels very weird for me. I a lot of man stuff. It's oh, heavy. It's quite a vibe right here. This is my leg day right here, walking around in these things. You've never done that before. What does it feel like?
here. I'm gonna drop this section and then get out of here. I got car pool to go to. Car pool? <laughs> Give me some of that. I'm trying not to. All right, do I do the air thing now? Yeah. Oh. Never felt manlier in my life. Yeah, I think you've earned back your man card. Yeah, so what you see here is what they call concrete. So I've been uh, shooting sure. some pool, shooting some concrete, some pool. That was maybe one of the coolest experiences ever. The power of that literally knocked me back when I started. <laughs> I think it's off my you were dancing. Well, I was dancing, but it was like only air at the beginning. Thank you, bro. That was awesome. Oh, I literally gave the shoes off of his feet. Yeah, I got to wear his boots because I had flip flops. I'm like, I can't get stable on rebar in flip flops. So, anyways, let me borrow some boots. Got in there. I was only shooting air to begin with, and I was like, I mean, it's some good pressure, but it's not that bad. So then I feel this pump as the concrete comes. It just go -go, pulls me back. Guy jumps up, grabs my back, like saves me from shooting concrete all over the sky. Oh my gosh. So then they're like, you know what, maybe stand nearby just in case. And then they let me go for a little bit, try both sides. Hats We're gonna off, be sore tomorrow. There's some serious <laughs> workout, strength, balance, ability to just like lean in and shoot it. And I was on like the easy setting, like the easy nozzle, yeah. easy pressure. They're gonna keep cranking today, as much done as they can. We'll come back and check on it later. Yeah, I've just been out working, although the flip flops don't match the concrete. Brandon gonna... just said, I'm a man. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. Out here building homes, Mindy. Holy cow, Raga has not seen it yet. This the pool crazy. is completely poured. Now, bro, let me show you some of my handiwork, okay? You see this wall over there? Yeah. I went ahead and filled that wall in. I Dang. shot that with some concrete, that's just loaded so myself bad. up. What? Dude, that's the best wall in the pool. And then I did a little bit of that wall over there. This one actually knocked me out of my butt. I almost fell over doing that one. <laughs> I have to show you the video. I haven't shown him the video yet. Yeah. We got a sick time lapse of the whole thing going in. It is fully cemented. Yeah. I believe it's completely done from a cement standpoint. Yeah. Obviously, we've got a meeting to go pick out tile. We want the bottom to look oh, like God. all kinds of stuff. We got some fun ideas for that Shamu shallow deck. I think we already said this, so no spoilers, but we're gonna be putting TIWB across that. There's two holes in it for umbrellas. Yeah. We're gonna put some of those cool loungers in it. Anyways, it's coming together, guys. Yeah. I'm feeling so much better about not having the bench on this other side of the deep end. Yeah. I told Rai Guy that, and I was like, dude, but imagine you guys are up there, like you're rushing and you're pushing they are off, somebody's doing a flip and they don't quite clear it. That'd be a bad thing to have a bench that shallow on the deepest part. Thankfully, they took that out. I think it looks clean, it looks yeah. amazing. Let's do a quick walk around, then we gotta get out of here because we got a soccer game tonight. Show you guys the wall that I did. Show you how good that thing turned out and we'll get out of here. Here is where, I don't know if I can step on it or not, it seems pretty solid. This is where there would have been a shallow bench like that, which the bench is amazing. It's a great place for the kids to be able to hang out when they get tired. You can easily get out of the pool right there. Slide will come just off of this side, so when you get out, go up, repeat. I just felt like right here underneath the waterfall not a good idea I hope I don't grow to regret that because it is a pretty narrow bench you easily clear it obviously but I just thought it eliminated the risk factor you know with some rough housing and stuff but here it is guys I'll stand on this end and show you this the deep end see the incline here a little bit of shallow and then a couple of steps to accompany the shamu deck as we're calling it the shallow sunbathing deck <laughs> And here from the other side, this is going to be that shallow deck. You can see the two holes there for like sun umbrellas. But you do have to have one step to get into it and then another step out of it into the shallow end. It looks beautiful. This is just obviously the roughed in cement, but it is absolutely gorgeous. You can really see the pool take its shape. You can see that drop off into the deep end, start picturing some pool parties out here. So those are actually the lights, by the way. I asked them because I wasn't sure since they're capped off, but those are the fun LED color changing lights all down that side there. Then this wall right here is the one that almost knocked me over. It looks like they smoothed out all of the handiwork that I 
I did. Probably took him an extra 30 minutes to fix my mistake. And I also did some of that wall over there. So, guys, anytime we're out here swimming in the pool, you're just admiring its beauty. Just remember, I poured the cement in this pool. I built this pool with my bare hands. I was going to tell my kids. I walked up the hill to school both ways uphill in the snow. And then I also built our backyard pool with my bare hands. Remember that, kids. Never forget it. Then guys, the entire time today, as they've been working on the pool, of course, other things have been going on in the house. A lot of finished carpentry work done on the inside, but check out the stone going up so on the back good. of the house. These guys are working late today. In fact, the stone guys, the only guys remaining I saw, I think the stucco guys were just taping off to get going tomorrow. Stone has now wrapped its way all the way around the side of the house. They are about one level up in the back. That's gonna be covered in stone before you know it. These yeah. guys are working hard. They're making it look absolutely amazing, picking it out Same. piece by piece. It's literally yeah. like a work of art, watching them hand select each individual piece they think will fit best. They go up, they they try like three or four of them, they go, yep, this is the yeah. one, set it in. I mean, look at you, I don't wanna like be too creepy, but he's just standing there staring at it going like, okay, what's gonna be the next piece that fits? Gets his level out, checks it out, tries it. Nope, that's not the one, it's the next one. They've done that for every single every stone single on this stone. exterior. Very There's impressed, guys. Yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot of work yeah. to make the house look that beautiful and we are so grateful for it. <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. We're so excited that you're here. We have a pretty spectacular day going down. Going to be making some breakfast for the kids here in a little bit. We have something so exciting going down at the house, which we haven't, I think we've shown. Lots has gone on there. We're also going to show you the whole process of the sport court. I've never seen that happen before. I don't know how they do it at all. So excited to see it. So that's going down today. We can't wait to take you guys along with us. Came out to the house today. We got something special going on. We got something big time going on. We owe you guys a little bit of an updated house tour. I got a right guy behind me taking some pictures. We're kind of waiting right now as they are setting up to pour the cement for our basketball court slash pickleball court slash epic trick shot challenge arena slash who knows, maybe some future dances, parties, and a whole vibe and a whole scene here in the THWB backyard. They are getting ready to pour it right now. Just behind me, they have got the pump truck. I don't see the actual cement though. I don't think they've poured anything yet. So I'm gonna go over and show you guys how it's done because it's actually really cool. I've never seen it done this way. We showed you a long time ago these wound up blue cables that were sitting by the garage in the backyard. Mindy's like, oh, do you see they delivered our basketball cables? I'm like, basketball cables? Well, it's a certain way that they do it to keep the cement from cracking. They like pour it, like stretch those super tight and basically it makes it so that when it hardens, when it dries, it won't settle, crack, or move. So that is what's happening today. Pouring the basketball, pickleball, sport court extraordinaire and then also I'll give you an update on the pool. They put the coping around the edge of the pool which is basically the outer edge to really nice Things are moving along swimmingly here, pun intended, in the backyard of today. Very big day. I had to tell you though, as we just arrived here, right guys, yeah. like you better check and see if it flooded because it rained the other day and the way there's that the way. house is set up, there's gonna be, what do you call that? A window well. It's gonna be like a little window well over by the gym right over there, but it's obviously not set up yet. The home's not yeah. ready. We don't have any retaining, nothing. And so when it rained, it all flooded into the gym area and it wasn't even that big of a rain. Well, last night, right guy happened to capture on camera one of the most mm -hmm. insane rainstorms we've ever crazy. experienced in so Utah. Loud. Like that's not a Utah thing. Yeah. This is It's literally 9.30 and I was just sitting up in my room and all of a sudden I just hear rain start absolutely pouring. So I just ran outside, came out here, saw lightning. Then all this rain just dumping everywhere. Another thing of lightning. There's been literally like 10 things of lightning in a couple minutes. So crazy. And when I walked out I also saw hail on the ground. So cool. That's awesome, Mom. Whoa, oh my, I think I just got that. This is so cool. It looks like the rain stopped. Now it's just like lightning from far away. This is so sick. I didn't even know that was going on. I was in the basement. Rag yeah. I ran out there with the camera, got some epic lighting, some epic rain. But our first thought was, oh my gosh, our house is going to be absolutely flooded when we yep. go check it out. I'm almost so worried. Mom was worried. I like almost wanted to come up in the middle of the night, but I'm like, what am I gonna do? I can't yeah. get the water out. It is what it is. Thankfully the house isn't done. So if it's ruined, they can just rip all that out and put it back mm -hmm. in. Anyways, checked on it today. Our project manager for our home came up, checked on it. He said, it must not have rained here. Yeah. There's no water anywhere. Not even no, on the no. property. Totally lucked out. I'm hoping that we can get that kind of in a spot where if it does rain, it's not gonna be filling with water because we're getting things closer and closer to done. In fact, we're gonna go and give you a little walking tour of the house as they pour the cement court today. Rag guy wants to go see his room and some other stuff, but good news, no flood in the gym. That's a win.
So I just got word cement is on the way. The truck should be here any minute to fill this bad boy. This is what I was talking about. I'm gonna have to get some more information so that I'm giving all of the right details. These sections of blue, blue cables across this court, somehow add tension, relieve tension. I don't actually know what they do, but I'm gonna find out so you guys know for real. But it's just a different way of doing the court to make it last a lot longer. I'm excited to see how that process works. So it's all boxed off. Oh, another thing that we've added to the court that I didn't think about needing, but it is something that you're gonna need, especially because none of us are very good at basketball, are these posts are up for a big giant fence. There's gonna be like a standard, like not a chain fence, what would you call that? It's like a standard fence like you'd see like at a tennis court or something like that. So there's 12 foot tall fences around the entire court, then it drops down for an entry right here. And in between in this middle section right there, you can see that's where you would walk in and enter the court. So there's an open entry into it, no gate or anything like that. Cause we want it to be free flowing from the pool to the sport court, into the house. Just want it to have like an open party is happening everywhere all the time kind of a vibe. Really want to use it for a lot of entertaining, posting, doing fun, crazy videos, all that good stuff. That's open here, then fenced all the way around. So if you're shooting hoops, going for some sick trick shots, maybe going for a full quarter, you miss. It's all right, it's not going in the neighbor's yard, just gonna hit the fence, come back in, unless you really miss by 12 feet. That's gonna be good for us. The other decision that we made on the sport court, sorry, I'm giving you a lot of sport court information here, but all this has happened in the last little bit. Also, we're waiting for the truck to get here, so I might as well entertain you. This right here was going to be kind of like a slope. It was gonna slowly, gradually grade down this way into what will be grass over here, but it eats up a lot of this usable yard over here if we do that, so we decided to just make it a ledge. It's gonna have some retaining rocks right here. It's gonna drop straight down, and this can be all flat grass so that we can do things out there, throw the football, have picnic in-ground trampoline is supposed to be somewhere around right here. Crew's first thought was, wait, that's a ledge? That's where I'm gonna be practicing backflips. Already have some pretty fun plans for some things that are gonna be happening in this backyard very soon, you guys. Sooner than we can even wrap our heads around. We are talking weeks, short amount of months, handful of weeks, and we will be in this house. It's pretty crazy. Really quick, the pool also moving along because that needs to be plastered and prepared and completely ready before we move in, before they fence off this yard. It's a lot easier to do these things while it's completely open. As you can see, we have access from anywhere to get back here. You can bring in pump trucks, you can bring in bulldozers, you can bring in excavators, all those different things. Once you lock down the house and you move in, you've got your fence up, it's a lot harder to do that. That's why we're doing a lot of it up front, as much as we can while it's open. They have added the coping, which is just the uh, cement edge, kind of the frame to the whole pool here. But I think coming up pretty soon, they're gonna be doing some plaster, they'll be doing some tile, getting the pool ready to rock. I'm just grateful it's not full of water from that rain last night, because that would mean the house was probably full of water too. <laughs> Mom has joined me here in the home. Hi. And I think it's about time we show you what's been going on, what's been happening here. Like where all my dreams are coming true. <laughs> the other day we came to the house, dropped off the time capsule. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check that out. But as we did so, we kind of alluded to some additional progress that has been made in the home Absolutely. by wandering aimlessly, wetting your palate, tempting your appetite. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let's Basically, just get to the main course already. Got you all sweaty about it. And we are right now standing in the kitchen where the heat is getting turned up to 11. Mom, walk us through what's been done in this beautiful, okay. beautiful kitchen. I like, can't even believe this is getting be our kitchen. Welcome. This is where. Oh my gosh, Mindy. Many this meals is insane. Will be made. Many, many meals, many conversations, many amazing okay, memories so. and moments, opens and closes to vlogs, everything. Okay. This is our beautiful island. I get it. Mindy, it's so big. It's so great. <laughs> this is like the main feature piece, I feel like, on my view, because it's so big and beautiful. Did a custom hood here, and it just looks beautiful. Can't wait to light these cabinets up right here. These so, yeah, you've so got uh, windows at the top, glass, and that'll be lit up. And then this is actually going to be the same material as our countertops, which unfortunately you can't see right now because they've covered them all up to keep. But it's nice so beautiful. Is there even like a safe. sample anywhere? No, there's not. They've got them really covered. They Look really at that. Do. It's like taped down. Yeah. It's then we'll gorgeous. Have a beautiful range right here. And I'm super excited about the water thing, right? Like the jewelry. It's a pot filler. Pot filler, yeah. Pot that's pot awesome. Filler. I'm a pot stirrer. That's a pot filler. I yeah. love it. I like to fill people's cups and you like to stir it all up. Wow. Um, anyway, so here on the other side of the island, going to have oh, yes. a beautiful ice machine here. This is going to be for pebbled ice, you guys. That is for Diet DP only pebbled ice. <laughs> yes. And what's really cool, the front of it will have our cabinet. So it will look it like a cabinet. Yeah. Not an ice machine. Yep, I love it. And then we will have the microwave right here. The drawer kind, right? Did we get that kind of yeah, spilled out? I yeah, that'd be kind of fun. Yeah. And then this is just normal cabinets. And then this little thing is where our trash cans Surprise. are. Surprise. And over here, we have, oh. I just get to stand here, look at the beautiful views, look at the basketball court, the pool, the whole thing, enjoying the entire backyard. Beautiful sink we have here. And then we have two lot of dishwashers. Dirty dishes. A lot of dirty dishes. Two dishwashers. One on each side. And Cole just said, you're really going to want to. You're going to be having people <laughs> over all the time. Just do two of them. Okay, fine. And this back here, oh, this where is where now. Rondi. Oh, this is where Rondi prepares. Rondi. This is the butler's pantry or Rondi pantry. The Rondi pantry. That's 
we should call I, the Randy way, Pantry. I want to find out if you can program like Alexa or your like in-home AI to have a different name besides Alexa so I that we could say, try and figure out to be Randy. Randy, turn on the lights. It would just be really funny. Okay, anyway, so this is really anyway, cool though, back here. There's a separate sink back here and then right here. Apparently I'm really excited about the trash cans. Yeah, you love these trash cans. Oh, oh they might have sealed it off. Nope, there it is. More trash cans right here so you can prep here, use the trash. That then, way it's out of the way, out of sight, tuck it behind this wall so you can entertain, have people over here, leave the mess out so people don't the feel the chaos back of that. There. Yeah. Nicole calls them. This will be beautiful, decorative, and then this is just free counter space that we'll use for prepping and all that kind of stuff. And then over here, you guys, this gigantically huge hole will <laughs> be our refrigerator and our freezer. We're doing big 36 inch fridge and freezers. This is where they're gonna go. They're side by side, then again, it's gonna have the paneling on the front that looks like it's yeah, part so of the it's cabinet. Yeah, like a cabinet. But it'll actually be the refrigerator door, so that's kinda cool. But this one, shh. Wait, is this the secret don't one? Don't tell them. Yes, you won't even know. It's you won't even know. Secret. It's a secret. So this is a secret entry into the pantry. It has a Costco door back there. You can load stuff in from the garage. Even though we'll probably still keep putting it on the island to show you guys, but it's a cool feature. Cool feature. I know. <laughs> Hang on, the cement truck just arrived. We will get back to this. We will resume this tour in a moment. As you can see, these are random in the kitchen. Those shouldn't be there. Those they are actually the, the lockers. I don't think we've even showed them how gorgeous stained gray island we did is do from down there. Different colors from the white and the stained oh, gray. Oh, you guys, so much going on here. But right now, what's going on is they are loading this pump truck with cement to pour that sport board. Let's go check it out. I'm so excited. Okay guys, when I said the cement trucks have arrived, I mean one, two, three of them back there. I don't know how many it's gonna take to fill this thing. I just thought maybe one, but I don't even know how many it was for the pool. What you see here are the posts for the pickleball court. That's actually going to be the net. And they have removable posts that go in there with a cap so that if you wanted to take them out and just play basketball, you don't have holes where the posts go. It will be leveled off and flat. So they're hand filling those around the edges with a shovel while these guys pump out the rest of the court over here. Kind of loud. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but they're making very quick work of this. You guys, they're about a quarter of the way done with the court already over there with one truck. Daisy girl, what do you think of this new basketball court going in? First of all, what are you the most excited to do on that court? What should we do? What would be fun? You can do other stuff besides play basketball and pickleball. You can do anything you want. We could get wheels. Cartwheels, that'd be fun. We could do get like fun scooters and ride them around. We could get yeah. those fun little wiggles where you wiggle your butt and it like drives yeah. around. I wanna do the butt scooters. The butt scooters? Okay. Butt scooters. You go on your butt. The butt scooter court so is going in. With a seat and there's handles, so then you Yes, get to that's exactly what around. I'm talking about. Yes, that'd be super fun. I think that'd be so fun. Yeah. So, there's so many fun things. I was already thinking of some fun challenges we can do, it's just some yeah. fun games. We do could like do the button challenge, all the buttons are on the floor. Yes, we could do Bingham Family Olympics back there, trick yeah. shots. So many fun memories are gonna be made. This backyard yeah. basketball court, we could guys. We do the basketball where you like the first one to spell um, pig gets to pick the next trick, like where you add on tricks. Oh, yes, like horse and pig. Yes, we could yeah. totally do that, Hazy. That would be so fun. Yeah. I can't wait. Okay, should we go back in and show them the rest of the house while they finish this? Yeah! They're nearly done just flattening and smoothing out the entire surface. I learned a lot more about the post tension cables that are inside of the cement. Basically, they'll come back in a week and with a hydraulic press or pull or whatever you want to call it, he compared it to the jaws of life. They will pull those tight. Something to do with PSI. Anyways, basically, it's like four times as strong as just normal hoard cement. That way, it can be flat without any cut lines and it will never ever crack or break, which is awesome. We are about to. They just gave us the option to put our handprints inside of the court. So we thought it'd be kind of fun underneath one of the basketball hoops, underneath one of the standards. We happen to have everybody here today. They wanted to see an update on the house. 
house. They wanted to see the court go in. So we are going to all, as a family, put our handprints in, in the cement inside of the court. And it will live there forever. I told Hazy, you're going to have the smallest hand. And by the time you move out of this house, you're going to look back at that and think, I don't even remember that day. <laughs> but she'll always have the video to be able to come back and watch it. Well, they finished smoothing out that court. We thought we would finish this impromptu house tour here because there's a lot more to show you. So we just showed you the lockers. That's the last thing we showed you. Those so, are gonna go in the mud room. Yes, these lockers go on top of these right here. So they'll be big. And then we also have right here another piece of cabinetry. This is going to be like the drop zone. Not a lot of great lighting, but just in here, you've got like the powder room, like the main bathroom for this area that yeah. people use. I teased this one in the video where we dropped off the time capsule. Look at these incredible shelves, cabinets. Yes. Yesterday, they asked me for the measurements of this. <gasps> I didn't even see that, guys. There's so many things that I'm missing stuff that I don't even notice. The stone from the outside of the house we haven't mentioned is going to fill this up. I don't think I've even shown this yet, you guys. Look at the ceiling. Look at the finish work on the ceiling. Obviously, it's all gonna be painted still. We got a lot more going on, but those are in incredible. Also, check this out. Banisters are starting to go in. So we've actually got the actual banister in. This was kind of a cool vibe. We watched them cut that in half and shove it on there. We have another banister that they put in right here. Wow, I have oh, in... Mindy, I'm not even showing this. Look at all of this finished carpentry work. Look at all that. All the paneling, that's incredible. All of this over here. I think we did show this though. This is inside. Oh, we got a bunch of doors stood in here. Paneling in there, but come check out our bedroom. This is incredible in here. Paneling as you go in here as well. Look at this. This is our bedroom wall. Our bed will go right here in the center of this beautiful piece. Uh, so amazing. Paint right here. Got paint? Oh my gosh, we are on paint. This is Right at paint. So I gotta prime it. Yes. We mostly finished our bathroom. Holy cow. So we have all the cabinets, oh my gosh, the tall center pieces oh, okay. in. They Indeed. put these in today, the frames. The frame. So this will be a giant mirror inside of that frame. Shower looking amazing, but it has for a while. It looks incredible. Love it, love it, love it. Anything going on here, mom? Nothing uh, not really. Paint right. doors. Not a lot of finishing touches in here, but you guys give this video a thumbs up if you know what color the doors are gonna be. Oh, Does I anybody know have that? a feeling we have I don't know, we mentioned it. I'm gonna say if you know what carpet you chose in your closet. Kind of darker up here, but this also has finished paneling work right here. Lights across the top that are gonna be super cool. Family pictures. Family pictures across there. This goes all the way down. It's just so beautiful to see these finishing touches in the house as it comes together. What else do we have done up here? What's okay, new? I feel bad because the boys' cabinetry got put in, but oh. they've covered it for paint. Oh, so that's new. That's the darkest one we have, I think, right? And Maybe this besides is the stain pool bathroom. Grade, so it's a beautiful. Oh, and the showers all closed off. You can't see that. They're mostly painting soon. That's gotta, gotta be get it. ready to paint. All the counters are mostly. This one's not yet. It looks like, but yeah, they're getting ready. Anything else new down here, Mom? Anything um, new down here? So what is new? I can't see it. Not Dang my it. Up, but the laundry room has all the cabinets in, countertops in. Everything is all done. the shelves. Everything. It's got it all. Really I can't see. It. I love it. So, oh, man, there's lots of getting ready to be painted. I did yeah, not realize we were there. Yeah, they've got all the doors set up. The windows are blocked. This is all in. Obviously, we've had those up for a little while. We've had the benches in for a while. We've had the closet stuff up for a while. So all that's not new. And They're painting uh, doors for sure. One thing you guys will notice is we are painting all of this white. So yeah. all of this will be white. It's going to be so pretty. It's going to be amazing. Can't wait. Now let's go to the basement. I think we've hit pretty much everything, but I know in my office there's some new stuff too. Oh yeah. Yeah, before we head downstairs, I just saw this giant opening. What goes in there? This is a hiding spot. Oh, that's oh. the for hide and seek, of yeah. course. Yeah. No, double ovens we're going to be doing. Oh, okay, awesome. So you can cook twice as much. This was the flood we were telling you guys about earlier. Kind of just dripped in here. You can see that'll all be fixed and repaired and replaced, of course. But then when we had that crazy rainstorm, we were terrified that this was going to be a much worse situation. And they oh, said, like no additional water. Sleep. Yeah, so they said there's no additional water. So somehow the rain missed this area, but that's something we gotta get fixed. End up like the Tannerites with our window busting out. So I came in here with the rag guy earlier. I don't know what these are. Is that my desk? So these go on top. So it's gonna be oh, on top. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So then that is the like credenza below or whatever, but there's outlets behind all of that to charge all of the stuff. It's kind of Credenza? I don't know. That's what my dad used to say. Then again, down here, some railings, some posts going in. That's new. I think everything else down here is pretty much as it's been though. This was in here last time. These were in here, but they didn't have the countertops on. They now have the countertops. And then in the theater as well, the concession area now has a countertop. This is the, well, it's so dirty because it is. This is going to be the gorgeous pool bath sink and countertop here. Black, you can't tell because it's got so much dust on it. But it's just this long drop-in sink. I love it. It looks incredible. It's, really it's totally unique just to this, this bath. Probably yeah. the coolest bathroom in the entire it is, house. But it's and cool. It, we have parties. This is going to be the most used one. Yeah. And that's going to be cool because it's got a kind of a party vibe. Yeah. You know? it does. And also, this is our this water. Guy? Unit. Yeah. Thing is, I don't know. It's called water storage, water heater, water something. Water tank. Water tank. Basically, this is where the water comes from. It's constantly circulating. But this is so that we can all have hot showers and have like yeah. emergency preparedness. <laughs> yes, our, it is. 
yeah, you can drink that at any time because it's constantly circulating. And then we talked about everything else going on here in the backyard, the coping, the edge of the pool has been put in, but also some of the finishing touches on the exterior of the house, you'll notice all the scaffolding is down. They are done with the stone. It is 100% in. It has got all of the grout lines filled in. It is ready to rock. And then on top of that, guys, we finally settled on a stucco color that we absolutely beyond love. That one right there is the lightest of all of the samples they gave us that came in really kind of creamy and tan. I just think we want to go lighter. We want to go brighter, lighter, lighter, lighter. They found the lightest one. It doesn't even do it justice in this camera, but it is a bright, bright light color. You've got like a strip of stucco right there. It goes in perfectly with the stone. They're going to take that stucco sample and they're going to create a paint that is very similar for all of the stuff that is hardy board. So anything left here that you can kind of see is like a greenish tan. That's just the natural board color. They're going to paint that to be similar to the rest of the white. So it's going to be really beaming bright white, like Hazy's beautiful smile. We have fallen in love with that stucco color. You can see it up there as well. It's everything that is just above the deck right there. That's all the stucco strip clear out there. Oh, and something else cool is around this garage. On the inside edges of that is that stucco and stone everywhere else. I all of those exteriors coming together. I'm going to show them the garage before we leave because that's where it really shines. So that's where it's going to sit for today. Oh. Smooth, beautiful. Actually, we were told. I think for the next really long time. Yeah, for the rest of forever, <laughs> I guess. We were told we can maybe stand on it like within a day. So we yeah. might have to come back and just party on it, do a little dance off there. There it is, going in right now. They're staying here into the wee hours of the night, just smoothing it out, getting every single edge in line absolutely perfect. And we could not be more happy, more impressed. So excited. Just more thrilled about it. This is something that. Making dreams come true. One thing that I found super interesting, because it is post tension, okay. I don't know if Brandon explained this. A little bit, but I probably did it wrong. In a week, they're going to come and stretch these steel cables that are inside the concrete, pull them to 8,000 PSI. Well, I got to never knew you could do that with concrete. They said the most that concrete can do is 2,000. Like on its own. On yeah, its without own, yeah. this. Yeah. They're going to stretch it and it will just make it so there will be like maybe a hairline crack, maybe. The idea is that it doesn't crack. You don't have to put any lines in it to score it or anything like that. You can just do a flat, beautiful court. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be fun, guys. And as I just sit back here and look, I cannot believe our backyard, you guys. We've got the house there, the pool just behind Mindy's head. And then just over here, you got the sport court going Wake in. Me up when it's open. I mean, this it's is just an absolutely surreal dream come true. In fact, it's a dream that I never even actually had because it would have been too dreamy of a dream just, yeah, I didn't even think to even want to believe in. So it's an incredible moment to be out here today. Thank you guys for hanging out and joining us for this, the updated house tour and all of the above, you guys. Many more house progress updates to come. So stick around, subscribe if you haven't, hit that like button for more house updates. We love you. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. That positive energy that you put out into the universe is working exponentially. Is that how you say it? Exponentially? Exponentially? Yeah. Kids are out of school. Only brought two of them home with me. Right guys going to a friend's house. Hazy went to a friend's house. So I got crew and breakfast with me. Mom is at the new house as we were deciding where to place the water slide. This is critical, you guys. You need to choose not only the height so that as you come off the slide, you kind of make a nice jump, leap into the pool, but also the distance from center. They had it centered up, which obviously looks the cleanest and nicest. Treated it kind of like a diving board that you'd have dead center. Because we have that six foot platform that I think will be used quite a bit for jumping off of. I don't want the slide very close to that. In the original plan, it's always been off center. There's some other things at play here because you have that little bench on the side. We don't want to come off onto that. You've got to find that perfect placement in between center as well as the height. Turns out we need something to do because we have got multiple people coming to check out the house today, multiple times throughout the day. Today is a very big day for selling the home. So fingers crossed that that goes all well. We just need to get out of here. It's been perfectly and spotlessly clean to perfection. We've got everything looking as bright, beamiest, and best. So we're going to get the heck out of Dodge, as they say. And we're you're going to be out of the house most of the afternoon just trying to stay away as people come check out the home. So thank you guys. I do truly believe in that power of the positive energy. I know I've seen and we had comments on yesterday's video. A lot of the comments were related to just putting out that positive energy into the universe. And we're feeling it today, you guys. So thank you. We're going to get out of here. We've got somebody showing up here in about 15 minutes. So I better get out before they get here. Come up here to the house. Mom's been here literally like not all day, but you've been here for a couple hours. Ooh, bring in that dust. Here we go. I've actually been here for... Right in the face. I've been here for like three hours. Three hours. So started off as a closet meeting, turned into a lot more because they got the pool guys on site. And they are really going to town, guys. They're building out retaining walls for the platforms. They're putting in waterfalls and on the can side. I tell you what is so fun about every single team we have here, like the pool guys. We've just been sitting here chatting, had like a 30 minute conversation, just hanging out like we're friends. Every single you guys like, are friends. Team that is here. <laughs> is so awesome. They are, and I they're just it. feeling bad for you because they can't understand or hear a word you're saying. So guys, the voice is gone. Mom, you rest it up. I'll bring everybody up to speed on everything you just told me. You rest that voice. I know. Okay, so guys, check this. 
this out. We have back here a retaining wall being put in at the edge of the support court. That is awesome because this is going to be all flat usable grass, quite a bit of it actually, so that we can throw the football, do things like that. This is a big deal. Other thing they've got going on today is a lot of stuff with the pool. So they've dug out some lines here where they're gonna be building retaining because as you do go up, not gonna have like a gradual hill as you work your way up here. We're gonna have sections and platforms and steps and things like that. So they have to dig that out. They've got three waterfalls going in. They're gonna do three 24 inch wide like blade waterfalls that come out of this lower deck. And then we are making the final determination on the water slide. I wanna give you guys a sneak peek of this water slide, what the material is, what type of water slide it's gonna be because we told you it's gonna be next level. It's gonna be pretty awesome. But when we showed up and actually got to put our hands on it, we were absolutely wowed the quality of this thing. Plus, I know we have this being done by the right people. It is in the right hands because the first thing he said when he showed me the height of the water slide over here, he said, we may have to raise that about a foot to increase the fun factor. And I said, if your mind is thinking fun factor, I know I've got the right guy building the slide. This is what we've been debating today. So they had it dead center. If you can see right here, there is the drawing or the outline for the slide. And it would be right here in the dead center. Because we're going to be jumping off of this a lot, my hope is that we're jumping off of this while sliding off of this. There's just activity going on everywhere. I always envisioned it a little bit further this way. So you've got a safe jumping spot here. But the issue was we don't want to go too close to this little seating bench right there. What they decided to do is move it in, what, three feet? Three feet this way? Move it in almost the full slide width in this way. Gives us enough space over there. It's like 11 feet something. Put space over here so you're not going to hit that bench. I think it's going to be the perfect spot. Now, here's what else I think is actually an improvement on that move. Because the slide does have two banking turns, it has to start pretty far over this way. So this is where it would have started. Check this out. This, by the way, is the height of the slide. It's going to be so sick, you guys. Going down to the pool, it actually starts pretty far outside of the pool, which I don't know that I love necessarily. I kind of want it to be all contained. I, I don't mind it if it ends up that way, but moving it in three feet means you actually move this in three feet as well. So now come in three feet this way, starting here, make your way around this one curve, and then it curves again at the bottom. What he was saying is this is the height, the current height. This is where your butt will be. This is where the top of the slide will be. So as you sit down on this and you head down, said we might want to raise that about another foot so they don't have anybody scooching. He even said, if I see anybody scooching with their hands down the slide, it's like I'm going to come in and rip that thing out because I refuse to put in the slide. It requires a scooch. I was like, dude, you are the guy that I want building my slide. So he's going to make sure we got plenty of water, throwing people down at plenty of angle, height, and drop to make sure you're having a fun time. And then also we have got an over two foot, is it over two feet, 20 something inches, the drop, an over two foot drop at the bottom as well. So as you exit into the pool, it's going to be a more than two foot drop. So you come down with some speed, a little bit of height, talking about taking that fun factor to 11 to the max, and then check out the actual water slide itself, you guys. This is it. It's hard to really help you understand how awesome this is in a video because you've got to like touch it and feel it. But this is like water park grade quality water slide here. So unbelievably slick. You can hear that. that Ability. I mean, this thing is going to be an absolute beast. Look at how big and wide that is, how tall it is. I mean, we're going to be screaming down this thing. So awesome. It's going to be gorgeous, too. On top of that, it's going to be like a beautiful water slide. It's going to be pretty. Is this the color? I think so. I don't know if this is the exact piece. I did choose like a lightish gray. I don't really know exactly what it is, but if it is this color, I love this color. Whee! And then imagine you're just sending off into the pool there. Whee! Brexit just came running from the truck he wants to sit in it. Bro, this is the water slide, dude. Imagine going full send down this thing. This is the end piece. This is how you'll exit. And backwards, frontwards, there's no lifeguard on duty. And I was gonna say no rules, but probably better qualify. There's some rules, but not many, bro. You can go face first. That's the point of the way we've built okay. it, is so that you can go face first. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking that this orange line box here is boxing off what will be the hill that it's built on. Now that'll all move this way about three feet, which I think is perfect. It'll put it right up there against the edge of the pool. It's kind of contained just to the back of the pool. I really think we found the perfect placement, guys. I'm feeling awesome about this. But look at how big this section's gonna be built off to that height right there. It'll kind of come down once, somehow curve again. I'm not exactly sure. And you can see a lot of dust flying back there, but they're bringing in dirt and covering up all of those pipes. Remember all of those pipes that were flowing out of the garage, or I guess the back garage, the lower part of the garage. Those are all to power the water at the top of the water slide, as well as the pool itself. And of course the waterfalls on the edge there. Now they've got everything where it needs to be. They're ready to start actually getting to work. And so they're covering it all up, flattening and smoothing it out. And I think I was told they're actually prepping and grading and flattening all of the decking around it. So they're gonna be pouring the cement for that, as well as the driveway, potentially this week.
have the kids out there, have them weigh in on, now poor Rat Guy, he doesn't get to be involved, but do you guys think he's gonna be excited about the slide? Oh, yeah. yeah. The height, totally. the quality, the type, we actually had Brexton sit in it. What do you think, buddy? How is that for like size-wise? Is that it a good? Was awesome because you can also like lean side to side and stuff dude i think it's gonna be the it's a, like a water park water slide not mm -hmm. like a traditional backyard slide it's like literally the stuff that they would make at a water park yeah the surface the material and then the size i did think it'd be a little bit wider when we like originally like ordered it but when i sat in it and you guys sat in it mom sat in it i was like that's about what i would expect yeah. that's about as big as it gets i think they said in total it's going to be about like 35 feet long i think there's a couple of turns on its way in i think it's gonna be great dude the guys I'm building so it excited. know exactly what we want they want to build it for fun Fun. They want it to have like height, want to gush a ton of water onto it so it's just shoving you down the slide, which is exactly what we want. Kirby Doo, what did you think by the way? I didn't get this on camera, dang it, but what did you think of the jumping platform when you saw it for the first time? It was <laughs> so cool. It is gonna be six and a half feet high, which is like as tall as you. It's 80 inches tall. And honestly, when Cruz saw it, he goes, oh cool, so does the water go to about like right here? And he pointed to a spot and I was like, oh no, dude, it's like three feet below that. And he looked at it, his eyes just go, that's gonna be so awesome. It's so cool. <laughs> so I think backyard is coming together just better than we could have imagined it's an amazing place to entertain to have your friends over for us to just hang out and make memories i've said this before kind of took the best of all of these different vacations homes we've stayed in and then put them into our own home and i love that like an epic vacation is no further than just right out of our back door in this mm -hmm. home like we can go backyard and have an epic vacation just right there yeah uh, but these guys have got to get off to tumbling right now doing a great job of killing time here still have some more time that we need to be away from the house as people look at it which is a fantastic problem to have so i'm going to take them to tumbling mom has gone to the city to get some permits for our fence I guess we gotta go get those passed off. Things are just moving full steam ahead. Mom actually had a ton more that she did here at the house. Right now they're doing some painting as well as finishing off the deck in the back. So we're trying to just stay out of the way. We don't wanna get any dust in there or get in their way as they paint. Plus they're all wearing like really big masks and like hazmat suits. So I don't wanna go in there and breathe that. We will give you an updated tour. It's an update on the progress here probably shortly in the next few days. Right now the name of the game is The Backyard and it is looking stunning. Oh my gosh. I was with Hazel today doing a field trip at the Butterfly Biosphere. How was it? Fantastic. It was torture. Oh. Do you want to know why? Why? Bunch of spiders. Tons. Beetles. Cockroaches. Oh, that is your nightmare so come to life. I went I up no to the idea. lady and I said, hey, can you tell me where there's not like a bug section? She goes, <laughs> You're at the Butterfly um, Biosphere. It's a bug museum. <laughs> I was like, oh. It's like going into a buffet and saying, like, can you show me where there's no food? I know, I know. You're there to see bugs. I honestly <laughs> didn't know. But it was so fun to hang out with Hazy and her friends. We came out here today, as I said, we've got a lot of stuff going on at the house. A lot uh, of things. When we got here, they had already poured the driveway. They've already got that half done. More than half. It looks incredible. It Absolutely looks fantastic. We have to dial in exactly what we want in this backyard as far as like a cement patio goes. All of the surface around the pool goes up these ledges. How it's going to build stairwise up to the top of the slide. So much because they're pouring it. Is it tomorrow or the next day? Uh, tomorrow they're pouring the other part of the driveway and then Thursday they're going to be pouring this. It has to be formed out, leveled. As you can see, probably noticed for the first time it is completely level straight out from our back door so right good. out to the pool. Like it is a flat. We're thinking they might have to do a single step. Don't have to do that now. It's just going to be a walk out straight to the pool which is exactly what we always dreamed. Like it's, it was like a dream come true. It's turning out perfect. And so they walked through we've been here for a little while every single level where the steps will be how we'll get from this how this will transition to that I said this to those guys and I'll just sit here in the vlog I just love the cohesiveness of these teams that are separate teams but the way that they work together okay hey man if you do that I'll be able to do this and then if you do this then I can do that they just work together well, to give you the best product possible to explain it to us to see their vision and there's been times where like we have an idea and they'll go or you could do this and then we know anytime they say or you could do this that's the better thing to that's do that's the better <laughs> thing and that's usually the thing that we do so a couple of areas we actually added on to our backyard here today are we doing that? I think we're doing it. Guys, we added. So it was in the plan when we drew it out, but then we decided to scrap it. Fire pit, right? Yeah. We've added it back. So they're going to go ahead and put that in. The gas fire pit, fun circular area somewhere in there. The fire pit, some seating, things like that. And the little pathway up to the slide. I mean, it's, it's coming together. Silly. Unreal. Unreal. All of that's been going down while the house has been painted on the inside. They're working on the walls now. So they do the baseboards first, ceiling. No, baseboards, walls, and then ceiling. I, I just saw the theater for the first time, kind of, because it's got plastic on the walls, but already I'm just like blown away at how cool that's going to be. But the other thing that's supposed to be getting painted today is the basketball court. So about there on the sport court, the pickleball court, it is acid washed, he said. It's that been some adhesive on it. Or power washed. Something. Yeah, they've done a few prep steps, but have not actually put down a layer or coat of paint. So that is still to come. Yeah. I think today. They're trying to get layer one they, in today. We're going we've got against about, the clock. It's like a three day job to get the layers in that they need done before they can put the lines on. I think as long as they've got those layers in before the cold hits, we should be good. So yeah, they're racing against the clock, but it's crazy how many different teams are here today working on different well, we things. 
change the other guy. down here. He is doing all of the electrical for the pool. So he's so putting in color changing LED lights are going in, all, all the, the pumps. So we've had those pipes in the garage. Now there's going to be added some pumps to it. They're going to be adding just all of the power, basically everything that powers this pool. All of it. All of it. It's going to be awesome. All of that happening today, right now, this week and next. Jake, our project manager here on site, he said next week is going to be insane. All of the stuff will be poured and then it's just go to town on all of the different yes, things. Yes, and if I'm correct, next week is also closet guys coming. Also going to be working on getting the plumbers in here, getting electrical guys in here to do all of the fixtures. We start working on carpet and all that kind of stuff. You said it yesterday at the end of the vlog. We're a month out from the Five big weeks. reveal day. Yeah. So like, yeah, it's going down people. It's going down for real. <laughs> Guys, every time I come up here, especially in this fall, I am blown away at the colors in these mountains. I did not remember last fall them looking like this when we came out here to the lot. I mean, these are stunning, bright, beautiful colors. Could not feel more like fall when you look up there. I told the boys this, but I don't know if I ever told you guys, but this is maybe my favorite view and it happens to be from our bedroom. It is right out to what will be the water slide into the pool, shot of the sport court. Everything I've ever dreamed of, hoped of, and so much more to give these kids to play, to hang out, to entertain, party. It's just all right there, right outside of this window. And then on top of that, you got the gorgeous canyon views over there. You've got those fiery mountains over there. This little nook right here that ended up being our bedroom happened to be perfectly placed for everything else going on outside the house. I wanted to just explain yesterday the issue with the driveway was that it has this curve in here which we want. This is a nice place you can put some trees, bushes, a place to shovel snow or whatever. And then it came out and then it came back in pretty significantly and everyone thought that just looked kind of funky. We wanted to double confirm that that's exactly how we wanted it and when we showed up we weren't sure why it was like that. In fact we did want a straight line but because this wasn't finished off, this hill right here, it was just a cliff off into the neighboring yard. It had to be built up so they're building this up today, filling it in, packing it down, getting it ready to pour tomorrow so that this other half can be poured tomorrow. So the guys doing Back there you saw a little shovel truck bulldozer whatever you call that bringing loads back and forth to build this up fill it up so that it can support a driveway on top of it that was the reason why i think it got curved in because it just looked like that was the natural lay of the land somewhere along the line i'm betting somebody thought that that was intentional when in fact it just needs to be built up just in that corner right there that's it then they can finish this off keep it nice and straight which i think looks infinitely better you guys it's going to be a parking lot for the kids friends when they come over family gatherings things like that here it is guys coming together fantastic speaking of the kids we're going to go home right now they just got out of school stephanie brought them home we're going to check in and see how their first day back at school was today after fall break. Good morning, you guys. Happy fall. Oh my gosh, it suddenly transitioned into fall like on a dime. If you were here yesterday, it was yeah. sunny, 70. Today, we're freezing. You might not be able to tell through the camera, but it is cold, but it is a beautiful, crisp fall day. I am standing in the midst of some of the most gorgeous mountain views the you fall can imagine. The over here, they're like sticking more than over on the other mountains. I don't remember they're it beautiful. ever looking this gorgeous. We've stood in this lot many, many times over the course of the last <laughs> almost two years, yeah. and I don't ever remember it looking this good. This is gorgeous. We do have some pretty serious clouds right now. Rain yeah. in the forecast. I can see snow from here. Can I show them? I'm going to show yeah. you guys. Look, it's here. Officially, we have snow in the tops of the mountains here. All of the precipitation going on up there is currently snow. So take a look at these gorgeous fall colors because they're going to be gone very soon. In fact, I just hit myself in the face with my phone. <laughs> I missed it. I hope I got that on video. You did. It's a story. You did. It's good. <laughs> okay, anyway, they're going to be gone because, in fact, guys, tomorrow, that snow that you see at the top there is supposed to be making its way down, down here. So we thought we need to get out to that backyard, give everyone an update on what is happening here at the house before it's covered in snow. Ugh. I know. We're not a big fan of that. I do like the fall. I don't want to skip into winter. I do like the fall. So this crispier weather with the hoodie, it's nice. It's a good vibe. It's, it's a good vibe. It's a good vibe. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's do this. We came out here to the far end of the yard. We thought it'd be kind of fun to give you an update on everything that's happened. We'll work our way towards the house and then show you anything new that has happened in the home because a few things have happened. It's the last time we were in there and did a video, but mostly they've been working on this landscaping, on this yard. They've been doing a race against time and really it's because we have that cold weather coming in. The biggest concern they had is getting in this sport court right here and getting it painted it's before it got too cold. It's kind of a lengthy process because they have to pour the concrete and it has to sit for 30 days. Okay. I think it's 30 days and then they can start prepping the concrete and they have to acid, acid wash Wash it, it, power wash it. Power wash, yeah, and then Some they have to do of like a an coat, adhere. A sealant, a sticky. Yes. Yeah. There's so many layers. I thought you just painted it. Well, then, then they can come do like layers thought. of paint. And then I did talk to him, and the lines that go on the court can go in in colder weather. So they just really needed to race and get the paint layers down yeah. before the cold hit. And guys, this went in yesterday or the day before the actual colors. I, feel like uh, it was, I think it was yesterday. So it's had less than 24 hours. It's now chilly. We're hoping that it and holds. It's wet. He has told us that if anything doesn't set right or anything does happen because of the cold weather, they will for sure make it right when it becomes good weather again. So with that said, let's show them before <laughs> I'm going to get blown away. It is so windy. It okay. is so windy. Uh, let's show them this sport court, Mindy. This so thing guys, is insane. Hit the sport court. They said it's easier to ghost a basketball court. You have to have one prominent court. Yeah, prominent. Yeah, like dominant and then ghosted. Yeah, there you yeah. go. So we ended up ghosting the basketball court because they said it's much easier to ghost that than a pickleball court. Pickleball courts are like all the rage right now. Never played. We don't play. We don't anything about it, but I'm just like, that's what all the kids are doing. So if the kids want to have friends over, it's popular. we want to have and that fact, available. In our area, several parks have been ripped up. The tennis courts have been ripped up and they're putting in pickleball courts. So it's just very popular. So we ended up doing pickleball as the main dominant court, basketball as the ghost court. They've got two basketball hoops on each end. And then right here, you'll see there's two of these. This side, yeah. those are going to be like just the brightest, crazy bright, awesome lights. LED lighting, they're so bright. So with these hoops, you guys, these are super dope hoops. They don't look like it, but they are fully adjustable. There's a crank on them that you can crank, crank that song. Now now I mean you. to any height you want. So the kids can play some serious dunk ball if they wanted to lower it down. They can get some good practice in if they yeah. want to put it at the actual 10 foot height. And they are crazy dunkable, top notch quality. So you're not going to like break them by hanging on the rim, doing crazy stuff. I promise. I'm going to test it. We'll see. <laughs> and then you're probably wondering why do you have big black poles everywhere at different heights? To make it so that the ball do not leave the court, you're going to be doing a 12 foot fence on both ends. And then right here, it drops to a four foot fence and then it's open in the middle. In this section, Brandon, do you want to tell him goes right here? Over here, there's going to be like some cool, I guess you could call it stadium seating. What did he call it? It's like the heckler's corner. Heckler's it's just corner. a fun We're place. We're just gonna get some fun patio furniture and put out here so the kids have somewhere to oh, hang out. I wanted some bleachers. That's it. Is bleachers is what I'm looking for. Yeah. Guys, I think we can walk on this, but I don't want to because my feet are all muddy. This is the court. Gorgeous sport court. Love these hoops. working our way down across the yard here. After you have the basketball court come into this open area here, I don't think we've really determined what we're gonna be doing with this area. I think it's just grass. You think just grass? Yeah in-ground trampoline maybe, but I do love the way that they have graded everything here, guys. That's one of the biggest updates that has happened this week is the grading is now not done. You can actually see level. This actually used to be like four feet lower, but they have brought it all up. They've added some retaining walls right here and right here. Building it all up, getting ready for the slide. They have made all of these jumping platforms. Remember, that used to be a six-foot wall. Yes. Oh my gosh, that is so weird to think that that used to be a wall. Now I'm standing on top of it. Now tell me if I'm about to fall over the edge. I'm walking oh my over gosh, here. Mindy, I'm just going to come show Oh, the cool edge here. So guys, I don't know if you can really appreciate the perspective oh with gosh. Oh my gosh. Mindy, it's just my foot. I'm back. I'm fine. I know, but remember you're the guy that broke his leg at a skate park <laughs> walking. It's actually facts. <laughs> so this is going to be such an amazing jumping platform right here, you guys. In fact, crew was telling his buddy, showed him a couple of videos that we took last night on our phones. Sorry, and I just realized something. What? The actual what? pool lights are in the pool. <gasps> they are. Okay. Wait, that wasn't there. I don't, they've no, done some stuff today. Okay. LED Sorry. lights, they're gonna be amazing. I even told Mindy, I was like, we need to put dry ice in the pool. I think that might be a no-no. Have it like foaming <laughs> sure. at Halloween and then have it with like colored lights. Anyways, okay, we're getting off track. Crew showed his friend and he goes, oh, what is it? Like a back clipping wall? I was like, yeah, that's what it is. Oh it's gosh. a back clipping wall. You can feel the stitches <laughs> yes. right now. You can feel the stitches. Okay, but now anyways, we have explain this. Platform. Yep, 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 okay. Then we come down here. It's so there will be actual stairs platform. here, really great stairs. They come around the back. We had a big discussion about that and I think it's gonna be great just as they are. Yeah. You walk up this backside to do the different jumps. I'm walking down. Here I go, Mindy, here I go. Four foot jumping, a little bit smaller section. I love how we did smaller here, longer there. Love it. This is a two foot platform above the pool deck. And this is where we plan on putting our pool chairs. All those that pool we bought. chairs. Yeah, the lounges will go across here. So it's not really for jumping because this is shallow, but you could. These are waterfalls. Three waterfalls right here that are about what? A foot each? Two feet across? They're two feet each. Two feet across. Just blade waterfalls that go right in the water. It'll be a nice sound, a nice little feature. Palming feature, if you will. This is pool deck level. So 
this is just people people will hang out here on the Baja deck. We've got T-I-H-W-B written out in tile. We're going to flip, flip it, flop it and reverse it. And? Is that a song? Maybe. Probably a bad song. But anyways, we're going to make it a little thinner. Yeah, these are a bit chunky. Which is what needs to happen before swimsuit season. <laughs> Mindy, I'm sorry. I'm just taking a moment to appreciate. We are level everywhere. You are walking straight out. I mean, I know we're working our way there, but look at this. All level, 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 level. I'm on a new level. Working our way up. It is coming together, you guys. Kind of breezing over this because we still haven't really decided what that's gonna be, but right now it's just a long, flat section of grass. Throw the football, kids to hang out, yeah. rod. And we did we, want some area that's just open, you know? I feel like we put a lot about, of. We talked about like doing a trampoline. <sighs> Still think we're gonna do it, but yeah. Internal debate. This will be flat. Throw it like Brandon said, throwing footballs, that kind of stuff. We also have a little bit of grass here in between the sections, but there will be like a natural grade that will go up to the basketball uh, You know court. what I just saw that as? Slip and slide slash sledding hill. It's not like a steep grade, but you could. I'm literally I don't know why you do a <laughs> However, I don't know why you would do a slip and slide. Sounds like what Braxton would come up with. Right there when you have an actual slide right there. I kind of forget that we're gonna have things that we can use. So, okay. So anyways, moving on. Pray for me. The zip line from there to here. <laughs> roller coaster. These are the platforms for the roller coaster. Then you come this way this by the way guys and i was going to explain this from drone footage all cement as well yeah, this will all so they've only cement. partially poured here they just couldn't pour that much in one day i don't think we can walk on this but i see muddy feet marks so i'm going to say we might be able to walk on this to get inside they have added a little bit of retaining wall right here that will be a flower bed just a nice area to soften because we do have so much concrete back here there is and i feel like it needs to be broken up otherwise it's just like this whitewash of gray concrete and i think as we get plants and flowers and like that it'll add yeah. some color and some personality this is really nice right here this concrete is going to come out this way so it have a little bit of character to yep, it yep also goes right up to the garage where we're going to be able to pull the lawnmower, lawnmower things like that all and the I, tools they've come. even got some steps in right there so you've got some steps that have been put in so a lot of this cement has been poured when they did the driveway which i don't yeah. think we've even shown in the vlog really have we like you came up a couple times on your phone you but... mean the parking lot yeah <laughs> i love it i love it for all the kids friends I I love it. we're gonna have teenage drivers out there really quick though last thing out here i do love though there was a time when we thought we were going to do a step down and i was okay with that if we had to we had to but i love that right now it is flat out. You walk out that door and it is a straight walk right across the deck, yeah, right into the pool. It's all full level. Send. That is so cool. And guys, look how much space there is for entertaining here. We came here with my mom. She's like, I always thought if you had friends over for the kids and they're doing like a dance or something, yeah. it'd be on the sport court. She's like, this is big enough. It's you could do it right here. here. I even just picture like summer parties and like getting a bunch of those round tables. We're gonna have to invest in some round tables. <laughs> you can put like probably six tables out here. Okay, just I'm enjoy. gonna throw this super cheesy thing oh out my there. Gosh, what are we doing? I said last night, I picture people having like maybe like a bridal ceremony or like a wedding even back here in the backyard and they get married up on the six foot platform and then get this hang in there they jump into the deep end because they are taking, taking the, the plunge. plunge oh my gosh tell me that wouldn't be a sick wedding that would be so sick you even go down the water slide if they wanted to imagine that okay anyways you guys now taking reservations for your local wedding. for weddings yes if you want to get married on that platform let us know okay also real quick we won't say much about it but we have reimagined that as we told you guys into a fire pit so i think that this guy was out here digging a gas line so that we could do yeah. that. That might be what that green hey, thing is, honestly. That whole trench is now filled in. And yeah, on this one. They're busting their butts out here, you guys. They are working so hard. They are hard. awesome. In fact, we it's the weekend and our neighbors even have people working out here, so yeah, crunch time. It's go time. Okay, so I think that really does kind of wrap up most of the stuff in the backyard. There was so much that happened, but a lot of it has just been moving dirt, leveling, filling in these platforms, a lot of grading just to get things to the levels that they I need to be. I definitely give it an A+. Plus. Oh, this is an A+. Plus. But also making it feel natural so that there wasn't like big giant jumps and chunks very particular on the flow to make sure things just move in a nice way. It yeah. doesn't feel like, okay, here's this section, here's this section. And I think it has come together better than I could have well, ever imagined. Our landscaper is incredible. There's times where we have ideas and he'll definitely sit there and listen. Then he goes, this is what we're going to do. And he's so good. You just trust him and you just do it. I said this to the guys who are pouring the driveway, who are doing all the concrete. I said, what I love about you guys and everyone who's working on this project is that everyone builds it as if it was for their own home. It's not like I'm doing this job for this guy and it's a paycheck. It's the level of care just concern for the finished product is as if yeah. they were building it in their own backyard. They want it to be perfect. And I love when people care about it that much. Pretty awesome. You're such great guys. I love your idea, but this could be cooler. And then you're like, yeah. And they're always right. They always are. I mean, like I couldn't put this together. They've done it so many times. They know what it's going to look like when it's done. <laughs> no, I could, I could. I'd probably just get out here and just shovel some dirt. I mean, I filled the pool with concrete, Mindy. Shovel some I dirt. <laughs> shot Crete in there.
then right here you guys we're gonna have like a staircase that comes down goes out to like a landing and then cuts back in here so it comes right here full barbecue set right there but the backyard dream of having a backyard barbecue poolside when we move in kind of crushed because of this weather not yeah. really sure that's gonna come that's definitely to life happening. but plenty of those coming up in the spring and summer <laughs> Okay, Let's go inside, so Kenny. I say we go inside. I think, did you bring the there, key? Can I we did. get in? Okay. Got the key. Okay, we got the key. I say we go inside. I think it's mostly just been painting. There's not a ton to update in there. But guys, hit the like button for this incredible backyard. When we stand out here, our breath is taken away as we think about just random things like excavators being parked in the backyard that are huge. They couldn't yeah. even fit in our current backyard. And they're just kind of just like chilling over there. You guys have seen our current yard and what it's like. It's been great for the time that we've had it. But we are so grateful to spread out, give the kids some space to play. As they get older, have friends over, have parties, entertain. This is going to be everything we could have ever dreamed of and a thousand times more. Never ever thought we'd ever be in this situation. It's more than I could have ever dreamed we would have ever had. This is crazy. Minnie just said we've never walked straight up to the door before. We've never walked right up. I mean, it is cement poured. It is level from the back door right out to the pool. Oh my gosh, it's this crazy because it's incredible. painted in here. Oh yes, the basement is completely black, painted. gold, this awesome dark color, quartz, doors, you guys, these doors. Well, the doors are painted and back on. Guys, this is actually a big Door. deal. I haven't seen, <gasps> you know what I haven't seen? The theater. I still haven't seen it. Oh, it's gonna be so dark. All of the cabinets now you can see are exposed. They got the gold hardware, all of the walls painted white. Look at this, look at those floating shelves up there, the fireplace. You guys, this is going to look super cool next week because we've hired a painter. We wanted this wall to be marble. I don't know if you know that's really expensive. <laughs> Marble's a little pricey right now. <laughs> so we have a painter that is so good. He's going to paint it to look like marble. Yes. Now you guys all know we just painted it to look like marble. But if anybody asks you and like, have you seen the Bingham's home? Be like, yeah, did you see that you marble saw? fireplace? My gosh. Also, you guys saw the TVs get delivered to our home. They are ready to be hung whenever this wall is ready. But we've got the TVs in our house house right now ready to be hung up there great room and my office which I gotta go see my office but let's go check out the theater it's a little dark in there because obviously it's a theater but it's been painted entirely black never mind you honestly cannot see a thing it is so dark in here we'll have to come back with like another light but I mean we're talking finished carpentry all painted black We've got these insane acoustic walls going in same painter who's coming to do the marble is actually going to do this incredible design on the ceiling so it's like a bunch of slashing splatter stuff like white definitely dark in there for movies you cannot see a thing, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay guys, this is a big moment right here because the scaffolding has been removed, which means all of the finished carpentry must be done. The painting, the stone, it's all done. Yeah, this is gonna be amazing. And then we have this piece to show what is going to be on top of here. It's a big deal. This is the first time in a long time we've had full view access to these windows because there's been scaffolding in here. Really yeah. big scaffolding for months. Details in the ceiling, done. Beams in the kitchen, done. And I believe next week they have plumbers coming. Install all of like all the plumbing stuff. Urinal? Probably. Okay. Yes. <laughs> they're going to have electricians in here installing light fixtures, doing all that kind of stuff. Yeah. We're going to have, I don't know what we call them. They're like- Home entertainment, home automation. The small yeah, they're going to be in here putting all the cameras in, all that stuff. So the all hub. that's happening next week. We wanted to bring you up to speed on something pretty major that's happened. I think a lot of you put it together as you saw us leaving the house for appraisals and inspections, and it was kind of obvious, but we didn't want to like and jinx it by saying that. Yeah, been dirty. I was kind of dirty. We sold all the furniture in it. Shortly after we came clean with you guys, told you kind of the struggles of selling a house in this current market. We did go under contract. We have been under contract for some time now, so the home is off the market at the moment. It is going very well or through the appraisal and the inspection process and closing very soon now on the sale of that home. And in that moment, we will become renters of that home. So we get to stay there a little bit 
bit longer, we'll technically be homeless because we won't own that home and we won't have this home yet. That'll be kind of a fun time. Couldn't have come at a better time because we have first final inspection. It's called the final inspection, but it's also called the first one because you're expected to fail and then you know what to go back through and fix and things yeah. like that. So the very first final inspection is scheduled for the first of next month. That's like 10 days away, you guys. Really? Final inspection. Are you joking me that we are that close? And when we get our weekly recap emails of what's been done and what's to come, this one has the most stuff happening that I've ever seen next week. There is so much, so many people here next week. I can't week. wait for it. Unreal, guys. It is, it's, it's so close we can taste it. Like, it's just been this process and it's been beautiful and for wonderful. so long. We've loved it. It's been long, but it's been fun. Like, we've enjoyed it. All along, from the very beginning, we've been like, don't rush it. Let's just take it in. Let's do it right. Let's enjoy it. And as we get closer, I'm like, I cannot believe we are almost there, you guys. We're, We're scheduling final line. inspections. And it's coming together better than we ever dreamed. We've said this so many times, guys. It's better than we could have ever I dreamed. I can't believe I'm going to be making food here. Most likely microwave meals, but I can't believe I'm going to be making food here. I like that you got a double oven when all you need is the microwave, but that's cool. He was at one time a year, okay? Thanksgiving is coming up, and we are spending Thanksgiving in And we'll be here house. for Thanksgiving, you guys. It's incredible. We're going to be celebrating Christmas right here. We already the have tree a Christmas right tree here. for right here. The kids are going to be running down these stairs. It's all happening, you guys. This is unbelievable. We cannot thank you guys enough for making this possible, for joining us in this life's journey, for sharing in our daily lives, and getting as excited as we are for this. It's just so fun to share this whole experience with you guys. Yeah, you guys, we love you so much. Thanks for hanging out with us today as we went through all the details of the house. More updates will come next week, so look forward to those. But we love you so much. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Mom has just picked up the kids from school and we have gathered here <laughs> together on the front steps of our future home, you guys, and it oh, is yeah. not very far away. Yeah. In fact, what is today? We leave for Disneyland days. on Friday. Ah. Thursday is the last day we can even see this place. Ah. We only have like two days left that we can see the inside. And then when we show up here next, we'll be walking in because we'll be moving into our new home. It's yeah. absolutely mind-blowing how fast it's all coming together. And in fact, you guys, mom and I were here a little bit earlier today doing some backyard decisions, things like that. Our minds are blown at what has happened oh even the last 24 to 36 oh hours gosh. here at the house. One of the most significant <laughs> developments is going down today. They have poured the remainder of the cement in the backyard. That includes the rest of the patio around the pool. That includes a little driveway coming out of the garage in the back. Ooh, that's a lot. For right, guys, lawnmower and all of his uh, yard toys. Yep. <laughs> that also includes, you guys, the cement pad at the top of the water slide. Oh my. It's gonna be so And our home builder had the idea, suggested, hey, if you guys wanted to do handprints in the cement, we wanted to do it in the sport court. In fact, I don't think we ever really finished that off. We left that day and never got dry enough that we could do it. Until it was too late. Until it was too late in the day. So anyways, we never got to put them in the sport court and we thought, well, that's okay. Would've been cool, but maybe somewhere else, some other time. His suggestion was top of the water slide. How sick would that be? That's yeah. so cool. To freeze our little hands in time for the year that we built this home. Little Hazy's hands, little seven-year-old hands going into the cement at oh. the top of the water slide line. So every time we go down to the Bingham hands, the hands that built <laughs> this home. <laughs> Rexy, you got some big meat hooks there. Got big paws. <laughs> right guy, in fact, he's got the biggest hands right now. Right guy, are you bigger than mine? No, there's no Just way. barely mine bigger. Just barely. You're sliding up. You're sliding and up. I used to do that all the time. I'm so I don't know big. why I'm bigger than that. <laughs> Whoa, dude, you're so I'm huge. So guys, I want to show you everyone at home as well the latest progress on the backyard, what they've done. Then I think we might do a very quick <laughs> check-in on the inside of the oh house. Gosh. Then what I want you guys to do is I want you to hit that like button if you would like us to do an updated progress tour of the inside of the home before we head out of town, oh before we can no longer see it again until we move in. Or do you want to be surprised? Do you want to wait until we see it, not see the latest? I'm going to do that based on the number of likes. How many likes does this video need to get, Raga, in order to provide an updated house tour before we head out of town. 20. 10. Okay, so we got 20 and 10. 20, Let's 20. split the difference. 15,000 15, likes. Like if this video that. gets 15,000 likes, then we will give an updated progress tour before we head out of town. And that will be the last time we video the inside That's of this house so wild. before we move in. But guys, today, the big thing on the agenda is to go to this backyard, check out the progress, put our hands in that cement ah, at the top of the water slide. Let's go. You see the fire pit, my guys? <laughs> Look at the cement around Looks the pool like right backyard. now. Is this insane, Rex? <laughs> All right, sweetie, have we got it figured out? I Who's think, going where? What are we doing? I think we're ready. So you're gonna go first, and then me. Okay, so this is the top of the water slide landing right here. Slide Slides is about right, right there. there. Weaves its way down into the pool down there. But we're gonna try and go oldest to youngest. Me starting here, mom. Mom's gonna draw a heart where Maddie. Maddie's handprint would go since you can't be Found here to do now. her handprint. Then we'll go Rye Guy, Crew, Rex, Hazy, and we should all fit. I think if we should do one hand I in this section like here. before you hit the water slide opening. I think it's gonna okay? be awesome. Should I go Kay. first? Yeah. Okay, we'll start with me on the corner. Rye Guy, will you do the honors of filming this? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the moment. How high in, mom? About this high? I like this right here. I'm feeling good. Right, you feeling good? Yeah. It's gonna be permanent in about three, three two. two, one. Oh my gosh, it's all wet. 
What do you think? Should I push them in the individual fingers yeah. down? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can feel it sinking. I can feel it sinking. I'm making an imprint. Oh, there you go. Got this weird pinky sticking off to the side. Now it's forever immortalized eternally in the cement. Okay. How do I know if it's good? Just lift it up. One, two, two three. Oh, I like it. Is I that love good? It. Is that normal? I, that's a big I, I can't like there, shove Dad. my palm down to like that's good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Right now, how am I supposed to film with this? No, seriously. <laughs> okay, mom, you next. Mom's up next. Oh, mom's going tight. She's right next to me. She's cuddling me. Her favorite thing to do yeah. forever and ever. Actually, you know the closest me. mom's ever been to me, right there. I love <laughs> to cuddle. <laughs> Just a cuddle this one. And if you ever want Casey to cuddle, goes, are you sure? <laughs> I'll be like, remember that one time by the slide I cuddled you? Ready? Ooh, good one, mom. That's oh, a mom, really yeah. good one. I gotta do Maddie. Yeah, Maddie's. you gotta do Maddie. So hang Hold on, this. mom. What are you gonna do? I'm just gonna do a heart. I just do a cute little heart. You're good at this. You're the nail artist. Get it? Nail artist, mom. Okay. Using a nail, and you do nails. Okay, I got it. Here we go. Her. Thank you, everyone. Her. Okay. She's nervous. Oh, wow, you messed up. I'm so nervous. It's permanent. It's permanent. This is like it's not like you can mess up. Like if you don't nail this, it's adorable. I love it. It's pretty big. I don't know if her hands that big. Put M B in it. I love it. That's perfect. Maddie, that's yours. That is your handprint. We did a heart print for you. We know your heart's here with us, even though you're out serving in the Dominican Republic. We got a heart print for Maddie. I love that it. That is perfect. not an even heart, and I'm okay with it. It's okay. Maddie's not an even girl. Guys, I'm a little shaky. Yeah, okay, you crushed it now. She goes, guy, no pressure. It's terrible. It's Hazel, it's good. It's forever, so you're gonna love it. Okay, guy, my guy. You know what you could put in there? You could put the DR if you wanted to. That's where she was when we did this. No, no. I can't decide. Okay, well, YTBD, guy, you're up. Dude, you got a fat mate. Go. That way. Good, guy, you're good. Palm seems, oh, dude, careful. Now you can use like, each individual pressure. Yeah, you gotta really push in like right here on the knuckle. Three. Two. Is that good? A little harder good or no? Job. Is it good? That looks amazing to me. Dude, your hand is freaking huge, bro. Look how much bigger it is Wait, compared yeah, to mine. Why does yours look bigger than mine? That is a big meat hook, okay, dude. Right guy, you're in there forever. Now just high five. <laughs> it's gonna right Cement five. Hold on, let's five get Kruby in here. Five. Kruby's next. Get some fingertip in there. Just don't move it once it you've decided where to go. Yeah. Don't move your finger. You like it? Kirby, you love it, dude? Heck yeah, bro. You gotta ask the guy if these are deep enough. Like, are these gonna be noticeable? I think they're good, but they look yeah. really shallow. All right, Brexito, you're next, my guy. Have mom instruct you. Good job. <laughs> what do you think, dude? I think it's perfect. I love it. Hazy girl, little caboose at Go the up. end. Little sweetie putting in her handprint in the cement good forever job. and ever. Yeah, Hazy girl, your speakers. hand will be the most different as time goes on. There it is, guys. Hazy, what do you think? You know how people do those stick figures? That's how they put their family. We just did handprints the top of our water slide. I think that's pretty cool. I, know, <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. So you guys want to do a quick tour of the backyard because you guys haven't yes. seen all that's been done. And a lot of this has happened in the last 24 hours, you guys. The stairs up to the slide, that is brand that's new. Cool. Brand new like today. They're doing sprinklers right now in the backyard. This was flat, I don't know, 20 minutes ago when me and mom were here. Now dug out for sprinklers. They're trying to get so grass in so fast. very quickly here. So they've got the fence. has now got the top to it. And they've got all the chain links to put up there to build out the fence. You got that going. Paver entry into the sport court. Done. Gorgeous. Wall around the entire thing. Done. You can see there, could we do perfect backflipping wall on that side over there. The one thing I know you're super amped for over here, the jumping ledge. So cool. How Look high the is that? The LED lights are in, the color changing LED lights are in the pool right now. This will be the pool cover right here. It sits inside that and goes out across the top there. That's the ledge that you'll climb out when you come off the slide and that's why we did these stairs up here to the slide because we figured that's how you'll mostly get there. But yeah. all of this will be cement. They're going to do that yeah. soon and there will be stairs up the back side of this too. So two entry points at the oh. top of the slide. This is going to be so cool. Guys, this is so, this is so sick up here. This is okay. So let's keep walking down this way we'll go down these stairs we'll show you guys the next stuff Exactly that that way. Way. Okay, yes, yeah, trampoline. Let's go there. Okay, this is all cement. I think well, they put that in there just now. This will all be cement. They're gonna finish this off. Stairs up the back side here. All the platforms will be cement. This will be grass through here with sprinklers. This is all grass, Kruby Dude. Look at this. Go long for a pass right here, bro. Oh, I got you. Already marked out the trampoline. Wait, they have the trampoline mark? Mindy, we were here 20 minutes ago. They're going so fast right now. Guys, there's the trampoline right here. Rectangle trampoline, absolute back edge of the yard. It'll be right here. What's this for? That's the gap in between okay. trees, stuff like that. So around the whole thing, we'll have a fence. Also, it'll be lined with trees, bushes. Is just you know Wait, stuff so to make it a nice finish. Whatever the standard rectangle size trampoline is right here. 14 but by 9. 14 by 9. So there you go. And now. then you guys, then you still have on the inside of this all of this yard to throw the football. Not to mention if you wanted to, could throw the football and like try and catch it jumping yeah. up on the trampoline. And basketball and trick shot. Dude, trick shots oh. jumping up as high as you can over the fence into the hoop and then down the water slide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> guys, how many ultimate trick shots are we gonna be able to do? We're gonna have to start a second trick shot channel yeah. just oh, for the trick gosh. shots we're gonna be able to do in this backyard. It's going to be insane. Hey girl, trampoline, are you excited for that? Yeah, she was just Oh, practicing. Oh, 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 oh. Rexy imagine the back handspring practice you're gonna be getting on the trampoline. And then if you wanted to, you could go off the trampoline and clear down this runway of grass. Oh. 
sport court, I think you've seen for the most part, but the newest yeah. thing is it's painted. You guys saw yeah. that, right? Have you seen it painted? Yeah. I can't wait. I want to shoot the first three on it. How about this? We each get a chance to shoot one three. Whoever makes it owns the court. Okay. Oh, that... actually, though, yes. <laughs> you like that? Okay. Okay, like you it. do it and I make it. Mom's going to shoot a granny <laughs> style. <laughs> so <laughs> wish. <laughs> so it's been painted. I love it. Paint looks incredible. Hoops are amazing. Fence is going up. We're going I think to it's do be our logo fence. in the middle of the court. That has to wait till next spring. But so they are, I think they are doing the lines, though, for pickleball and basketball before winter. Okay, so let's head back this way, guys. Show you the pool deck and then everything that they poured cement wise over here. <laughs> right. Why did you come out of the house? Huge area right here. So Guys, see. look at how much cement this is. Skateboarding. Look how much area no, skateboarding. Stop it. <laughs> That's the sport. Oh, although okay. the half pipes <laughs> have to go somewhere. <laughs> Look how much room this is. Okay, it'll probably have like, you know, chairs, tables, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I just picked Pool lounges. I have no idea. Massive parties, yeah. inviting 70 of your friends over and they all have okay. space to hang out. Lucky for our kids, they have 70 friends. You better get a few more friends. friends. Okay. But you guys, over look here. at this. This was like a total, didn't even know we were going to do this. Right here. So that pipe like in the middle is natural gas. Thing. Dope circular thing to it. It's got a cool flow. And then like that same dark exterior border that we have on the front. So pretty. So cool. And guys, that's gas. Not the kind that Brexton has. This <laughs> <laughs> JK Brexton. JK, JK. But that one will be natural gas. You never have to get the propane or anything like that, you yeah. know? You just come out here, you turn it on, got your fire, yeah. roasting oh, s'mores. Sick. Yeah. From here. Hazel, not that kind. <laughs> Then from here, you also ride up to this Guys, beautiful stairs. To this the is slide. brand new. Look at these. Are we allowed to walk on them? I think we are, right? I saw yeah. somebody walk on them. Brexit, go for it. Do it, do it, do it. So, guys, oh check out these stairs. Now, they'll be filled in with like little rocks in between so that it looks all finished. But these are the stairs up to the slide. So, every time you go down the slide, you go up all these stairs, all the way up there, come down the slide, goes in there, rinse yeah, and repeat. Okay. How sick is this, you guys? This is How awesome. sick is this? This is so cool. Oh, that's my first half court shot, my first full court shot. And then when Brex did the splits, that's the first splits ever done in this. So, that's house. what's so fun is this, this is the first time the first. we've walked up these stairs you guys yeah. first time you walked over the water slide stairs was right to now the today first person to make a hoop that would be so cool maybe i'll sneak you here tomorrow and we'll just shoot like 10. Oh, we probably on. drain your first one probably drain your first probably one drain our first we got to get here before i go i'm gonna be the first dunk the hoops do lower down to I'm six feet the, so first dunk. the hoops do lower okay i don't know guys should we just kind of like put a pause on the backyard check out a couple yeah. things in the house you guys yeah. gotta get back to school we don't spoil too much that sound good yeah. mom yeah. yeah for sure Gym floors in you guys, it's covered so you can't really see it, but it's there, it's gorgeous. It's super You're gonna, cool. I saw them installing it this morning. You're gonna lose your heads when you see my and mom's bathroom. It's incredible. I cannot believe this, you guys. Seeing all of you standing in that room with a giant window, we haven't all been here no, in a while like, since this has all been done. Guys, look at this. Giant lights. You oh. see those above the island? Ginormous oh. lights above the island. Back in there, the oven is in. The backsplashing is in. Brexy Doodle? It's a stove. Stove, thank you. Brexy Doodle, he saw it? <laughs> Brexy Doodle. <laughs> Bro. Is that insane? What? Shows us the bottle. Guys, filler. it's the bottle filler, the one that counts. You know, like at the airport, it says how many yeah, water yeah. bottles it's saved the earth. We're going to get there. that so high. That's going to get very high. So, mom, correct. Corrected me, it's an oven. No, what is it? A stove. It's a range. It's the place where you cook. We have gold. I didn't even so know it was we have gold. gas here. Gas everywhere. There's a lot of gas in this house. A place that you can make like pancakes instead of pulling out my griddle. I have one. The griddle is built in. And that oh, thing above it, you know how you have to fill pots with water yeah, and then walk just them water. over? Just fill the pot right there Wait, on the thing. Yeah, so that's water. It comes out, fills up what? the pot. I've literally never seen one of those in real life. That Ooh. gold color is beautiful. This is gonna make your mind pop a little bit. That's our refrigerator and our freezer. And this is the door. What? This is the door to the refrigerator freezer. It will look like it's a cabinet. One side is a refrigerator. The other side is a freezer. Sinks in. And they have one of the two dishwashers. One dishwasher here, another one going in there. Guys, this is the mom's oh pantry God. all built out. See the stone fireplace. fireplace? Have you guys seen that one with the oh chandelier up there? This oh might kind of crazy. I'll be playing Switch and then I'll be like, walk downstairs, maybe go watch a movie. Then I'll probably go <laughs> jump in the pool. Then I will go jump on a tramp. Is he my kid or what? So He's then, visualizing all of the fun in the order that it might happen. I'll go make a half court <laughs> shot. Once I make it, I'll go down the celebrity. Bomb down the water slide. The water slide. Or you could just celebrate by running straight off the court into a backflip into the pool. The choice is yours, bro. It's, this is your choice. You can do anything. Okay. You
And then you see the tub in there? Okay, so now, it's pretty insane. Turn around and look at the mirrors behind you. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, it's bigger than a wall. Is that insane? So and if you guys see mom's closet, I don't know if you guys see mom's closet. The island, the chandelier, all in there. This guy's working hard, ready for carpet. Your wow. closet looks sick. My closet's pretty sick though, too. My closet's actually pretty dope. Mom got me some like dark wood and stuff. Anyways. Thank you. There it is, guys. Oh my gosh, so much, so much. Entryway, we've got light in there, chandelier. Doors are open and exposed. I'll show quickly as we head out. The front yard has come together with a walkway. We've got the so pavers much. in the middle, stairs up to the front, all those things. Railings are new, all that's new. We're currently in here putting in carpet at this moment. There's the pad right there. But here's the deal. I'm sorry, you guys. I know that you guys really desperately want to go see your rooms. I know that everyone would love to go up onto that third floor. So cool. However, I gotta tell you right now, they're too far along. They actually are so far along that you guys would have some of the surprises we have in store spoiled for you guys. So this is where we have to end the tour for you guys today, unfortunately. I am sorry. A little bit of a teaser of the backyard. A couple of things here in the house that have been updated. Again, you guys, if you wanna see it's kind of the last moment, we're gonna walk through no matter what, but if you would yeah. like for us to document and share that with you guys, the last tour of the home as it stands before we head out of town, before we're not able to see it again. 15,000 likes on this video. We'll do it. That's all you gotta do. That's it. Like it. Oh my gosh, this is not real. I can't even believe it. I think honestly for the first time today, it has just felt very it's, real. Yeah. I was just telling the kids. Crazy. It has felt, <laughs> Braxton, that was the greatest jump ever. It's felt a lot like it's just a place where we come and get really cool content watching a house be built. But I think something about today, maybe it's one of the last times we get We're to come here. To the finish it's line. starting to feel like this isn't just a place to make a cool video about a house progress. This yeah. is the home that we are about to inhabit very shortly here. We're very yeah. close to the finish line. And watching how quickly they are wrapping up these last pieces. I think we're gonna be calling this home very soon here, you guys. Real very, very soon. soon. But before that, we have got to get packed up and ready to head to Disneyland. Yeah. Getting you guys back to school, that's priority number one. But we're headed to Disneyland in like two days, so let's pack up for that. We're gonna be ready to go. Good morning, everyone. And you look gorgeous today. I just have to tell you. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Inside and out, this woman right here. No, uh, you guys, Brandon's been showering me with compliments lately. It's getting a little <laughs> she weird. She has been crushing it in life, you guys. <laughs> the stuff that we have pulled off this week is absolutely mind blowing. And that doesn't even include the fact that she's getting the entire family ready to go to Disneyland tomorrow. It's been a lot on this lady's it's plate been right a here. Lot. And, and if she's I been think handling about it with it, grace. I probably would and, cry. <laughs> and boys. And she has a couple times. <laughs> absolutely crushing it. Yes. Feeling very yeah. grateful for you Aww. in my life. And you guys, keeping us on track. He has been working literally through the night. Like, getting Getting all of these vlogs up for you guys, doing so much work so he could be at everything because sometimes he can't. I hate missing. I hate missing because we chose to do this as like a career, profession, whatever you want to call it. So that we can have more job. time. If you want to call it, this is a job. But <laughs> <laughs> so that we can have more time together. And so if I ever am like, sorry, I can't be there because I got to do this, I feel like I must be doing something wrong. Definitely happy he to sacrifice. Busted. I don't think you slept in like a week. It's okay. It's all right. You we are about good? to get some good sleep. We're heading to Disneyland. Oh, wait. <laughs> Where's the energy drink? <laughs> Just had one. We have so much going on. We're so grateful that you guys have been here for it, been here for such huge milestones of ours. This and is one of the the bigger ones that we're about to experience today. It's uh, a big one. First of all, it snowed so much yesterday. It did not stop. This morning we woke up and all of that thick, heavy snow has stuck to the trees that held on to those leaves for longer than we can remember in I fall. Oh, I know. And it's like breaking trees in half. Everywhere. There's trees broken everywhere. Like the city's gonna have such a big job cleaning them all up. So many broken trees. I just can't believe how much snow fell. So fast, so thick, so heavy. Anyways, so it's beautiful out there. Gorgeous white landscape out there. In addition to that, you saw yesterday, if you haven't, go back and watch it. Ended up moving a lot of our belongings over to the new house in a snowstorm, which was unexpected, to say the which least. Was not delightful. Not delightful. They had to put a pause on all landscaping. I'm not sure if they're resuming today, if they're gonna break off the snow, snow or the what they're gonna do. We're about to go there and find out. What is so significant about today, you guys? Today is the last opportunity that we have. I'm not gonna get emotional. I'm not gonna get too cheesy. I'm not gonna get too deep because we have a lot of opportunities for that coming up when we actually move into the home. We're tired. But when you think about the significance of this, this is the last time we will set foot inside of that home before it's, it's our ours. homes. If you're new here, you don't know what's going on. First of all, we're building a dream home. Super excited about that. Couldn't be more stoked. Second of all, the way that we're doing it is we have an interior designer who's helped us dream up the entire thing, bring it to life, and then as part of her process, the last two weeks, we're not able to go inside the home again, kind of get that last look, which is what today is. And then for two weeks, they go to town and they just fine tune everything, literally decorate it, furnish it, put everything as it's they going are to there be. They're receiving the furniture, receiving all of the stuff that will go inside the Hanging home. Hanging the TVs, building the Washing sets. Washing the sheets. Putting on bedding, like all of it, so that it is full presentation ready for the reveal day, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. And so before we head to Disneyland, we 
get one last chance to go look at this. Mm. And then the next time we set foot inside there, it's gonna be hard not to get emotional, this is insane. The next time we set foot inside there, it's gonna be our home. We're walking yeah. through the doors with our family, with our kids, and it's gonna be our home. It's so gonna whew, be, this is gonna be incredible. Uh, very emotional. So today though, let's keep the energy high. It's going to be fun. We're gonna go check it out. This is our last look. You guys are coming with us. Yeah, so let's go see where things stand before we head out of town and then get ready to go to Disney. Yeah. Oh, that is bright. Hang on, step back this way. Pretty big window, Minnie. She got the big one. She got the big one. We are here in the home. We're gonna do a quick walking tour because there is a lot of work going on in the home right now. We don't wanna interrupt. We don't wanna get in the way. A lot of finishing touches. There's also a lot of cleaning going on. There are certain areas Which where it says- Which is not going on at our current house. <laughs> no, it's not. There's a lot of areas that say no shoes. We were just told that they're taking up the paper from the floor downstairs. They haven't mopped yet, but if you got mud on your shoes, you gotta take them off because they don't want mud on the floors because we are in that phase, you guys, where they're cleaning up areas that are done. I can't believe Finishing it. off areas rapidly that are not done yet. I just told Mindy, I cannot believe that the next time we walk through that front door and into here. This is going to be fully furnished. It's Our new going furniture. To have all the things. That, by the way, we've never seen. <laughs> We're going to see for the first time. There'll be art on the wall, TVs hung, everything's gonna be up, the kitchen will be complete. And I'm kind of loving that right now we get a little bit of a last disaster. But there's just boxes, stuff everywhere. It's gonna be kind of fun because the difference in this to the day that we move in, guys, and this is the last time you're going to see the home as well, obviously. And so the next time you see it, it's going to be absolutely complete, done, all cleaned up. It'll be a couch right here. So soak it in. Let's just do a very quick last look at everything in the home, okay. quick check-in in the backyard, and we'll call it good for today, okay? So let's start at the front door and just come in, okay? Let's go. Front door, here we go. You wanna turn it on, but there's- You just do this, lights on. Lights? They do turn the lights on, I've seen them on. Mindy, vlogging's going to be tricky in here. Light is never what I want it to be. Okay, here we go. Walk in the entryway, beautiful piano room, they're about Ooh. to put carp, no, there's no carpet in here. Chandelier. They have to hang the chandelier, so okay. that has to be done in here. Gorgeous, closing um, pocket doors, wood doors, matches this, glass inside. So pretty. Amazing, so, so glad pretty. we chose that, love it. Then if you come this way, you'll see the great room has lots of boxes in it, <laughs> lots of things that have to be taken out. I don't really think we're gonna get to go in our bedroom. Oh no, I wanna show the Should bathroom. Bathroom. We'll ask. Let's go. Let's She's do this. We can oh, we can't. Okay. Should we take off our shoes though? So yeah, we got the heat going and everything. Look at that chandelier. I love the smell of new carpet. It smells so good. <laughs> Owner suite here. We've got the carpet in. We've got chandelier, fireplace, all the good things. They're currently working on the carpet. We've got the tile in the bathroom. You can actually see yes. the tiles up. Oh. oh. There's a light. Oh. Holy cow. Yes, yeah, so this ties into the one in there. Well, they actually all course up on this thing? Yes, I did. Okay, so. But Brandon, you missed one thing as you walked in. Got our toilets in. Yeah, we got our toilets. Look at guys. that. Look how fun that is. We have a fancy toilet. Yeah, it's like it a gives heated, your bum bum a little wash. Heating massaging, yeah. It's <laughs> never used quite one. The toilet. I'm gonna be like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Okay, yeah. yeah, so all the lights coordinate. So the bathroom one's right here, coordinate with the one in there, and then this one. This is the window we drove by last night, and I was like, what fancy chandelier is that? What room is that? It's your closet, Mindy. Your That's closet. Right. I don't have a chandelier. No, but you do I don't have even a have a light. Awesome oh, I do have pretty nice lights. Mindy. I'll tell you, the heater works in this yeah, area. Yeah, they're crazy heater, but check out this closet that you have designed for me. Thank yeah, you so, so much. Yeah, so we still have the front right here. I love here. it. We'll go on, and you can put your sockies in here. I love it. And your gym clothes in here. You have a gym, else. so I can. So, I don't know what you're gonna put here. I was thinking, I love all those decorative like surroundings to my closet, the floor where I put my clothes. Haha. -ha. You know what? Yeah, I your think shoes. I'm gonna use I know that. your shoes. Shoot. Hey, Riley said I could put like my two pairs of shoes in there. It will fit my two pairs that I have. Yeah, you can do like <laughs> flip flops, a new Crocs, and that other pair that I have. Yeah. Okay, so, come out here. Uh, wash Beautiful closet. Goes here. Amazing. It is on back order, so it'll probably be like a month before we get one. Bomber. Yeah. It is okay, good. but closet is insane. Let's stop showing that. But let's show real quick. We haven't shown the shower. I don't think finished, have we? This is is what we call a wet room. Yes, because, oh, that's new. Man, there's so much new stuff, guys. Tub in, look at that gorgeous gold yeah. faucet thing that fills yes. it. The entire area is sealed off with glass. It's not one giant shower, it's a shower and a bath, but in the same area. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's gonna be really Pretty amazing. Cool. Coming into the great room, we've got the beautiful lights up top. This is all going to be filled with furniture. We're gonna have a beautiful dining room table right here. The kitchen. The kitchen is the coming kitchen. together. It's the same. Check Amazing. this out. Mindy, show them the refrigerator and freezer. You might think, oh, there is no place for refrigerator and freezer, but it's already in. The secret it's hidden. It's right there. Don, don, don. Why didn't you get the big one? I know Brandon's <laughs> biggest concern. Yeah, it's a big deal, Mindy. I don't know that you can fit a pizza box in there. I'm pretty sure it's not deep enough for a frozen pizza. And I, I told think her. It is. Just because we got a fancy house doesn't mean we're gonna suddenly become fancy cookers. Although, check out this range over here. If we wanted to get fancy with it, holy so, cow. This is pretty, it has like little gold accents in there. A little it. griddle right here. Pot filler, pretty stoked on that. Lasagna 
this room. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Got Ooh. the lights up there. Oh my gosh. And I've been told that on like reveal day, she likes to do it in the evening. We're still undecided on that one because we do want it to be like really bright for video. Yeah. But all the lights on in the home are I just know. stunning. They're so amazing. The microwave just got put in. Open just it. Try just do it. it just out. do it. Just do it. It's very strange. Oh! So weird. That's a microwave. That's so I weird. Know. That's gonna get broken in the first. Take bets. Okay, I'm then... just gonna say take bets on how long it lasts before it breaks. And this is gonna have a cabinet. So that will also. It. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. it'll look like the cabinets, right? Yeah. And this is a Pebble, Pebble ice, ice machine. Mindy, we've never been able to figure out the Pebble ice. It's so cool. Seriously. Okay, come on over here. And over here we have two dishwashers. One of them has not been installed yet. That'll also have a cabinet front, right? Yes. And then beautiful sink right here. Beautiful sink right here. Look at how much we is have done. The pull out garbages. I hope you missed something coming through here. The fireplace is ginormous, taking off all of the inside stuff that's been covered. This has been covered every time we've come, and seeing this in its full glory is absolutely stunning. All of that I think you guys have seen. The railings, I think, are somewhat new. All the railings are in. Upstairs will show you they do have carpet. These lights are in and new, they're working, they're on. Guys, this is nuts. And as far along as it seems, and as crazy as it seems that it's like this much done, I'm also just kind of going, there's still quite a bit. Uh, in two weeks, this is going to be completely done, ready to show home. I'll be impressed to see that come together. I'll be yeah. very impressed. In here, very exciting. I don't know if we've shown all of this. Don't need the locker rooms, but now we've got countertop on there. Obviously, it'll get all clean. Not countertop, yeah. we've got that little stone thing. Yeah, it's just where they'll sit with their shoes on. Love it. And then the newest addition to this area is, of course, what is this called? Drinking fountain. You know drinking how bad fountain. the kids wanted a drinking fountain? They thought that would be the coolest thing in the world. Yeah, this will count how many bottles we have saved. And that is a sick drinking fountain. That is like awesome. This is like a catch-all vacuum holder or whatever. Catch-all for sure. Okay, look at this. Lights Ooh. are in here, Mindy. Yes, so much stuff is even new. <gasps> We have like working power and heat and stuff. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is awesome. I love it. The fun darker tile. Guys, we'll give you the full tour when it's all done. This is just the last look as things stand before we leave out of town and never get to see it again until it's ours. Before we head upstairs, Mindy, let's go the deck here because this is still part of the main level. You walk out here straight out of the kitchen, you guys. We have this big, gorgeous deck that overlooks these mountains, which, by the way, are stunning in the snow. I know that they're setting back some of the landscaping here, but they are so beautiful to look at when they're snow-capped and snow-covered like this. We'll go back down here to the backyard, show you where everything's at. It's kind of exactly where it was the last time we came out here, though, only because the weather put things on a pause. They have framed up the spots for those jumping ledges at the pool. Everything else still kind of just as it was. They haven't been able to make any progress on the sport court. They put in an entire sprinkling system to lay the sod, the grass on top of. The sprinklers are in, that's a big deal. Again, giant patio down here. We'll walk out there. They're still walking on the water slide. Mountain over there, the hill goes down from there. We put our handprints. If you guys didn't check out that video, one was a ton of fun. Put our handprints as a family at the top of the water slide landing there. We'll pop down there, but whoa, that was a huge thing of snow that just fell. That whole thing of snow just fell right there. That was crazy. <laughs> check that out. We have got the most gorgeous, stunning, white covered mountains. I mean, that is a view, you guys. Wow, wow. Christmas in this place is going to be insane. It is absolutely mind-blowing to think that our next Christmas will be spent right here. Carpet is brand new. Uh, carpet? No that's shoes it. allowed. So which is kind of fun because then I get to walk on it I and know. it's squishy. So soft, and I love that new carpet smell. Okay, so really quick, up here at this landing, we've got desk here, we've got the horizontal outlets because there's gonna be a desk right about that this height. This is what Nicole calls the icky bits. Oh, okay. <laughs> the icky bits are right here. She doesn't like them, so she turns them horizontal so they can be hidden right behind, behind the desk. It's genius. Some family pictures up here. We're about to show you the upstairs, which we cannot show to the kids, and so that means we can't put it in the vlog because they will watch the vlog and they will see spoilers on the rooms. We're gonna walk in there because we wanna see them. We're gonna capture it on video because I do want it to exist in video format, but I'm gonna have to blur the heck out of the entire room <laughs> so the kids can't see them, but it's gonna be so much it's fun. I think the biggest reactions of the entire thing are gonna be when they see their own rooms. We'll have this whole gorgeous house, this incredible backyard, but I think the moment they walk in and see their own little personal space in here, oh, they're gonna love it. Let's go check them out really quick. Can't show you much, we won't spend too much time in there, but here we go. Right at the top of the stairs, if you go to the right, you have Ryler and Hazy's rooms right here. Oh, sorry, right guy, it's gone. Sorry, mom, sorry. you're gone. Can't sorry. see you. Here we okay, go. Let's Coming in here, Hazy. Hazy's room. Oh my gosh, you're still gone. Doesn't even matter. It's gorgeous. I can't believe this. This is incredible. Okay. <laughs> Mindy, this is so cool. Okay. Her room's amazing. How about this? I can show this. Gorgeous fun lighting package chandelier. What they have done on this wall is so cute and so beautiful. I can't wait for you to see it. It's like it is hand her room perfectly. painted, you guys. It's not when you see it, it's not wallpaper. Each individual thing on this wall is hand painted. Unreal. And back there where we have Hazy's toy loft, there's a lot of things over there that you also can't see that are. Oh, wall. it's gonna be so fun. Let's go to Rag. Okay, Rag Guys room, here we go. I also love how the lights in the ceiling are angled. Like they don't just yeah. went straight down the angle. They're super cool. Okay. okay turning into Rag Guys Start room. The blurry. Get the ready, the sensor effect, and boom. Oh my god. 
mind blowing. This one gets me every time because this wall, even though you can't see it, is going to make his head pop. It is it going to make makes his head pop. Everybody's head pop that comes here, they're like, wait. Like, wait, is that? Can I say that? No, no. don't okay. say it. His room's gonna be amazing. We've got so many awesome things we're pulling in here. Nicole's done a great job designing it. They love their little beds that are gonna be over here in the windows. The mosh pit bench that turned out to be like a full sleepover bed. I love it. I love it. I think I'm gonna find you in there more than anyone else. Oh, but that's right. That's my hangout right there. They okay. come this way to the- Out of here, here we this go. Is Hazel's bathroom. It is not yet finished. They still need to add glass for the shower. We're still working on a ton oh, of yeah, stuff Oh yeah, I've got the here. vanity. Yeah, okay, this is cool. I actually like when stuff isn't super done because then it'll be a fun surprise when we come back and it's I all know, finished. I know, Next, we're gonna go to the other side of the landing, you come into the boys' bathroom. Okay, we can show all this, it's okay. It's amazing, kids know about We're it. still waiting on mirrors and light fixtures. Actually, these boys' light fixtures came in broken. We reordered them, we're waiting on some loaners that they're gonna give us just for the reveal that won't be the actual oh, light fixtures. Oh, and they'll come replace them. Oh, how funny, okay. It's just what it is, but yeah, they have black accents in here. Got it, love it. Black handles. We did a little more masculine with like the crosses, the darker wood, kind of a dude's bathroom, you know, so. Yeah, I love it, I love their bathroom. There's three Fun sets of tire. drawers for each boy to have their own things. I don't know what they're gonna have in there, but. All I know, Mindy, is that there is a urinal in their bathroom. Sit? Mindy, that's not how you use that. Look at this though. Even with a little pea splash guard in the back. Like it's I got the tile in, on the back. Tile in here. Love it. Absolutely love it. Tile is all the same in here throughout there. They put it on the wall in there. It's this beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I love it. I love their cutout, little niches, whatever you call them. Okay, moving down this way out of here. Okay, Let's you ready for another to... blur? Are you ready? Brexy's to the left room. and blurring. Brexy Doodle, you are going to love this, my guy. Holy cow. Okay, and we're back. This is amazing. There's so much personality in this room. Like, I think it perfectly fits Brex and the things that they have gotten to go in this bedroom is going to be so perfect for him. He gets a desk. Not only does he have a desk, he has got the view of all views. Look at this. And now really showing off with that white snow covered mountains. This is the view out of your room, Brexton. Hitting me right now, bro. That is incredible. Okay. So moving on next room. Across from Brexy's room, we have a laundry room. Now this has a gorgeous sliding barn door that's been living in the great room. Yes. They're just waiting to it put it on, go but it'll go across right that here. way. Slides across here. It's the same here. color of gray as the doors. We got our new appliances. Oh, Hey, I just saw the chandelier in here. Yeah. That is sick. I love, I mean, we said our lighting pack is one of our favorite parts and it is it's definitely amazing. one of our favorite parts. So all of this has been covered, but we have a nice space to fold, huge sink. We even have washer and dryer in right now. Like pedestals. These fun laundry hampers that go under there that are kind of like the ones that they roll down the hotel hallways, you know? Yes. So kids can chuck all their Lots laundry in there. Storage. Moving on to Kirby's room, KB12. One of the greatest, most sickest layouts you'll ever see and blurring, now blurring. Holy cow, this is next level. I this mean, this room is, is crew. Yeah, to a T. Like 1000% it is crew. I just packed up some of his stuff. Had to give me three of his shoes. I think it was really hard for him to part with three pairs of shoes <laughs> for a couple of weeks. But they're going to be going in this room, give you a little idea of what the theme might be. Even, yeah, even beyond the design, like the actual rooms themselves, the decor going in, each one it's has such so unique. So tailored to our kids. Yes, yes. Okay, so that completes the upstairs, Mindy. I say we head down. To the basement. basement. We've done main level, we've done upstairs, and I've heard they're actually cleaning the basement, so it could look pretty good right now. I'm excited. Walking downstairs in the basement, the craziest part about our house is this doesn't feel like a basement because it's a walkout. It's very lively, it's very open, it's very bright. Oh, it doesn't so feel much like the light, a natural light and the tall was like 10 foot ceilings or something yeah, like that. It's yeah, not a basement ceiling high. Bottom of the stairs, right in here, you got the gym. gym. Still pretty much largely the same as it has been. The fan glass has not been put in yet, which is probably good so it doesn't get broken. It's a lot of glass. It's floor to ceiling glass. Yeah. And also floor to ceiling mirrors in here as well. Here, so here and there. Kind of glad those aren't in yet either. We've got a lot going on over there. Down this way, Maddie's bathroom. But before you get there, you come to her washer and dryer. Hey, okay, washer and dryer. We have a set there for her. I like that stackable one where it's got this like some looks, central this control. This is what's going that in our closet. Real. What is? But this is a gas one. Oh, that's one. right. That's right. This is Maddie's bathroom. Oh. So this is beautiful. I love it. It's almost like shiny sparkly on the it floor. It is shiny Holy sparkly. Holy cow. We just have to do the second part of her door. Her well. glass. Okay. I love it. Not too many spoilers. Okay, moving on. Maddie's bedroom at the end of this hall. Big, huge bedroom with massive windows. That's a good bed. Yes, she does. She has the most beautiful view of the backyard right here. Nice, big, square space. She's going to have a beautiful king-size bed. King size bed now, the windows will be clean before we move in. I can't see anything out there. Right here by the stairs up to the water slide, the fire pit, beautiful view of the mountains and the pool. Absolutely it's gorgeous. Be amazing. amazing. As you come in here, just off the bottom of the stairs, this is gonna be my office. I cannot believe how crazy awesome it turned out. So and then just in here, cold storage. It's very long, but it's also very dark. That's where we'll hide there. all the decorations, all yes. the extra food, that kind of stuff. Great place to put Christmas decor, but guess what? It's not going there when we move in, it's going up. 
going up real soon. Out here to the main area where we will be entertaining, having some fun. We're gonna have a huge sectional here, some pub tables, lots going in here. But you guys, what's new? They've uncovered the fireplace. Oh, look at it that. It looks real cool. They're doing this really awesome texture on the walls that will give a really cool look to it. So they've gotta add some paint there. I so. love it. I love seeing the paper off the floors. You can actually see these beautiful floors. And this may look weird. There are outlets on the floor because this is what all that homework was for. Before we moved in, in planning out the room design, where each piece of furniture was gonna go, the little end tables are gonna go. So that way you can put an outlet directly underneath it, run the cord right up to the lamp. You don't have to put it in the wall, string it across. So really this is one of the beauties of the custom home is being able to put the outlets and different things like that exactly where you need them and want them before you ever even move in and plug something into them. So that's pretty cool. I love this giant round chandelier down here. Super cool, super amazing. You're gonna put off some serious light. Yeah, and then back in here we've got the kitchen. That's pretty much how it's been for a while. Just nice and cleaned up, looks amazing. Oh my gosh, Mindy, there's lights on in the I theater. know, I just saw Are that. But I have to show you guys. Oh yeah. This is an ice maker. We did a different ice maker down here because the size of the cube matters. Yeah, really so we were matter. told that the cube dice is better for kind of like a pool party vibe, entertaining because it doesn't melt as quick. Anyway, so it's just better. So this is the cube one down here. Hey, there's lights on in here. Mindy, never I have never seen this lit up. There's also lights on the wall. Look at this. Oh my gosh. There's lights being hung on the wall. These speakers are new that you guys haven't so seen. So those will be covered though, right? With the acoustic walling. I don't think either covered or at least like they'll be black. This yeah. is just we covered up those ones. Oh yeah. So we're going to get some fun acoustic walls in here that will really make the sound super clean. So instead of bouncing around and echoing, it's going to just hit you once. You guys, it's the most legit theater you've probably this ever been in. Theater <laughs> is absolutely next level. And I mean, we've got rows of power recliners. Oh I mean, it's going to be like a full movie feel in your own home. Look at these fun lights. I told you the lighting package is so cool. I don't know if you can see it. It kind of looks like there's crystals in there at the top of the light. Okay, that is just going to be so next level. I think there's even lights on the floor as you walk down to your seat. It's yes, so cool. Yes, there is. I saw upstairs they were spray painting some caps that go on those for little stair lights, painting them black to match the walls. So cool. It's the first time we've seen the theater on video. They're coming at 12.30 to do a whole design on the ceiling. Well, they are? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you that we won't see until the day we move in. Kind of glazed over it as we walked in, but as you walk in here, you hit the concession counter, which is going to be full of candy. Now, Mindy, aren't there shelves here that the candy jars go on? Yeah. So those have not been put in yet. They just haven't Okay, so we're gonna have some shelves here, a bunch of candy, candy counter, concessions. Over here, a little drink fridge for a little drink station. Back there as you come in, so. Coming out, uh, what do I got left, Mindy? I think we're pretty close to done. Not backyard, we can finish with that. Cool bath. Cool bath, okay, here we go. This is like, I think, one of our favorite bathrooms in the whole house, which is <gasps> funny, because we'll There's a cool light in there. It's just cool, I like one that's just like different from I all know. the other stuff. This is very unique to this area. This is super cool. We did a black cabinet, which was like kind of scary to do, but it's raised off the ground. This is where kids will come in from the pool to use the restroom, so we didn't want anything touching the ground. And I bet it's the main one they use from here, unless they want to use Maddie's bath. The yeah. two options here, but I bet you they just pop in here, here. just easier. And we have a huge shower. This one is so cool. I don't know if the lights work in here. The shower is awesome. This has actually been done for a long time. This shower has been one of the first things they finished. Fun like glazed glass door right there. Yeah. Love that. Love that vibe. Let's go peek in the garages. They're not that interesting, but pretty cool garage in here. Awesome. Love it. This is where you're pulling like yard stuff. And in here, merch room. You can actually see the floors now. It's fantastic. This is where we'll be fulfilling all of your merch orders. The swag will line the sides with all the hats, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and the like. Fulfilled from here. And what's cool is it's brought down directly from the garage up there, down yes. the stairs, and then taken back up and shipped. Yes, we don't have to go all through the house. Very, very cool. And normally this will not be covered in trash, but we have a walkout situation here where you walk straight out and directly from here onto the pool deck and straight out into the backyard and into the pool. Largely, this is about like it was the last right. time we were here. In fact, when we came and put our hands in the cement at the top of the slide there. They were pouring that cement as well as this cement. I think that's about the time that everything kind of got put on pause. I just mentioned when I was on the deck that they put the frames yeah, up there getting ready to, do those. to cement the landings. I don't know when they're going to be able to do that. We're putting the steps in, the last final steps at the top of the water slide hill right there. Now this is worth mentioning. I think we've mentioned it before. The water slide will not be in until next year. It's been ordered. It's being made. It's back east. They're thinking like sometime in the early spring, a couple months after living here, something like that, they'll be able to get that and put it in. They've done all the measurements. They've made sure that the hill's ready for it, that it's in the right place. Gonna have some so great speed, great that. height, everything, but it will not be in when we move in. That'll just be a fun little mountain with steps up to a landing <laughs> that goes to nowhere. But interesting to think of the fact that they're gonna be tiling a pool, plastering it, and filling it when we're standing out here so in the snow. snow. Very weird to picture that, but that will all happen before we move in. It'll be filled with water, yeah, it'll be ready to rock. No you guys, our plan is to heat that pool and throw some kind of a pool party in December. Yes. Because that is a vibe. <laughs> it really is. <laughs>
Reminder of the layout here, nothing has changed much, but fire pit set there, stairs up, water slide down, sport courts looking fantastic. I love these stinking views, you guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous mountains. And then they've got sprinklers here. They're digging for a trampoline that's gonna be in the ground over there. That'll all be grass. And to be honest, I don't know if that's going to be completely done when we move in. I know that that's their goal. They're aiming for it. I think the snow is pushing things back at least a week because it's supposed to continue to snow for the next week. So whether or not they're gonna be able to get all of the grass in and everything, we did just get a text. They're landscaping the front starting today. So I think they're going for it. I think they're gonna try and make it happen. But for the most part, not only is the home supposed to be fully furnished, decorated and done. Oh, you guys, this keeps falling. That's the metal roof. And so you have to have that if it's at a certain pitch so that the snow can slide off. It has to be metal and it is sliding off as it melts today. But not only is the home gonna be done, but also this entire back and front yard should be complete when we move in. Really quick stop in the garage. Normally not the sexiest place to check out, but check out this garage. They were putting in these lights when we dropped off all of our stuff yesterday. I was picturing just these little simple can lights. They're like giant those panels. Long fluorescent bulbs. Yes, they are gorgeous flat panels nestled up against the ceiling. The garage is fully finished. It looks incredible. As you come in here, the other garage. Now this one's got a little bit more of a mess because this is all of our stuff. This is where we dropped off our stuff yesterday. They did get the lights in. Garage door openers are awesome. Garage doors we love. This is going to be completely done. And I was told there's going to be a Lamborghini in here also. Is that is electric? Can we have for today, okay. folks. Thanks for hanging out. That's with not us. part of the big reveal. You're not doing okay. And then, you guys, what we are affectionately referring to as the kids' parking lot for friends is the driveway. I'm just going to keep walking until I get to the end corner here. This will have a fence right here as you enter into the backyard. Some fun steps to go down to the backyard. Right here is where all the kids' friends can come and park or say we're hosting. If you're doing a bridal shower, baby shower, whatever it is, bring everybody's car, just line them up, and park them in here. And in the front, you guys, we have got the paver walkway. This is gonna all be totally done. Accents down the side, fun Lots circle in the middle. Out here too. It's gonna yep. be really in pretty. fact, they're on site right now, gonna walk through some options for trees, bushes, all that stuff here in the front. There it is. That's how it sits. I That's just, how it stands. That's what it is. Yes, and I just spoke with the landscaper. They're probably going to have the front completely done by the time we get back from California. Wait, are you joking? Like over this weekend, they're going to do that? Yeah, he says he's going to put a pause on the backyard. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's but, uh, okay. The front yard is the first one you see I when you show up. So picture. it's okay. We want that family picture. We want the front yard done. So that he's is gonna all get right. Sod here. He's like, with the snow, we really need it to melt. They're going to get sodded here this weekend. They're going to work all day on Saturday. Bust oh gosh, it out. They're doing Oh my gosh. So this is crazy to me that this is the last we're going to see it and that it will be done when we next walk into this home because Crazy. there's a lot done but a lot yet to do which yeah. is wild I just can't believe it's all coming to an end this has been such a process such a journey so much fun pushing to build the dream and here we are we wanted to wait until the moment was right until the time was right to share like Mindy said the biggest news we've ever shared on this channel rather than to just tell you about it we want to show you but to do that guys we're gonna have to leave this house and take you to <laughs> this is the future home of the this is how we bingham family <laughs> they even wrote merch room on there. Oh man, all of a sudden they want to cry. It's amazing. Just pulling bowlers with the greatest of ease, just tossing rocks to the side like they're featherweights. It is going down behind me right now. We have a second level, we have a main level. Are you joking me right now? Time to show the kids their rooms. This is what the backyard will look like. This is insane. It looks... What do you think, guys? Oh, it looks like a house. Is it my lunch? Is the room fit for a princess? First scoop of dirt out of our swimming pool. Whoa! We are standing inside of our backyard swimming pool right now. We have garages. One, two, three, four.
all just climbing around looking like it's a jungle gym. And now it's forever. I can't even believe it. Seeing our own house for the first time, as you guys see it for the first time, will yeah. be a pretty spectacular moment. Welcome home, Bingham family. <laughs> Congratulations. Home. Thank you. Okay, Bingham family, welcome to your new home. Kind of see yourself in him, so. <laughs> <laughs> Look behind you, Look behind you. I have no words. It's a lot. You don't need this. It's nice to have, it's fun, we don't need it. What did I miss? Nothing, nothing, just me sobbing over there, we're good. So, <laughs> welcome home. Hello and good morning everyone. It is not morning, but is, good morning. Good morning. It is a great evening. It is an incredible evening tonight, you guys, because tonight we are gathering together as a family. We are about to do something spectacular. Literally, we are about to witness a dream come true. We finally get to go inside this dream house of ours. You probably know when the last time was that we were able to go to see the house. We shared that with you. We haven't seen it since you've seen it. So yeah. we don't know what's been going on in there. We don't know what they've done, but they have been working tirelessly. And I mean like deep into the oh night every single day to prep our new dream home. Also, so if you're new here and this is the first video you're watching, we just finished building our dream home. It has been about a two year process from looking for the lot, choosing drawing the land, up the drawing plans. up plans, and then we worked with the designer to get all of like the decor that you will see tonight, the furniture, everything picked out. Almost a year ago, all of that yeah. happened. We have no idea what's in there. So we're gonna go tonight, we're gonna go step foot into our new home for the very first time. It's going to be an emotional night. Mom um, and I already cried a handful of times. I think the kids are gonna have some pretty wow reactions because yeah, they have not seen I'm their rooms so at excited. all. They don't even know what like the, I mean, they kind of know the theming, but they have no idea a what it looks bit. like. We have packed up some goodies, some thank yous for the people who have been involved. We've also got some stuff that we might want for hanging out there tonight. Guys, it's time. We've been waiting. Are you guys ready to go load up the you car? Ready to go see yeah. head over and see our new home? Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. What? Okay, so they're coming back to finish stone. What? There's freaking lights in the stairs. <laughs> what? We have On grass. earth. I, we have oh. grass. I just want to go in. Let's hurry. So we're debating right now. Should we turn around so that you can actually see us in the vlog? And then we're going to spoil. We can kind of see through that door right now. We don't spoil anything. So guys, we have the team of people who put this whole home together inside waiting for us. We've got some photographers, videographers to help out with the documenting of this tonight. So we have got a whole bunch of stuff to go see. I'm going to swing it. Should I swing it? Okay, yeah. try not to look. Try not to look. Here we go. Swing it. <laughs> We don't know how this works. We don't really know how the process goes. We're gonna text them and say, hey, we're outside. Oh my gosh. Are we allowed to come in? What <laughs> what is the protocol here? We're gonna try and attack this room by room. Not gonna look Guys, are you ready to see your new home? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, guys, we're about to walk in right now. We were told to stand by. We are out here standing by. The energy is high. Okay, Bingham family. Come on, welcome to your new home. Oh I'm scared. my gosh, dude. I am so nervous. I'm cold. <laughs> Don't cry. Holy cow. I've never walked in this front door. Nicole, how does this normally go? My mind is blown. <laughs> just kind of wander. This doesn't feel like a house still. It just feels like we're It just seems yeah. weird to me because like this furniture I haven't really seen before. <laughs> you saw pictures. I saw pictures a year and a half ago, year and, a half ago yeah. and we ordered them and I was like, yeah, it'll be cool. One yeah. day, this is our furniture. Like when we leave, they don't take it. Like this, this is it. Our actual furniture. Whoa, that yeah. TV this looks is cool. I have got a lot more to go. <laughs> <laughs> Mind yeah. boggled. This doesn't seem like home. <laughs> this is so nice. Alright guys, <laughs> we'll pull it together, Sean. We'll pull it together. Wait to get your oh, room, but you're 
Whoa, I'm sorry. Of the entire night, Jake's hair combed is what's Wait. killing me. Jake does his what hair? Oh my gosh. And you have great hair. All right, we're out of the way. Mom, are you ready? <laughs> this is why it takes two to two and a half hours. Yeah. A lot of stopping and staring. Come on in. Okay, ready to go. Okay, here we go. I should, I should really have, have a better crying face. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. I am not a pretty crier. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't want to be in your guys' way. You guys, I'm so tall. You guys, oh my gosh, the kitchen. Oh. Look at that. When we get ready for school and we're just like chilling, that is this so is where it's happening. Crazy. The the shields. Shields. These are pictures of us. Those oh aren't my like gosh. Gosh. stock frame pictures. Those are you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Decorations. That's all we our decor. We have places to sit. Look at the size of that thing. Some of the stuff I just don't remember. I'm just like, that was a great Look choice. At that <laughs> I don't know. Look at that TV. Guys, where do we go next? Where do you want to see? Hey, where should we go? You want to see the kids? Guys, we're dinner table. Look at these things are. And look at this. Check this out. Just go like no. that. No, no, like you missed that. that. You I missed that. Those are real candles. Those are remote control. I thought those were real candles yes. all the time. She <laughs> <laughs> literally just yeah. I was like, what? Right over the candles. Wow. So ugly. What did I miss? Nothing, nothing. Just me sobbing over there. We're good. So, <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? We got bathroom. lockers. We got a sick bathroom. That one side is freezer. This one side is refrigerator. This is massive. How are we gonna get to the pantry? Where's the pantry, Israel? Where do you go get your snacks? You know? <laughs> That's where the snacks are gonna be. We're gonna have loads of room for snacks in there. Let's go to here, here, and there, and there. That's like a very nice countertop. Yeah, how do I close this, guys? Yeah. Just pull this. There's ice in here Mindy. already. Oh, Mindy, it's pebbled ice. Where I'm gonna do most of my cooking? It's right here. The microwave. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. It's like, what did I do? Where's the dishwasher? That's the dishwasher. Psych! Wait. And hold on, do that one. Cut it, do that one, do that one. And other dishwasher. <laughs> so <laughs> cool for You guys can both empty them at the same time. Yeah. Do you guys care to go check out our red room really quick? And that room, is that cool? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This, by the way. I don't know who chose to put that there, but it's the absolute perfect yeah. place. Perfect. So I want perfect. that to be center of the home. I'll stop. But let's do the focus in the center of our life, you guys. This is a lot. You don't need this. It's nice to have. It's fun. We don't need it. This is what we need, okay? Uh -uh. Okay. Duh. <laughs> I'm gonna get some more water. Okay. I get some water. Splash on my face. Here we go. I love what you've done with the orange paneling here. Amazing. amazing, amazing. Really helped you find it in the dark. Jake told me, Jake told me. So in December, this will be here with all of like the letters and names and stuff like that. Okay, here we go, ready? Okay, Holy oh, oh cow. How oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. oh. Wow. Minnie, we've never even had a bed set since we've been married. <laughs> like we've never had like a nightstands and a headboard. Oh. <laughs> so that's what it'll be like, the actual Lutron panel. So you got bedroom, morning, lamps, hallway, good night, shades. shades. Okay, Minnie, here you go, ready? What? We do it. I'm doing some shades. Three, two, this. one. <laughs> feel like I should just step back and let mom kind of. This is going to be weird. I'm going to wake up here. Imagine hitting like good morning in the blinds with. Oh. oh. Are you ready? Mom. Oh my. No way, you click oh. right here and it comes out. Wait, that's like a gold bar. <laughs> that's how not bad. Dude, it is. 
this? Hey, what is this for? Cufflinks? Oh, I guarantee that's for cufflinks. Fancy people, man. Fancy people. Love it. The Jordans are insane. Love it. All your merch. Typical. I'd be on love it. A thousand times better than anything I ever dreamed of. I got ties, belts. Secret gaming board. Wish people see your room. I'm sick of this. This is Turks and oh. Caicos. Everybody's individual plus the family. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I do love the stuff they're getting excited about. This tape holder is like his favorite thing of the entire house door so far. Usually it's the little things. I know. Q-tips, tape holder. It's the details that matter. That will be there forever. The difference is the details. I gotta uh, keep that's doing. The they doing. stacked every individual Q-tip in mom's bathroom. <laughs> I know. How long did that take? <laughs>do feel like it's important to jump in and give a little narration because at this point the night was only beginning. <laughs> We had no idea what was in store. There were so many more surprises to come. As we went upstairs, we decided it would be cool if the kids could each have their own surprise reveal for their own room. So we sent the photographer and the videographer into each room before the kids walked in. We had our designer close all the doors upstairs before we went up there. We wanted this to be the ultimate surprise for the kids. And they had no idea what was in store, you guys. All of this has been a surprise up till now, but the kids especially, they knew maybe like a theme kind of, but they had no idea what was behind that door. Or to the level of which it was done. <laughs> we didn't know either. You saw Sweet Hazy, kick things off with her. Her reactions were priceless. But what we wanted to do is to send each kid in the front for their room with the family close behind so that they could feel the support of their siblings and the family as they walked in. So Hazy, amazing. Next up, it's time for the boys. Ah! What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. What is Those that wall? Those panels look insane. What? My 3D fridge is on my dresser. Look at your Oh wall. my god. Like your wall is turned on. That's wallpaper, Dude, but it looks like it's on. on. My, my, block, my, my little thing I made. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> oh, this looks so cool. I'm so glad this is out here. This looks so sick, cool. Right? Like, I mean, like, look at this pillow. Bro, the frame over there. That's where you're going to be chilling with those nano leaves chilling on your devices. Oh <laughs> Bro. So that is your bench. That bench is as big as a bed. I love these nano leaves and you can't see any cords. Cords don't exist. Dude, flawless. I love the design. No wires actually... whatsoever. Okay, you have a real bed and a real dresser. We're gonna I know. Out here. Dude, I love these nightstands. There's so much this room to charge all my stuff. room ever, bro. Doesn't it look like it's on? <laughs> Yeah, they have like clocks and everything. Like there's every single thing accounted for. There's nothing that you need to go get. Dude, look at these cool little magnets. You love this okay. stuff. Did you want to see the boys' bathroom? Now this is the one that they have to use. They can't use yours, okay? So dudeish. I love it. It's so dudeish. Yeah. Look how we like the darker, the darker. Oh, but I do need some toilet paper. That's urinal, my guy. Urinal. It smells like a guy. It says dudeish. It smells like a guy. It smells like a guy. Whoa, look at our shot. Like smelly feet. It's galaxy, bro. Correction. Oh my Correction god. Correction, bam. Oh, look at it. <laughs> There's like 30 Wait, the of these. What? I'm going to save down here. There's probably crew. Mom. Crew. This is insane, There's Brexton. Like Whoa. Look at that what safe under there, bro. Right? Oh, so that's okay. That's okay. Right, Brexton, Brexton, do you get like all the six travelness to the world? Yes. All these different. Okay. Look, look at this. this. Time in Honolulu, London, Cape Town. Giant pair of binoculars. Hey, Brexton, you ready? Look at the way it waves, the galaxy. Dude. It's not even my room yet. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that every 
frame has a picture of us in it. I keep waiting to see like random strangers that says four by six in the corner. Those are all us. Those are all pictures of us. <laughs> I still can't get over your hair. Jake's hair is insane. <laughs> okay, laundry room. It's almost offensive to me, okay? I wear a hat because I don't have it. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my yes. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, I'm going to go get my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go get my laundry. I'm going to get my laundry. I'm going to get my laundry. I'm going to get You were debating whether or not you should get that. It's everybody's favorite. <laughs> Does it work? Alexa, fold the laundry. Well, as my laundry. Mindy, it's all done. Let's go see your room. Let's let them go get in. Oh, kids were so good and so patient to go through each room, and I really felt like they were getting more excited for each other than they were getting for themselves. I know it was so true. It was so cute to see. Sweet crew, you guys. He was the most patient of all because his room was at the very end of the hall. And I think this one was worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> that break was Look at that thing. <laughs> Decorations up there, dude. Look at this. Jordan, Jordan. Dude, hold up, you have them all over the place. Look at how they do the Those are on a ski. Look at my. Oh. Holy. Ooh, black <laughs> ceiling. Custom cut boards on the wall. This, whoa. All right, fancy chair. You're going to have some clients coming over to visit you. <laughs> Dude, they're that. literally skateboard decorations. How cool is that? Three skateboards. You can't ever ride them. There's decorations on the wall. That was the first pair of Jordans that I think of in the family, and then since then, it's been a collection for everybody. Downhill He's continued to collect them. Brexit, we didn't even identify the fact that you have your own room, Brexit, and your own oh, yeah. bed. You never had your own room or bed. Well, you had your own bed. Sorry, this is just incredible. Like, I can't believe the walk down here. This is just too much, you guys. This too like, much. I With the upstairs and main level complete, it was time to go to the basement. But you guys, this is no ordinary basement. <laughs> and there were some surprises in store, even more than we bargained for. I can oh my god. What are you bringing? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, the gym. Whoa! What? I'm going straight to the gym. Oh. Dude, that is all glass. Oh my god. 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 Oh my The Lamborghini the pictures. Lambo. <laughs> the Lambo. I am not doing a pick this nice You're fancy of a fancy guy. guy. I'm just not. You all working so hard family. makes it so we can it's have It's inside of here. You will like call the kids in the office, which one of you <laughs> eat my Butterfinger? <laughs> worked out 
perfect. They're kind of awesome. They worked out perfect, you guys. I'm fine to work anywhere, but I've been bottom of the stairs. But the thing that my legs don't fit under for as long as we've been doing this, and it's been amazing and more than enough. This is absolutely over the top. Goes. That's why it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of love that we have travel pictures everywhere. All yeah. these different places we've been. I don't want to touch a thing. Yeah, I want to no. stay exactly like this. <gasps> There's diamonds in there. Don't tell mom. I'm not going to lie. I did not think that this was going to fit. working this whole year on being more like him and having more qualities of him, so accidentally yeah. you put the beer right here. Kind of see yourself in him, so it's kind of an accident, like a happy accident that you guys did there. It's amazing! We've been working all year on being more like him, so I like that there's a mirror right there because you can kind of see yourself in him, so pretty cool. Pretty cool. iPads, we've got to set those up sometime. Guys, Raga, did you see this thing? So the bar to start, maybe. We got all the flavors. Wait, wait. A different ice machine down here. So that's it, guys. That's the basement. Wait, we're at the theater. Oh, we did have, we have a theater, theater somewhere. Wait, didn't we? Is this way? Did that way or this that way? One. We had a theater. How did they lose the theater? Jake, how do you lose Jake. a movie theater, dude? It was like right in this area. Right? Oh my god! Get in there, Dad! Look at this! So god! Come brother! Dude! Oh my gosh! Dude! Look behind you! Hey! Look behind you! watch tonight oh look at the look at ceiling the how did they do that ceiling oh my gosh look at the lights on the outside of the theater how well they go with that how perfectly they go with that <laughs> the screen almost goes column to column dude this theater is amazing oh, individual just like our beds so we don't have to actually like touch around. is it gonna stop okay there we go hold on do that right i see how far it goes out wait i want to see how this works on your like Drink, do maybe? Do. In the thing? Hold on, how do you do it? Is it just a touch or is it a push? Whoa, Dad, I can sleep in here. Dude, oh, like and look, that. how is that not ever so touched the back? Can you just, is it a, a touch? It has a light, too. Is that like a flight attendant light? What's the little light for? Look at those lights on the column. This theater is I think that's a double over. I guess you had it on. You had it on. Absolutely nuts. We're watching Maverick in here. Full blast. Also, camera right there. Sick. And eyes everywhere. Dude, this is the sickest theater I've ever seen in my life. Right, guy, it almost accidentally looks like a bunch of our logos on the ceiling. Look at the logo back there. It looks like it's somehow like a combination of those everywhere. This is Look at how sick too. these lights are. That's what I was saying. He tried to explain it to me, and I was like, I don't, I don't get it. I thought he was gonna like chuck paint at the ceiling. He's like, it's gonna be like slasher style. And I was like, I don't know what that means. Okay, well, this is beyond my wildest dreams. This is ridiculous. I mean, this is next level. Hey, we got party sucker. You want a party sucker? Secret door. That was a little hidden gem we left. We were kind of keeping that as a surprise for you guys as we came through the house. Over the last like year, we never showed this actual entryway. We wanted that to be a surprise. Secret entry for the theater. Pull that shut, turn off the lights, pitch black. It's gonna be amazing. Dang! You're gonna love 
these little extras. Oh, all little mini chapsticks. There's chapsticks and mints. Oh my gosh, those chapsticks, are so fun. mints, and oh my gosh. <laughs> if you came to swimmers, you're just having friends over, they can grab a mint when they come in, they can grab a little chapstick. Yeah, there's like a hundred chapstick. <laughs> Thing that goes up to the slide once it gets here in the spring. Girl. Dude, this looks like an amusement park. Look at it how really much. Is. It's cold, but sweetie, come look at your backyard. Look at this. Our backyard? No, it's just mom's. I didn't tell you guys yours oh. is coming. It's just not ready. It's like the slide. Like, I love how so there are lights trees. on love all the trees. trees. Love the trees. Hey, where's Jake? Hey, how do we turn on the basketball court lights? It'll be tight in the neutron system. Oh, whoa. So, Wait. Can you, can you also turn it on out there, though? Yeah. I guess if you guys are playing, you come in, you forget, we can turn it off in here. All the stone from the house will be on that wall. Stupidly awesome. This backyard, like the way that they've done this with the lights on the trees and the level. All the trees they chose. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Guys, that will be a water slide right there. It will come That's down, turn twice, drop you into the pool. That's insane. Wait, we're gonna do a toast. We're doing a toast. This is incredible. I got a whole backyard. This is like insane. Oh, it's like, it's like, I'm going in. I'm going in. This is insane. Absolutely insane. I just wanna like stand out there and stare. Hey, it gets fancy right here. Sure. It's very strange not having any furniture that I recognize. I love that the kids want to go back to their room. We're gonna take one of these. We're gonna do a toast. Yeah. yeah. You are welcome. Here you go. Right. Hey, you already got yours? Me? Thank you. Oh, guys, look at that. Here we go. This you got it for everybody. No, you can't sit, but you have this bad Just kidding. Oh okay. Oh, I'm gonna say something. Oh, I don't know. Say something. Yeah. Okay. On behalf of the Matt McEwen team and the detailed design team, it was our privilege, our absolute privilege to do this home for you. It's been so much fun. You've been a pleasure. Welcome home, being a family. <laughs> Congratulations. Welcome home. Thank you. Dream. Everybody I told that we were building a house, they said, are you sure you want to do that? It's the worst experience ever. Honestly, it has been the most delightful, almost two years that we've been working on it. And I'm so grateful fun. to you guys for all you've done. I knew that at any second I could call you and you have the answers because you knew. You knew your job and you knew our house. You knew you, us. You read our minds. Like you, you knew did. what we wanted before we knew we wanted it. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you guys have done. You're like part of our family now. I look at that pool and I'm definitely going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I've been filled with gratitude this whole time for the work that everybody's put in, the amount of detail that's gone into every single decision. I said to Mindy the whole time, it's as if everyone's working on their own home. It's not like they're doing it for someone else. The care is the same level that you would give if you're doing it for yourself. Honestly, sad to see it come to an end. Just sad to see the process. And even though we're excited to move in, I told Nicole this, it was beyond anything I was capable of dreaming of. So thank you. It's been so much fun. Thank you. So much fun. So these are what? some gift baskets Wait, for you guys what? for all of your hard work. Oh and we know you don't take any breaks oh unless it's your arm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have been working your butts off non-stop. We're totally tired and want a break. She already broke her arm and her phone. We're taking a different kind of break. <laughs> You gotta totally you one. You got Pizza Hut Cafe. Because he gives me crap when I show up in Crocs. She's like, I really want to get Crocs just to be funny.
what a truly unforgettable night, you guys. Something that we will remember forever. We're so grateful that we were able to document. We love this aspect of vlogging is that we have that on record forever to it's relive. Amazing. And we're so glad that you guys got to be there for it in the way that you were. It, it just felt awesome. like it was so incredible. Something that we felt like was important to share. A lot of people watching this see how exciting this is, how just incredible this is. And we are besides ourselves with gratitude, humility. We cannot believe we never dreamed that this would be our life in a million years. Never. But I do think it's important to say for anyone out there watching and seeing this and thinks, man, if I had that, I would be happy. I think it's important to know as much as this is awesome, it brings excitement, high energy, it doesn't bring happiness. Happiness isn't all of this, it's this. The it's together our family. moments. It's our kids. It's everything that we do every day for them. We've had hardly anything. We've had nothing. Our happiness has never been dictated by the circumstances. The happiness no. has been something that has to be like a personal decision and a choice and an effort that you make by focusing on the things that actually matter. I just felt like that was important to share as we share this beautiful home, some of the excessiveness in it, and there's a lot of fun, exciting things that we're excited to have because it's such a dream come true. But I want to make sure everyone understands that happiness is not found in things. It's found in being together. So as you guys watch the vlogs, the scenery has clearly changed. I told this is a different Mindy, campus. this feels like we're in some kind of a professional studio, but this is our house behind us. But the Binghams are the same, you guys. The family's the same. We're still just us. We're still just nerdy, quirky, funny, silly. Nerdy a lot of and times quirky. awkward us. <laughs> uh, just a little bit more room, a little bit fancier setting. A few more fun things to do that we're excited yeah. to share with you guys. Some exciting and incredible vlogs to come. We can't even imagine all of the things that we'll be able to do here and be able to vlog. Most of all, we want to give a big giant thank you to you. You tune in every day to watch our family, to be part of our family. So grateful that you're here with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking our family into your home, having us be a part of your family. So as we pack up our things from our old house, start to bring them over here to the new house, probably one of the hardest things to say goodbye because we've had some emotional moments as we pack things up, mm -hmm. more than a few. I think it's going to be saying goodbye to the memories that were made there. Some of yeah. the routines that we had, the nighttime routines, the tucking into beds, all of that's <laughs> gonna look a little different now. There's yeah. more rooms to go to and everybody's got a fun space to hang out in. I don't want the additional space and additional things to do to take away from our time together and being close. And so I wanna make sure we bring those memories, start making new ones here, new traditions here, new routines here. But I always want us being together as a family to be the center of everything we do. This is the center of our old world, our kids, and everything we do every single day is for them. As we walked in the house, one of the overwhelming feelings I had was this is all for them. They are so amazing. They're such amazing kids and our family is our universe. Everything we do, we do for them. The reason we get up and take our first breath is for them. And I agree as I watch the reactions of them. <laughs> just in different places. They got such great shots. The video team did so good. Just so many great reactions. I see the smiles on their face. We're so much more excited for them than anything for us. This is all for them, so. We love you so much. We're so, uh, we're so grateful that you're here with us, that you're a part of our family. We were holding it together pretty good. Like we Man. were doing pretty good. I was like, I Man. think we need to get through this whole thing. <laughs> Guys, it's been a roller coaster of it is an emotional tears. I thought coaster. we were cried out. There's Just a few give left. me on Instagram. There's a few left. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> We love you so, so much. And from the first close in this house, you guys, thank you so much for being here. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs>